Hello, hello. Once again, Happy New Year. Welcome back. Tank, awesome to see you. Good morning, good morning. You still have a day off today or uh, already heading for work? I think you said that this year it's going to be the first working day, full working day for you at the new job. Lurkers, welcome to the lurks. If you're lurking there, thank you very much for being here. I know some people still have some holidays left uh, even here the city is sort of half em half empty which it was surprising to see uh, i thought there'd be more people out but no i guess some people have taken maybe an extra day or two off just so they <laughs> get to recover after the new year celebrations most likely most likely today off for tank start tomorrow yeah all right i i believe that that might be the case here as well uh i expected like the city be bustling everyone's back things happening but no 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 very chill still i guess because first of january was on a sunday people like nah please i need another day most likely well either way tank pleasure to have you here first one in the chat in the 2023 definitely the big first first of the year i know linden's definitely off for uh for today his days off are Sunday and, uh, and Monday, so uh, you get the first yeet as well. Congratulations. If there's anyone watching on YouTube, uh, not live, just watching the VOD, thank you very much for watching. Drop a sub if you haven't. It's been a year since we talked on stream. Stop it. Please, not that joke. <laughs> and technically, it hasn't been a year. No. No, it hasn't. We could say it was last year, but not a fucking year, okay? It's been only, what, about a day and a half? <laughs> Something like that. Although, you know what? Uh, you know what? I must say that um, I've only seen people do this joke knowing that it's a terrible joke. Sort of memeing and being ironic. So thankfully, no one has done it for real. Right. Let's, let's uh, drop a live tweet and then um, chat a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, Buddha Borderlands 1, Game of the Year Enhanced Turbo Edition. Uh, because I wanted to start the 2023 with a bit of a bit of a look back at where it all began, at least for my channel and uh, 
and such uh and that would be borderlands series so uh I thought, why not? Let's do a Snipers Borderlands Marathon. Snipers, I mean, we don't have to do Snipers, but I sort of thought, why not? I haven't played Zero in ages, like a Sniper Zero. Um, so, and Mordecai as well. I haven't played Mordecai since the first time ever I played Borderlands uh, 1. I played Mordecai then, and after that I've been playing everything else but Mordecai. So I think it would be absolutely a great sort of nostalgia return to, uh, to the roots. So uh, that's what we do probably throughout the January, depending on how long it takes to go through all the games. I mean, Borderlands 3 is quite massive. I was thinking maybe all the DLCs as well. Um, so that could take some time. And then just keep an eye out on the new stuff that is coming out. Uh, I think February there's uh, Destiny 2, the new expansion. Definitely want to try that out. Maybe, maybe that pulls me back into Destiny, even if it is for a couple of weeks, perhaps. Uh, there's that. I don't know if there's anything like really big and interesting releasing in twenty uh, in January 2023. If I remember looking at the list, there wasn't much, uh, but I think from February it starts heating up a little bit. Tank says, I only do that joke because it's such a bad joke. Makes me laugh at the cringe. Yeah, I mean, that's why we do a lot of these, uh, these types of jokes, including the dad jokes, right? We all know those are dad jokes. We don't mean them seriously, but just the cringe is so good. That you just can have a laugh at that. Right, okay. Just do the live tweet and then uh, camera on. Mordecai, so what do we all, I'm just thinking, going to put that in a tweet. We'll have Mordecai, then Borderlands 2, Zero, right? Uh, Aurelia and TPS. Uh, I think she had sniper stuff. Uh, Mordecai, Zero, Aurelia. And then it's Flak. Okay, there you go. Live tweet about to be hitting the Twitter. Drop it on YouTube as well. Hey, yo, Tank. I'm not surprised, but I'm very thankful. Thank you very much for the boosts. Already see that you've uh, liked it and retweeted as well. And retweeted as well. Thank you, thank you. Yo, I think that's that's all pretty much from there. Once again, good day, good morning, good afternoon, happy new year. Welcome, welcome back. Those deviants who have tuned in, I think we might have some still chilling, sleeping, or maybe working very hard, first working day, catching up on stuff that hasn't been done during the last two weeks, because there were plenty of people on holiday the last two weeks as well. Um, starting it easy. Thank you, lurkers, for lurking. And Tank, thank you for chatting. I oh, just noticed my hair is a little bit flat because it's raining outside. Um, Weather-wise, this year has started in a really strange manner. I don't think, I mean, you know, 
my memory is not that great and not everybody remembers all of the new years in their lives but i don't think i remember one where we had like plus 10 celsius just warm don't need any gloves it's raining it's still this you know snow in places that has melted there's plenty of ice on the roads but uh it's just so freaking warm like usually december would be you know cold at least a little bit of a couple of centigrade freezing but uh not this year it has been super duper warm very foggy therefore although could see some fireworks uh, fireworks wasn't that bad um but yeah from next week like minus 20 <laughs> celsius it's gonna it's gonna hit real hard suddenly so uh yeah weather's all over the place uh, but New Year's was good. New Year's was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, was in a good company. Some people that I haven't seen for many, many years. Um, I think one, yeah, one uh, girl in that company. I think last time we saw each other was 15 years ago. Something like that. But it was good. It was good fun. It was way more fun than I thought uh, I would uh, I would get there. Sen, welcome back. And your home as well. Probably feels good, right? Booting up your PC. Looking at that Steam on the uh, right side of the screen just seeing everybody who's online <laughs> sen feels good well fed had all the coffees with mom and everything but uh, it's home time now uh welcome to the chat happy new year happy new year i think it's absolutely fine to still say that uh this whole uh this whole week i think so i think this whole week and yeah you better take down the christmas tree right what did you say today probably in the 6th of january that's the one Oh, my story, yeah, there wasn't, like, much there. I mean, there was, but, uh, uh, yeah, had way more fun than I expected. Um, so it was, like, friends from my girlfriend's side, but I know all of them. Well, I, I met one guy for the first time, uh, that girl's husband, who I haven't seen for 15 years. But anyway, it was like, you know, I thought it was gonna be a fairly relaxed party. I did want to get drunk, because I was like, I haven't felt the drunk buzz in, like, almost three months. I think my streak was 86 days or something like that. I did have to break it now. Actually, you know what? I gotta check something else on the streaks app as well. Um, so yeah. Yes, I did everything today, including three and a half thousand steps. It's not a lot, but it's a lot for me. Um, it's kind of hard to collect. Look at that. Everything checked and on the second page. Eight hours of sleep. Went to sleep on time. All the steps. Not drunk today. <laughs> Two day streak. <laughs> yeah, no cigarettes, vapes, uh, alcohol in general, drinks limitation, caffeine intake limitation, push ups, did those today as well. And uh, no late gaming, which basically contributes to me going in, uh, to bed soon. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, so I wanted to get um, drunk, and I did. Like a nice drunk buzz. But I thought it's going to be like a super chill party because at the end of the day, everybody has got children there. All the couples. It just basically was loads of couples. Uh, and I think like eight children in total, something like that. Loads of children. So I thought, you know, it's going to be fairly relaxed. Uh, some of them planned already uh, heading back home. Like one of the husbands wasn't drinking because they would be driving home back uh, at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., something like that. So I thought it's going to be relatively chill, but uh, hey, it was... It was, it was pretty good. Earl, Happy New Year. And Carlsberg, Happy New Year to you too. Hello there. How was yours? What did you do, Carls? What's up? And Earl, welcome, welcome back. You back at work or still got a week off? Feels like people still have days off here at least. Because uh, it's been... Uh, well, not only the, uh, the Twitch stream being quite ish. That's not it. It's just the start of the year. People are slowly ramping up. But I also was out in the city today and uh, it was a lot quieter than I expected. Fewer cars, fewer people on the streets. Like, what? Is it still holidays? What's happening? Senses, yeah, kids here have another week off as well. Maybe they do here too. And then perhaps parents just take a week off as well. Carl says, we're chilling out of friends with Katrin and two other families. It was fun. All right. Okay, so it's like a three-family gathering. Okay, so you weren't even at home. Nice. So yeah, my Christmas party, sorry, Christmas New Year's party ended up being uh, being even better than I expected. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should be even telling this, <laughs> but uh, hey, it was it was a good party. Fucking hell, it was like I think it was. Uh, we started at like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., something like that. And after like two, three hours of drinking, something like that, we all were getting ready. 
to go because we were about to go outside and uh, and there's like a local sort of mini center of the of that of this particular borough let's put it that way where it's a tradition where people gather and uh, watch the fireworks and shoot the shoot the fireworks as well it's like self-organized um and like everybody's pretty warm those who have been drinking and like one of the mums just sort of comes out to me says want some ecstasy <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, yeah. And so there's a few of us. <laughs> a few of us just had a little molly, and uh, it was a good party. It was, uh, yeah. As I said, I expect that it's gonna be like freaking just children and parents. I didn't expect it to be boring. I thought it's gonna be just you know, just chill. You know, everybody's getting old. Even though I'm in my spirit, I'm very young and all that. But I get that other people don't always feel exactly the same. But, uh, but it ended up being pretty good, yeah. It ended up being good. Oh, man, I felt so good. It was just, mmm, rainbows. I just felt e excellent. So, uh, yeah, we watched fireworks and everything, walked back. Kids were, like, doing some crazy stuff. Literally, full clothes, just doing snow angels, but in freaking puddles. Um, so, yeah, we went back, we stayed up until, like, 5 a.m., something like that, yeah. I think around 5 a.m. ish. That's when we were home. So uh, it was it was good shit. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Earl's back at work. <gasps> Why can't I see Yes Yes business? Come on. Ah, uh, it's the 7 TV. I don't know why it doesn't work always the first time, but refresh should fix it. I want to see Yes Yes business emote. It's the cat doing that, right? I think so. Yes, there it is. Now I can see it. 7 TV emotes activated. Working? Working. There we go. So yeah, that was my New Year's. How was yours? Tank chilled with some friends, but you said you um, you had to drive home, so you didn't drink. Senses you practicing to become a normie? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, I think I, I, I was wrong to assume, basically. See how it is. You always look at others, other groups of people and think, oh, they're this or that. But little do you know, right? Don't assume. What was that saying? When you assume you make an ass out of you and me. That's the thing. So, uh, so yeah, normie, normie, but not normie. I think all parents at 40 were very different than how parents are now at 40. Yeah. Earl just playing some games with friends ended up staying at 5.30 a.m. Good. That sounds like a good time to stay up until on New Year's. But wait, so you celebrated at home and then just played something online? What did you end up playing? Or you were actually together with real life friends physical people playing some board games either way is good tank said yeah had to drive no drink at all census tank was the bob oh i remember you did say that in netherlands you call the dedicated driver or designated driver uh that's at least the uk term designated driver but i didn't know that it was called the bob or else is no just online friends this year all right so wait Christmas at mum's, right? That was that was where you were properly fed and just caught up on loads of sleep. Any new any 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 New Year's resolutions, Chad? Have you like figured out anything serious or half serious? I still haven't written mine down. I wanted to do that today, but I ended up doing so many things today. It was a very productive day, super productive, a lot of stuff, including washing dishes, cleaning the house, uh, doing some laundry and stuff, and then. Some social media stuff. What else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I needed to order some, some plan some food for the next two weeks, including some grocery deliveries, but then also go and buy something what I needed today. Uh, some car related stuff that I needed to sell. Anyway, I did a lot of stuff, so I didn't manage to. And then I had to stream already. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. Just sitting down and writing down some things. I know, it, I know, I know them already, but I feel like it's important to write them down. It definitely gives stuff more weight, even if no one else reads it but you. I mean, there's a reason why students are uh, urged to write stuff down during lectures, right? Theoretically, you have all of that stuff in the book, but writing down helps you remember, helps you reinforce whatever you're thinking or writing about. So uh, I think, yeah, I'll sit down tomorrow, write down some stuff. Not tonight. The plan is finish the stream and then wind down and, and go to sleep. What's the cooldown on your license? Uh, I've got 76 days left, something like that. A March, end of March. 20th of March is when I theoretically can get it back. Practically depends when I pay the fine. 
I still have like about 400 euros left there to pay. So, you know, if I haven't paid that, then even when the when the period expires, uh, the no license period, I still can't get it because they obviously will say, well, you haven't paid the fine. So, uh, yeah, 76 days. If I don't manage to pay it, then whenever I pay it, if I do pay it, then at least I will have my license. I won't be able to use Frank yet, uh, the car, because that is two years behind on taxes, blah, blah, blah. That's another 600 euros. Owning a car, it's expensive. So uh, so I'll probably use like some sort of uh, rent, rent a car, but you know those quick services, what are they called? Anyway, where you can get the car for like half an hour. Uh, it's getting quite popular here, so I'm probably going to be using that for a little bit. But yes, yeah, can't wait to have it back. Like yesterday, for example, we needed a car for about half an hour. That would have been great um, for me and my girlfriend. And then uh, a few days before Christmas as well, there were a couple of occasions where it's like, shit, it, it would have been good if we had a car. Uh, you know, taxi was no good. Oh, well, hello. What's up? Writing has some sort of connection with the brain. Definitely helps with the goals. For sure. It just... You know, sort of solidifies them a little bit more, emphasizes them a little bit more. You still have to do shit for shit to happen, right? But uh, writing down definitely matters. There's a reason uh, psychologists and, uh, and 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 coaches, etc., suggest that that you, whatever your plans are, your goals, write them down. Uh, but also, it's very easy to forget. A lot easier than than one thinks. I I definitely caught myself thinking of all kinds of ideas or certain things that I need to do, for example, for the stream, etc. And I was like, yeah, I'll remember, I'll remember. And then three days later, I have forgotten or I can't remember. Shit, there was something about I can't remember. You know, or like sometimes I'm thinking about like writing a certain piece about a game and I'm like, I I'll remember what I was thinking about the game. And then a month later, of course, you don't remember anymore. So writing down definitely, definitely uh, matters. Lyndon, good morning. What's up? How are you? taxes and you probably want to service it after standing still for a year oh most certainly it needs full brake service full oil service uh plus two years of taxes because it sort of ended up being last year then now it has been standing and it's going to be the next year and and just the tax on the car is 300 plus plus technical inspection all that shit anyway basically i don't see how i'm going to be able to drive the car this year maybe towards towards the end of the year yoda's for well, the first bits of the year, thank you very much. Good morning, happy new year to you. Thank you, thank you for the bits. Yodos, how are you doing? How was your new year's? It, they have a call, sorry, a thing called rent a bomb. It's way cheap, but it's an old crappy car. Wait, really? That's what it's called? Rent a bomb like old crappy cars? No, we have like really new cars. Literal 2021, 2022, 2023, probably this year models, and it's really cheap. Like, it's not cheap if you want to rent one for like a, a whole day or a couple of days, then probably the traditional car rental services are better. But like, if you need something for two hours, it is really, really good. Good. I, it's not much more expensive than those scooters. That's the crazy shit. And it's not, it's, it's cheaper than a taxi for certain journeys. You know, depends on how long you need to drive. So, uh, yeah. It is definitely something I'm going to be using for now. Linus is adding, adding late fees to the fine. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have added already. It's about 80 euros on top on late. So, it is. I was saying last stream, uh, like, by no means I'm not poor, but uh, I'm definitely struggling. So, it's kind of interesting but that's the way the world is like the more you struggle the tougher it gets if you're behind some payments boom there's some more money on top it's really really difficult to dig dig uh, dig oneself out of like a, a bit of a pit uh i've paid most of the shit down already like i don't have any credit cards outstanding anymore etc uh i had like three of those to pay off for the last 10 years shit like that uh i had a mortgage that one sorted so the only thing that's remaining is uh, is uh yeah some well there's one uh, one credit, I guess, or what would you call that? Uh, that, and then, yeah, the fines, that's it. Anna does not have a car, no, no, no. She got her license, uh, we got her license, uh, we got all licenses at the same time, uh, and then she never drove. So, she, she has been thinking about, like, a refresher, just basically paying for the, uh, for the course to go through, still with the instructor, all that, to just refresh. 
because she hasn't driven. But she doesn't doesn't have a car either. She doesn't really need one that much. Linda says to carry a tiny notebook in my pocket. Half the time I write something down, I never look at it. But the act of writing down solidified the memory. 100%. I 100% agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yoda says I was hurting yesterday. Oh yeah, in the morning, me too. Fucking hell. Anybody else in the chat who woke up with a headache? I woke up, man, my, my head started pounding. And I knew it wasn't like, it wasn't from... Uh, from uh, from any of the other shenanigans that I already told you about, but it was definitely from champagne, because like I've said, I'm pretty sure I've said on stream that I can't drink wine or champagne for that matter or prosecco because uh, I don't know why it just doesn't digest really well and I get really really sick from it. But since the party was going on, I drank all of my beers. I drank the the bottle of martini that I had, and then uh, then we had our thing. And then I just wanted to drink some more, so I just started drinking Prosecco because that was the only thing that was left. And I woke up with such a pounding headache. No hangover, just a headache. So I knew it was from that. But I took some painkillers and then slept some more. And then it was fine. Then I just felt tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I just got some ramen. Uh, and uh, we watched some some TV, but on the PC with, uh, with my girlfriend. Then she went home. And uh, I pretty much instantly went to sleep. Fell asleep in like eight minutes. Boom. Sen woke up fine. Same for Earl. No drinks at all. Earl says at that point it's a full course though, no? Well, it's not a full one because like when you want to get a license, there's the minimum of lessons that you have to take. Uh, I think she could probably condense that into just 10 because I think the minimum is like 25 or something plus plus some more stuff uh, And she wouldn't have to take any exams. It's just take a refresher uh, Yeah Earl didn't have too many drinks. Not bad either. Yeah So overall I'm pretty happy with the my end of 2022 and the start of 2023. I think everything went better than, I, than expected. And today I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to have an organized and structured day. Planned out in the morning. Oh yeah, another thing that I'm trying um, from this year. Well, there's this, uh, you know what, it's kind of scary. A lot of New Year's resolutions. Like a lot of things that I want to want to do this year differently from last year. Um... So one should say, you know, maybe like, don't do that many, just focus on one or two and do those. But I feel like there, plenty of them are so small that I can I can do them. And one of those is uh, not scrolling social media in the bed in the morning. That over, I would say the last year or maybe a little bit more, that had gotten, you know, really big, big habit. Waking up in the morning... And just, you know, I sort of argued that it's just because I want to wake up. And true, to a certain extent, it worked that way. Where I wouldn't be falling asleep again or tempted to just put my head back on the pillow and just doze off for another 20 minutes. Because I just start waking the brain up by just scrolling through some TikTok or Instagram post, something like that. But the problem is it's very easy to just get get in the flow of, of uh, scrolling and disappear there for an hour. Obviously, it's very different if you have to be somewhere on time. Sure, you know, that can urge you to get out of the bed. But still, I think it's... Well, I don't think... Uh, I obviously know that specialists think that. And, and I've learned that from from smarter people than me. That, yeah, no devices in the morning. Just give your brain half an hour or so to wake up. To think about the day. If you don't want to get out of the bed immediately, just lay in the bed. Think about the day a little bit. What are you going to do? What, what are the main things you want to achieve? You know, so I did that. And it felt incredibly good uh, and planned out my day and sort of stuck to the plan more or less and what I wanted to do. And here I am. Now the stream time. Monolith. Good morning. Hello. Bought the supplies to make a maple bourbon old fashioned cocktails. Had to. Called it good. <laughs> That's it. That was your New Year's night. When you say had to, called it. Uh, is it because they were very strong or uh, you were like, nope, that's that's my limit. I don't need any more. Linus says, my wife likes to take a bunch of New Year's resolutions because one of them might stick by the end of the year. I mean, that's not bad thinking either, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have quite a few in terms of like how I want to uh, change things. But I think if I would summarize without like listing them all, is that, um, yeah, be more organized. 
I'm focused and uh, let myself be myself a lot more. That's what we talked about the last stream, right? Just saying more what I think, uh, not worrying about, you know, whether that's going to be okay, whether a game developer might read it and not want to work with me. Uh, should I only say positive things? You know, at some point I was li really trying to focus on that. Just be positive, always positive. But it's like, that's not how we are humans, you know? We're not always positive. So, uh, so yeah. Be more focused and organized and more myself. Allow myself to be myself. Online, that is, of course. Everyday life, it, it, it already is like that. But mostly I'm talking about my online persona. Since his mom and I had a coffee, whipped cream, cognac, and drank a bottle of champagne. Sounds excellent. That's like that sounds like a really, really sort of good amount for two two ladies. Abraham, yo, what's up? Good morning. This is an interesting time to see you. What's happening? Have you got a day off or something? Linus says if you make traditional old fashions, it's pretty much just two uh, ounces of whiskey with a little bit of garnish. Oh, I see. So there's yeah, there's a lot of whiskey in there. Abraham says yes, sir. Day off. Right, okay, okay, so that makes sense. I, I, I somehow didn't think about it, but yeah, there's more people doing it than I realized here as well. Where today I went to the city and uh, it was just a lot emptier than I expected. And I was like, the year has started, it's Monday, where's everybody? But I think, yeah, probably a lot of people uh, have done what, uh, what a lot of you in the chat have done, just taken an extra day off just because... Well, the first day of the year, the hangover day was Sunday, so just one more day to recover. Evan says today off because the holiday was yesterday. Oh, you get that? Yeah, we don't get the the sort of the holiday doesn't get compensated. I think people have taken out literal holiday out of their you know usual holiday paid holiday package, most likely. Two ounces of uh, bourbon, a bit of pure maple instead of simple syrup. Three dashes of Angostura bitters over rice and a twist of orange peel. That sounds and smells probably just mm, excellent. I like it. I can already imagine like that orange peel together with the Angostura and uh, and the bourbon. Can't imagine the maple, but I, it, it sounds like it fits. Yeah, I would love to try that. Very nice. Well, it's a pleasure to see so many Deviants this year already. Um, plan? Simple. Borderlands Marathon. I thought I'd start the year with uh, with a bit of retrospective, looking back, looking forward into the future for sure, but uh, starting it with just looking a little bit back where it all started, and it all started with Borderlands. I never really started streaming with Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2 already was the thing then, but I thought I'd play through all of them, the pre-sequel included, uh, and I'm thinking all the DLCs as well, so it's going to be quite quite the journey. And I thought, well, maybe another unifying theme through all of them might be picking a sniper character. Especially because Mordecai was my first first character that I played in the first ever Borderlands game. I remember even the first surprises and thinking that I did when I played it, where I didn't understand some things like why this village that I cleared, you know, a couple of days ago playing, why does it have psychos again? I shot everybody already. Sort of getting used to what that kind of a game is, what, is, what does it mean farming, etc. And Mordecai was my first ever character, so I'm thinking, yeah, today we start Mordecai, uh, play through uh, normal mode, of course. Well, not in one day, I'm not going to manage that most likely, but uh, yeah, play through that. And then I'm thinking, yeah, how I want to do that. Do I play until I get a full build or just play through all of the modes? So n Borderlands 1 doesn't have UVHM, TVHM has got first playthrough and second playthrough. Um, I'm thinking maybe do it that way. And then Borderlands 2 just do normal TVHM, UVHM. But Borderlands 3, there is no point in doing TVHM because it's no different at all, right? I think that was the weird thing. Samba, welcome back. Happy New Year. How are you? You're going to farm? Should I just play through the story? No, just play through the story. I don't think we're going to farm anything too much. Uh, Perhaps, I don't know, at some point in Borderlands 2, perhaps try and farm for something specific. But no, I'm, th I'm just thinking playing through the story, enjoying the side quests, etc. So, uh, yeah, not a, not a playthrough that's like limited to anything specifically where I have to farm one brand or something. I would like to focus more on snipers and sniping. Because I haven't done a sniping playthrough either in what feels like a very long time. 
Yeah, yeah, I've gone through it. That's the thing. So, for the first time ever I played Borderlands 1, I played as Mordecai, and then never played Mordecai again. Then I played Lilith, and then I played, uh, I've almost said Axe, and Roland, and I even recently played through as Brick, but I never tried Mordecai again, I think. If my memory serves me right. We'll check my saves and see. I think I've got still all the saves. But, uh, yeah. I played as Lilith. Lilith was, uh, well, she was OP. She was ridiculously strong. So, uh, yeah. I'm thinking Mordecai. Abraham says, still never played as Roland or Brick, only Mordecai and Lilith a few times each. Well, it depends. Yeah, it's, it's one of those scenarios where I feel like even for Borderlands fans, like Killer6 is a good example. He started, if I remember correctly, I might be mistaken, but I think he started with Borderlands 2 and then we he went back to play Borderlands 1 at some point already as a Borderlands creator and I, he didn't like it at all. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he's been vocal about that being one of his, if not the least favorite Borderlands games. But uh, anyway, like, yeah, I started with Borderlands 1, so there's most certainly a nostalgia factor there. Oh, I can feel that the game is old. The shooting feels really, really old school, and so does the movement, etc. Uh, but, like, the nostalgia value is so huge there that uh, that I definitely know that I can enjoy it. Why I'm mentioning that is, like, yeah, depends, Abraham. If you don't have that nostalgia, then probably, yeah, it wouldn't be even fun to try and play through, uh, through uh, as Roland or Brick. Roland's a lot of fun with the turret, and definitely plenty of options. Brick... Brick has got mostly two ways of playing. It's either you go try and go explosives and uh, like explosive damage and rocket launchers, which that rocket launchers thing, I don't know, it doesn't seem to work. I try to make it work with the whole ammo region, etc. But they are just so slow. Uh, the rocket launchers, that is. And inaccurate as well. So, and then the other one is, is punching in melee, which is just incredibly messy visually. Just crazy mess. You barely can see what you're doing with Brick. It's insane. Brick's boring because his action skills next to useless except for movement and speed boost. Well, in the first playthrough, it's fine. You can punch a decent amount, but you have to build around it. And it, it, it really starts, like, working once you get, like, the relics, or what are they called, those modifiers for the action skill. But yeah, I would say Brick was, was my least favorite. Even though it was the recent, most recent one that I tried, but Brick was my least favorite. Roland, I liked it. I liked the, I liked the turret thing. Borderlands 1 is an inferior game in every way to Borderlands 2. Yeah, most certainly. I, like, absolutely no doubt. Though, I don't think that uh, that is a reason for not playing Borderlands 1. But if someone has played Borderlands 2 or even started with B Borderlands 3, then yeah, going back to Borderlands 1, probably no point. It's kind of like, I don't know, playing an old... Um, here you go, there's the example I can remember. I can't remember the name. Which Halo did I play? Someone in the chat must know. But I played one of the Halo games, the old ones, and I just I just couldn't. It was just an old, janky game that I felt nothing for. And that's probably exactly the situation that someone would have with Borderlands 1 if they never played it. And they played just loads of later stuff. Because, yeah, if you play something like old like that, it's just a lot of, a lot of memories. Well, basically, yeah, nostalgia. That's what we call nostalgia, right? Uh, a lot of memories come back and, 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 and definitely a good feeling from that. But since I never played Halo, then for me, there was nothing. And chat was like, oh yeah, I remember this, I remember that. And for me, it was like, I don't know, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that there's plenty of nostalgic people in the chat. Or at least people who can enjoy a little bit of Borderlands 1. Um, it is the shortest of all the four games that we're going to play. Uh, but we'll still take some time. I definitely, you know, there's one thing that I, I don't think it's nostalgia. I'm certain it's not. One thing that I like the most out of all of the Borderlands games. There is one thing in Borderlands 1 that I think is superior. Of course, super subjective, but uh, that is the atmosphere. The atmosphere in the world, the dark, gritty, grim, depressing world. I like it so much better than what followed in Borderlands 2 and then Borderlands 3, where with each next edition it got shinier and uh flashier and more disco like uh with more pink and more purple more f more flashy and reflective surfaces blah 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 i don't know that you know smoke spewing oil infested trash trash ridden 
Borderlands 1 with that sort of slightly depressing music was like, oh, fuck yeah, that's like, that's Pandora. That is the terrible Pandora. Um, so yeah, I, that's something I really enjoyed. That's something I wish uh, was still in Borderlands, yeah. Yeah, you do feel like you're in the freaking wasteland. Absolutely, yeah. And you do feel like, yeah, those psychos are just fighting for survival and, and want to just get your gear and your loot. And they're not like all dancing in a synchronized nice dance with roses flying, you know, raining from the sky. I feel like, yeah, Borderlands 3 turned into a bit of a circus in that sense. Hell yeah, depressing music. Pyro, what's up? Afternoon, happy new year. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't mean the, like depressing, depressing, but I'm sure you, those who know, know what I mean. It's like, it's not trying to be funny or silly. Uh, it does have some good jokes. Uh, and like, I like Tannis the most as well in the, uh, in the first one, the way she is. Because she does sound like a serious scientist, but a little bit crazy with some interesting, um, interesting quirky things that she says. And then slowly through the series, like, she just becomes a freaking clown and so does everyone else, really. It just sort of ge keeps getting amplified, the silliness. No, I played Borderlands 1 first. So I actually played through the games the way they were released. I got Borderlands 1. I, I, I think it was on sale on Steam or something like that. And I was like, all right, let's check this out. What is this game? Really strange art style. But, uh... I didn't have anything better to play at that moment, and it was, I think I was in London, and I was like, alright, let me get that. And then, like, the first couple of hours, I sort of trying to understand how it works, and it, because I've never ever played a looter shooter before. And then at some point it clicked and I started liking it, and I just played through it and enjoyed the playthrough thoroughly. And then Borderlands 2, I think it was announced, and I was like, oh wow, yeah, definitely checking that out. And then, then came the pre-sequel, and then 3. So yeah, I played through all of them in, in order. Blastmaster Brick is really powerful. So, is that based on rocket launchers? Just going rocket launchers with explosive damage, yeah? I just played one normal playthrough. I don't think I even finished it with Brick. I sort of was like, yeah, okay, I get it, but I'm not like really keen. One thing that Borderlands 1 has over, over Borderlands 2 is the elemental kill animations that she's over the top. <gasps> Abraham, yes! Not only that, you know what? I agreed with Earl earlier that Borderlands 1 is an inferior game in every way, but I I was rushing my decision. As I said, I like the atmosphere the best. And then also, yes, not only the elemental kill animations, just the kill animations, the gore, which sort of links into the atmosphere that I was saying as well. It is a lot darker. Yeah, freaking blowing limbs off the way their heads explode. Sometimes like pfft, the sky. The skull, the whole head just shoots up in the sky, freaking explodes, exposing just uh, a, a, a backbone. It's just quite visceral and amazing, yeah. So that that was gone from Borderlands 2 and then even more from, from Borderlands 3. Definitely like that, yeah. Sent pre-ordered Borderlands 1. Really? Why? Since that was the first game in the series, what made you do that? Like... What, what did you like about it? Squiggy, hello, what's up? Good day, happy new year. And Topa's here as well, what's up Topa? If I missed anyone else in the chat, apologies, not on purpose. Good to have you here. First, first proper day of uh, 2023. Will you play vanilla or maybe use at least Jim's masterpiece of a patch for DPS? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is uh, Borderlands 2, I'll play probably with a couple of quality of life things. Um, and the pre-sequel, same. I'm gonna play with the community patch. Jim's community patch. Um, same for Borderlands 2, yeah. I think there's no mods for Borderlands 1 that I'm gonna use. That is pretty much gonna be vanilla. Just the Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. But uh, for 2 and 3... Sorry, for 2 and uh, the pre-sequel, yeah. For 3, I have to check if there's any mods. I haven't looked at it in months. Uh, many, many, for that matter. Whether there's any interesting mods, uh, you know, and quality of life improvements that are worth installing or not, I don't know. Did you ever happen to see the original gameplay they re revealed of Borderlands 1 before they changed the graphic style? Yes, I've seen all of it. Um, I've, like, you know, at some point I was obsessed with Borderlands, as you can imagine. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've, I've tried to find everything. All of the art styles, the story and how it changed to be, all the controversy about the stolen art and all that. But yeah, I did see how it was planned. 
and what was presented. Uh, yeah, could have been definitely very different franchise. Whether I'm happy or not with, uh, with the art style that they went with, it's really impossible to say, right? No one can say that, genuinely. Uh, you can compare it and see if you like what you saw before the change and what is it after the change, like what we have currently, whether you like it better, but what it could have been, we don't know. Whether it would have aged better or not, who knows, we have what we have. But yeah, Sin liked the graphics, and just because the graphics were different, felt like playing the cartoon, okay. Has anybody made a haven't seen stream since last year joke yet? Yes, Tank did. Tank was first in the chat and already said that. <laughs> but I was saying to Tank, and I can just repeat that, I haven't seen anyone make that joke without realizing how shit the joke is and on purpose being just silly. So I'm glad that actually no one's making it for real. Everybody knows that that's a stupid joke and they make it on purpose and even emphasize it, you know, since last year. So, yeah, it has been taken care of. Batting tank, then. No, timeout. Timeout's fine. Or else says I still haven't finished Wonderlands. Fair enough. Yeah, I know. I don't plan playing playing Wonderlands. That's That doesn't go into the Borderlands, uh, Borderlands Marathon. It is a spin-off. There are some things I like about it, but mostly I don't like it. Just how it is. I didn't like the skill trees. Didn't enjoy it. Um... The fact that yeah, most of the weapons are projectile weapons don't feel that great. Um, and uh, yeah, the story and and the NPCs and the non-stop talking is kind of rough. I mean, it's going to be rough in Borderlands 3 as well. I am considering maybe like switching to the dialogue, but nah, probably not. For the marathon, I would have to have the dialogue on. If I was playing Borderlands 3 constantly, maybe then I would just switch off the dialogue completely. But um... Maybe for a marathon, I'm just gonna do a normal playthrough. Apart from Girl is on fire at the end. That one we're not listening to. Because it's getting DMCA'd, that's why. The reason Borderlands aged so well is because of the graphic style and the fact that nobody has been able to make anything similar that works. Well, the graphic style, perhaps. I can see some validity in that, yeah. Because there is a reason why Fortnite and Overwatch and many other games choose a more cartoony style because it does last longer. It doesn't get old as quickly as realistic because realistic is realistic for that moment, for that time, what the technology can achieve, right? And then five years pass or 10 years pass and suddenly, well, that looks kind of lame and old school. It doesn't look realistic at all, right? So most certainly that has a contributing factor, but also the fact that, yeah, I don't think any other game has replicated what Borderlands series has you know, had and still has. Absolutely. I like that some people, uh, you know, compared Destiny a lot to Borderlands, but no, they're very different games. In You know, the whole loot system, everything's completely different. And I don't think I've seen a game like that, yeah. There have been some things that sort of, on the surface, come close, including Outriders, maybe a little bit, but once you again look at them into the loot systems and the end game, Borderlands in that sense is unique, and I'm surprised that no one has made anything like very close or similar. I, I, I tweeted this morning that, uh, you know, a little bit of hopium, inhaling a little bit of hopium that there might be some good shooter games released this year with a good story preferably because, yeah, I know that shooters haven't been popular recently. They just haven't, you know. And a little bit of a downturn for the last, I don't know, five years, something like that. Um, we've had our waves of all kinds of other things. But maybe, just maybe, we could get something interesting. Um, that's one, but yeah, looter shooter would be amazing. I'd love one. I'd love just a good looter shooter, yeah. Or else it had its moments for what I played. But uh, it did not hook me in. Yeah, same. It was alright for a single playthrough. We're talking about Wonderland. So, it was okay for a single playthrough. Just because, you know, it is the universe that I'm sort of interested in. Um... I'm, I'm avoiding using the word love. I don't know if that's the relationship anymore. There's plenty of uh, plenty of moments and, and, and memories, but, uh, you know, it didn't go the way I hoped. With Borderlands 3 and sort of with Wonderlands, I realized that, yeah, I'm sort of dis getting disconnected from it. But there's still enough, I don't know, It's maybe it's the sunken cost fallacy or some shit like that, where, like, the next thing comes out, 
Borderlands or Wonderlands related, I'll still check it out. <laughs> I will still get it and check it out because I'm hoping that maybe this is the one that gets it back on track. You never know. Can inhale huge amounts of all kinds of gases out of asses and uh, pfft, might be copium, might be hopium. We'll see. At the end of the day, yeah, there's plenty of other things to play. Theoretically, practically, some days it's so hard to figure out what to play. Uh, especially when you have to do a stream, that's 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 even more difficult. But, I've taken care of January at least. Because it is Borderlands Marathon. So yeah, Borderlands 1, starting with that today. I'm gonna go and get a drink, I've got a nice little bottle of kvass in the fridge. Um, and then uh, I think let's just boot it up. It's the Game of the Year edition, but uh, I checked the categories. I'm gonna be streaming into Borderlands 1 category. Because almost no one uses Game of the Year. And I think it's it, it makes sense. You know, when the games get special editions and blah 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 and, and whatnot, people still keep streaming into the main original category because that's the one that most people will look for and understand. So uh, if, if any one of you is wondering, yeah. It's gonna be the Game of the Year Enhanced, but I'm gonna be streaming it into, uh, uh, into the Borderlands 1 category. Let me see. Oh yeah, live tweet. If you don't mind, I didn't post it in the chat. If you don't mind, if you're on Twitter, I posted a link to the line tweet. If you can give it a little bit of a boost, a like is amazing. Retweet not required, but is a huge bonus. Yo, Mornlith and Sine, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, one of the most controversial uh, news of the 2022. Two? Three. I have to get. You, like, my tongue needs to get used to saying 2023, 2023, 2023. <laughs> Josh says, I mind, and then still likes it. <laughs> Thank you. Abraham. Josh being Abraham. Oh, I like it. It says Josh, brackets, Abraham. So, yes, that. Um, the controversial, most controversial news of 2023. I, it hasn't shown up yet, but it probably will show up later today. Uh, or I don't know, maybe tomorrow. It depends how long the verification takes. Uh, I subscribed to Twitter Blue. Yes, I did. It's it's a very simple thing. Don't hate the don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, at the end of the day, if that does give me more in terms of exposure, uh, since this is still something I want to do this year as well, uh, I gotta have it. It's almost as a necessity. So uh, at some point, you'll see a little little blue check mark show up there. We're about to snipe them nuts. What's up, Jim? Hello there. Good day and happy new year. How are you doing? How was yours? I mean, I know it was at the same time as mine, since uh, Greece, the same time zone. Eight dollars where? Oh no, it was more. It was more. I subscribed from my UK, uh, UK account. Since I still have and use sometimes the old UK address, um, then I just use that. Which ends up being about 11 euros. I mean, nothing too crazy. Still sick. Wait, what? Really? Still from Christmas? Harris says, what are you planning to do with the games? Go to the end game for all of them, like OP10 and such? Well, not OP10. I don't think I'm going to do OP levels in Borderlands 2 at all. But I'm thinking of uh, doing the full playthroughs. So, Borderlands 1 would be playthrough 1 and 2. It was never called TVHM, it was just playthrough 1, playthrough 2. So you get to max out the skill tree. Borderlands 2, do normal TVHM, UVHM. And then uh, Borderlands 3. Who remembers? Do you have to do the second playthrough to max out the skill tree? Probably, right? Something like that. But I don't think I'm going to grind for OP levels or anything like that in, in Borderlands 2. Do a reset playthrough, basically start at UVHM, but no gear, but max level. But I would not... I, I enjoy the process of earning the uh, the skill points and just uh, slowly building the character and, 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 and thinking about the build. That is a very enjoyable project. That's like part of the appeal of these games. Just slowly evolving that skill tree. Like getting all the points at the start, that wouldn't be satisfying. Something else that did worse in Borderlands 2, the endgame level scaling. What, compared to Borderlands 1? I don't know, no, that, there it feels terrible as well. <laughs> I mean, Borderlands 2, I don't feel like I ever had a problem, genuinely, with scaling. 
but uh, Borderlands 1? That said, I haven't played much of Endgame, but I don't know, it just felt really wonky. But yeah, Jim, I was thinking, no, just do like playthrough 1 and 2 in Borderlands 1, then normal TVHM, UVHM in Borderlands 2, and then Borderlands 3, I think it would be normal and then TVHM playthroughs. I think so. That would make more sense, but no mayhem level farming, no OP level farming, anything like that. Just, just getting to the end of the max possible playthrough and uh, and maxing out the skill tree as well. And of course, yeah, playing the um, pre sequel, for example, Jim, with your community patch, uh, playing Borderlands Two with the with the uh, community patch that's there. Do you still have the brick that you started? Want to see the visual mess of fire action skill, but were the stream bitrate making it even blurrier? <laughs> I do. You know what? Genuinely, it is a freaking mess, but I, I learned to use it. I sort of could still figure out where the enemy is and just spamming that punch, 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 punch. Because if I remember correctly, you don't use the, uh, the alternate punch, you just use the first one because you can spam it. So, uh, yeah, it, it gets very messy, true. TVHM was pointless in Borderlands 3, you could turn on Mayhem mode after normal. Yeah, see, that's why I'm asking, because I don't remember exactly how it was in Borderlands 3. Do you just do the TVHM playthrough? Because I would want to max out the skill tree. That would be the main point. But I also wouldn't want to do it this way, where I'm playing the through TVHM, for example, the second playthrough, and then I max out my skill tree after like 50% of the second playthrough, and then I just leave it there. It's like, boom, game done. Now, I would still want to go to the end, then, to the uh, girl is on fire. TVHM is new game plus, but you can easily do everything in normal mode. What? Including, like, get a full build with all of the skills maxed out? And that without farming. Without farming XP. Can you do that? Right, I'm gonna trigger a short ad break. If you haven't followed, drop a follow. I'll go and get my vas. And then, uh, yeah, let's see if we boot, boot it up already. Lady Andra, hello. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Jim says, I did all side quests run and reached about level 65 or so. You're going to need a bit of XP farming. So what is the max level? Remind me. See, I've uh, I've erased everything from my memory about Borderlands 3. <laughs> what is the max level there? 72. Uh, so you do all side quests. Because I was thinking maybe just do what I've done a lot of times already. And like with games, just like with Borderlands 1. Actually, it would be the same for Borderlands 1, 2 and 3. And pre-sequel. No, wait. Pre-sequel, does it have New Game Plus, TBHM? Shit, I don't remember that either. But anyway, doing the side quests only once I've reached the max playthrough. So side quests in Borderlands 1, uh, Borderlands 1 only on the second playthrough. Side quests in Borderlands 2 only in UVHM. Side quests in Borderlands 3 only in TVHM. And then, uh, I don't remember about pre-sequel. Because that also had something, something different. Fun fact from Jason Schreier, games journalist. Video game production cycles have gotten so long that if a big budget game studio started working on a brand new project today, it would likely be ready for PlayStation 6. It is kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Late Anders says, hope you're well. Been a bit busy, so couldn't see your streams as much. Hopefully, life is going all right. I'm okay. 2022 wasn't a particularly great year, I must say. It was quite rough. But uh, looking forward to this one. I know calendar won't change anything. Dates changing won't change anything. But uh, definitely still fills me with, with more determination and energy to work on, on this year being better for me. So I hope, uh, hope it's, uh, it's good for you. 
Jim says only one lens doesn't have a new game plus. Uh, two and the TPS have forced new game plus because you essentially stop progressing unless you go to TVHM UHM. Wait, but did TPS have TVHM UVHM as well? All, uh, all three basically normal TVHM UVHM. And yeah, Wonderlands uh, I won't play, so only Borderlands series. So Borderlands one, Borderlands one, and probably all DLCs as well. That too. Uh, then Borderlands two, then the pre sequel, and then three. And TPS has all three. Wow, I have forgotten that too. And the pre-sequel, did that have one DLC, Claptastic Voyage, or was there another one? Because yeah, with Borderlands 2, we're in for a treat, of course. And with Borderlands 1 as well, there's like three big DLCs. But um, yeah, Borderlands 2, that's going to be quite a lot of DLCs. Again, thinking that DLCs I just do when I'm UBHM. So try and get there as soon as possible, and then start doing side quests and, and DLCs. It's Claptastic Voyage and the Arena one. Wait, the Arena one? Shit, I don't remember. What was it? Wait, the Arena with modifiers? That was like the OP levels of the pre-sequel? I think I remember it now. That's a DLC. Holodome. Is that the one? Where you set the modifiers, etc. and difficulty level and just go through that. I think I remember it now. I did, I did play a decent amount with it on stream even, yeah. No, modifiers in the claptastic. No, 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 no. Wait, there's like an arena that you fight in. It's like the little birthday, birthday, what was, oh my God, what was that birthday dog, birthday cake? What was in there? Just like a little, little sad birthday thing. And then you chose something on like TVs or something. You chose like a level. Damn, I have forgotten a lot. That was a long time ago when I played that. You're describing Claptastic Voyage. Really? So what's the uh, Hollow Dome? Remind me, what's in there? Lady Anders is going to LGBT party end of this month and gonna take my partner with me. And next month my boyfriend just drops some info. Nice. He's gonna take me to the Weird Al Yankovic concert 19th of Feb. Sounds good. Good start of the year. Some parties. Hollow Dome is just an arena. Never bought it. Oh, dude, I'm thinking Holodome, I don't know why, I'm just thinking of Borderlands 1, and that is Moxie's, Moxie's, whatever that dome was called. Right, the pre-sequel. The pre-sequel Holodome Onslaught. What was it? Shit. Ten more levels. Some new weapons. Axton and Gage announcing their return to Pandora from Vault Hunting on uh, Epta. They learned that Nathina is telling her story to Zed, listen alongside Tiny Tina, wanted to hear the tale fastest way possible by skipping everything but the violence. While well, Latina tells the shortened story, each round offers optional bonus objectives based on the events. I think I vaguely remember, I probably played it once. And then I was like, alright, not that interesting. Yeah, we're on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the badass round. Okay. Has got good weapons though, okay. Right, see, I forgot about that. You can farm a few weapons there. See, if I do that, though, only in UVHM, that's sort of my thinking. That side quests and DLCs only when I reach the max playthrough. No max level, but like if when I go, let's say, the pre-sequel and uh, Borderlands 2, when I get to UVHM, that's like at the start of the UVHM, then I immediately, immediately go into the DLCs. Maybe don't even finish the main story afterwards. Just play through DLCs and that's it. Perhaps. That's sort of where my thinking's going. Hmm. Well, it's a little bit before we get there. 
But currently, yeah, my thinking is just uh, doing all of the playthroughs apart from... Um, apart from OP levels or Mayhem levels. Right, anyway, I wanted to get that bottle of glass. And then I think a quick look at PC gaming news. Maybe a quick YouTube check. I don't know if we're going to have our first year uh, daily dose of internet. I think that's probably going to be towards the end of the week. The most content comes out. And then I think, yeah, Borderlands 1. Let's boot it up. I'm actually looking forward to it. Right, ad break. I don't see an ad break. Oh, Sen wants ads. <laughs> well, Sen, if there was an option on Twitch to have ads play only for a certain user, I would gladly trigger them for you. Absolutely. Okay, PC gaming news. Good job, internet. You bullied NFTs out of mainstream games. We did. Let's go. We win. Payday 3 has got a Steam page. That I know of as well. There, There is even a trailer that isn't really a trailer. It doesn't really show anything. Just some black silhouettes on the, on the background of a city. And then it just says Payday 3 and just some rock music plays. I never played any of the Payday games, but Payday 3 probably will be the first one. I know there's a big uh, big fan base for those. Um, what else? The World Answers, for those who still play that. Cult of the Lamb, uh, first big update will bring new attacks for every weapon. That one we know of as well, and I think that's it. No much else. I think we'll need to wait till the end of the... Uh, end of this week for uh, for the news and releases and announcements to uh, to warm up most likely but let's have a look at YouTube as well payday 2 is just milking for DLCs play payday 2 well I know it just kept for a really long time and apparently had a very strong fan base and yeah the DLCs were like nothing game breaking or pay to win just loads of skins I even remember that h3 h3 Ethan and Neela had like skins in that game stuff like that so yeah Well, cheers for the first kvass or KV ass or just ass of the year. Ooh, this one's good. I haven't tried this one before. This one's like really rye, rye -y. I know it's not a word, but it is a fermented rye kvass and you can really Tastes the right. It tastes basically like bread, like drinking bread. No Lido? Yes, no Lido. Got to change things around. And I, that's the thing. I don't order from Lido anymore. Um, so when I used to order, that's when I would get it because that was their own, own class. But yeah, even in videos. Not that much going on on YouTube. It's a couple of Twitch news that I don't think we'll ever end up watching on uh, on stream anymore. Unless there's something really big that we need to be informed of. Because genuinely, I think it's just deteriorated and just empty bullshit. 
Um, but other than that, let's see. Yeah, there's some 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 Overwatch videos, but that's about it. Nothing else. Oh well. Yo, Budo! Happy New Year! How was your New Year's? What are you up to? Crack the last bottle of uh, Lido ass at New Year's. <laughs> Wait, really? Did you? How many did you buy? No one liked it. Sorry, Kree. Oh no, it's fine. It's like as 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 I've said, it's an acquired taste. I mean, I hope at least it was cold. One and two. What was its expiry date? Could it really last that long for half a year? You brought back three. What is the expiry date on the class? Let's see. This one is best before 12th of uh, April. Oh, yeah, April. Oh, February 23. So it was fine still. Fair enough. As long as you didn't try to poison everybody. <laughs> but yeah, I get it. I think they would like this even less. This is this. This tastes even more like bread. Yeah. It's the, it's the peasant Coca-Cola. Right, give me the dashboard. Let's go. As as Abraham said, let's go. Oh man, I'm so excited to play Mordecai. Oh my god, I played that was my first ever more uh, Mordelands Borderlands character and I never played Mordecai again. I don't think I played another Mordecai. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Is the grass in Poland? Yes. So grass is not sweet. I mean, there is some sweetness to it. Some sweetness, but some saltiness as well. It's like a, f it's a fermented rye drink. It's a really strange taste. And I, that's why I get that, like, people who haven't tasted it, probably 80% won like. Ace tried it as well a long time ago. He said he's like, he, he described it as drinking soy sauce. I mean, it's not that bad, but, uh, but I get it. It's kind of like liquid rye bread. Not, not like your white toast. Rye bread, yeah. So it's, well, it has some sweetness to it. It does have sugar in it. Let's see. Carbohydrates. Uh, so on 100 grams, there's about 5.7 grams of sugar. Not a lot. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a strange drink. It most certainly is a strange drink, yeah. But I've, dr I've, I've been drinking it my whole childhood, and it's one of my favorite uh, uh, fizzy drinks. Sniper Morty. Sniper Morty, because um, I haven't done a sniper character playthrough in Borderlands, any kind of Borderlands, in a very long time. Because, like, sniper usually is the first choice for a lot of people. And hence Mordecai, I think, I don't think there's been a poll or anything like that done, but my guess would be that for most people, the first character was Mordecai. People gravitate towards snipers because they feel safe and sit at the distance and just shoot at heads. But, um, uh, yeah. I played that, that was my first character, and then, yeah, then I, I sort of didn't do snipers for a very, very long time. Monolith chose uh, Mordecai, but went with guns, all right. The do say bun custard says that each beer is seven slices of bread. Not sure how true it is. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I have to stress though, this is not alcoholic. It doesn't contain any alcohol. It is a fermented drink, but no alcohol in it. No, no, no... I'm sure there's like a tiny bit, but it's like literally you can still give it to a baby and even a baby wouldn't get drunk. So no <laughs> alcohol. I've got a Polish store across the street. Never seen kvass there. I don't know. Go in there. Ask. I would be surprised if a Polish store doesn't have any kvass at all. 
Can we farm the hybrid sniper for the rest of our lives? Because I never got that motherfucker. See, chat, you'll have to remind me of all kinds of, uh, well, legendaries and pearls that are available in Borderlands 1. I don't remember that shit anymore. So, what was the hybrid sniper? Monolith says it's like bread flavored, uh, flavored kombucha. See, that's the thing. It's, it's how, how it ends up being. I've never tried kombucha, so I don't know what that tastes like. It is sort of popular here. I see it on the shelves, but I haven't tried it. I need to try that too. Because I can't say whether it's like kombucha or not. But in terms of like how it's made, yeah, it's probably close. Olga told me that it had a cart that delivered like a big keg. Yep, that's how I started drinking it as a kid. So basically, huh, interesting connection. So where I just just uh, spent my New Year's Eve, we went to that little center of uh, of of uh, the suburb. There's like four, no, three streets cross, and that's like the little central thing with the shops and everything. Um, and we went there to wait for New Year's, and that's always where that keg used to be. It would just turn up in the morning, uh, they would leave it, it would just, you know, a truck would just pull it there, and then there was, like, uh, always the, the grass lady selling, uh, grass. Yeah, from a huge keg, exactly. That was the good old, old-school Soviet style. So I would get 20, uh, what were they called? What's the English name for them, even? Like, the, uh, the coins, the Russian... There's rubles and then there's kopecks, basically, that's what they're called. Uh, and I think it was 20, yeah. And yeah, you just would get a cold glass of grass. Just drink it there and just give the glass back and then she would just rinse it. Probably very sloppily. Oh, I can tell you even something more disgusting. I remember giving her 50 and she gave me 30 back of those little uh, coins. And, I, and it had like little tiny white gooey things on them. I showed them to my grandma, I was like, what is that? And she was like, oh my god, you, that's like, um, fly eggs. <laughs> so I probably swallowed a few of those as well in my lifetime. It was definitely not very sterile, not very clean. <laughs> Welcome to Soviet Union. Things have improved. Like, communal drinking glasses, that should be, that, that used to be a thing as well. Like, there was like, uh, carbonated water, um, uh, machines on the street with a literal glass made out of glass, that was there, you sort of pushed down on it and sort of rinsed it, but it only rinsed the inside, it actually didn't rinse the part that mattered the most, where people's lips touched. Um, or maybe some water just splashed on it a little bit, but yeah, that's how shit used to be. <laughs> you. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the big crass thing uh, was served as well, yeah, they just a truck would just pull it in in the morning, a big, big keg, exactly, and we little, little Soviet kids would just run up there. People's lips touched? Yeah, you kissing. <laughs> kissing strangers. Burus is having had both. Kombucha has got much more fermented flavor. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, I, I need to try it. I, I know that there's quite a lot of those and, and they say that it's very healthy. She had some pics uh, showing it to us, so I could never. Of what? The crass, uh... Let's see if I can find one. Yes, there it is! Oh my god, there it is. That's exactly how it used to be. Haha, <laughs> fucking hell, that's so bizarre. <laughs> Just a second. So yeah, this is, this is basically what would roll up. Exactly, these wheels, I mean, unsurprisingly, they were like, manufactured and distributed throughout the Soviet Union. That's exactly how it looked like. Look at the Kvass lady sitting here. She would be there with a little table and just fill it up. And you would drink it. I wouldn't be surprised if in Russia that's, this is still a thing. Yep. There's even like an old school... Old school picture. There, there you go. This one's from Latvia. It actually says Kvass in Latvian. KV double ass. Double ass? Well, there you go. You can see it like there. It's in Latvian as well. So yeah. That's exactly what I remember from my childhood. You can even see the glasses here, just stacked up, and then they were probably just sloppily, quickly rinsed. Some weir weird Eastern European stuff. What are you sipping on? Sorry if you already said. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. 
kvass. It's that, that special drink that only Eastern Europeans know. And apparently, what did Bunu say? No one liked it. She brought three back to US and no one liked it who tried it. Uh, the cloth was also for straining it. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because there's all kinds of shit in there. <laughs> but as I said, I like my most vivid memory was like that, yeah. She on her heads, or at least on those coins, those were like the fly, little, little white fly eggs. Hippie Bo, hello, is that an adult beverage or soda? It's soda. It does have no alcohol in it, in it whatsoever. Children like it here as well. And, arguably, it's healthier than, for example, Fanta or or even any kind of local Coca-Colas and, 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 and whatnot. I, I even saw one at the stores, like, today. It literally said Latvian Coke. Didn't say it in English, unfortunately, because then it could be, like, a nice meme, maybe, but uh, it was in Latvian. It's like, wow. All right, I guess. Interesting. Interesting target audience. But, like, that has got so much sugar in it. This grass has got very little sugar, which is probably why... Most people would dislike it as well if you haven't had it, if, if you don't have that acquired taste. Because it's a really strange tasting drink. It, it's like liquid bread, yeah. A little bit salty even as well. So, yeah. Fermented rye. Oh, so good. And yeah, and then there's variations of it. Like the one that Buno brought actually to US, that one's a little bit sweeter. This one's like, mmm, the rye aftertaste is very strong in this one. I love it. And that's why I like it. It's sort of smokier. So this one I will buy again. There's a reason, yeah, it was a little bit more expensive than others. That's for sure. Well, it's just, I wonder if I would like it or not. I enjoy things much less sweet than most people. Well, but it definitely still has got a very pronounced taste. Just not sweet. Try it. I'm sure you can get kvass in US. I'm sure there's like some sort of Polish or Eastern Eastern European stores that would sell it. I've got to send more rye chips, not that they would have fit. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And I checked my post box today. Nothing yet. Uh, nothing. No. Because at some point when they want me to collect it at the post office, they'll send me a note. Uh, but nothing yet. Senses I have Polish stores, but no kvass. I don't believe you. I think you need to go and check. Just ask for kvass tomorrow. Let's get an update tomorrow. You got another update? What is it saying? It says ready for pickup. Okay, so that must mean that I'm guessing tomorrow I'm gonna get it. Whenever the postman comes over to drop the note. Keep in mind, says, I have, I also have some that grows in my front yard. Wait, wait, what are we talking about? You've got, not class growing in the front yard, surely not. Oh, I just, I just realized this thing that we looked at, that's one of the class manufacturers that retweeted that saying, do you remember these? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Interesting memory. All right. Sarsaparilla. Oh, wait, what is that? I've never had that. Abam says there's a very large Ukrainian community about 20 minutes away. Is that something they might have in shops? Yeah, possibly. It was very popular in East Eastern Europe and Slavic countries. Kvass. Let's see. I know that we have talked about that before on stream, but let me just uh, see. So, Kvass, a fermented cereal-based low-alcoholic. It says low-alcoholic, but it's like the alcohol content is like minuscule. Beverage with a slightly cloudy appearance, light brown color, and sweet sour. Sweet sour is a good uh, good description, I guess. Maybe flavored with berries, fruits, herbs, or honey, which is why the taste can vary, and there's different brands, and each of them try and differentiate as well. Stems from northeastern part of Europe, where the grain production is thought to have been insufficient for beer to become a daily drink. The first written mention of fast is found in the primary chronicle describing the celebration of Vladimir the Great's baptism in 996. It's made from mash obtained from rye bread or rye flour and malt soaked in hot water. 
right it's popular in russia ukraine there you go that definitely will be there and popular in russia ukraine poland baltic countries hello that's where i'm from finland oh Finns as well i didn't know that finland and even some parts of china interesting Although the massive flood of Western soft drinks after the folly of USSR, such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi, substantially dr uh, shrunk the market of share, uh, market share of kvass in Russia here as well. In recent years, it has regained its original popularity, often marketed as a national soft drink or patriotic alternative to soda. I wouldn't say like not here. That's that that that's in Russia, but it most certainly has regained popularity here. There's so many types of kvass uh, in the store. And I personally choose that over over Coke very often. There's definitely sometimes when I when I crave that uh, Coca-Cola taste or some Fanta, but very often I just pick Kvass. Uh, Cult of Lamb is getting a big free update. It is very nice, but I don't think it's something that would make me pick it up again because it's the same map, same story, same everything. It's just alternate attacks for weapons, as far as I know. Sarsaparilla is nice. It's similar to root beer. I don't think I've tried root beer either. See? So many drinks still to drink. Coca-Cola actually in Russia launched its own brand of kvass in 2008. I didn't know that. It was the first time a foreign company made an uh, appreciable entrance into the Russian kvass market. Interesting. Poland, Latvia. In Latvian class, also called the, the fuck? What is that reference from where? What and how Latvians used to eat acorn coffee, beer, sugar, sweets? No, I have not heard anyone ever call it that. The fuck? That's wrong. Uh, after the dissolution of Soviet Union in 1991, the street vendors disappeared. That, there you go. So that's what we just looked at, those street vendors. Uh, due to new health laws that banned that sale on the street. And, and rightfully so. As I told you just the story, the hygienic issues there were aplenty. From the shared glass cups to all the, you know, fly eggs and and, uh, and all of the other shit, yeah. Coca-Cola moved in and began quickly to dominate the market of soft drinks. Of course, in 1991, everyone wanted to chew chewing gum and drink Coca-Cola because it was, it was the symbols of freedom. 1998, the local soft drink industry adapted by starting to sell bottle kvass and launching aggressive marketing campaigns. The surge in sales was stimulated by the fact that kvass sold for about half the price of Coca-Cola. Not anymore. But yeah, they're talking about 1998 there. In just three years, kvass constituted as much as 30% of the soft drink market in Latvia. While the market share of Coca-Cola fell from 65% to 44 There you go. We're freaking kvass drinkers here. Coca-Cola company had losses in Latvia of about $1 million in 1999 and 2000. Coke responded by purchasing kvass manufacturers as well, producing kvass at their own soft drinks plants. Ha <laughs> Okay, so it could be that some of the manufacturers that I buy from, they're actually owned by Coca-Cola. I mean, that's the strategy, yeah. Root beers are primarily an American thing, as I understand, very not popular, not popular outside of US. Yeah, never tried, but I'd like to try that. Giant spectrum of flavors, but... Barks is a popular one made by Coke, and that's a great anise flower. Oh no, f flavor! That sounds terrible. I don't know. I don't like the um, the salty anise thingies. So that probably I wouldn't like. But but basically, kvass then is probably like root beer because it, that's the same thing with kvass. There's so many different kinds of flavors because as I just read on the Wikipedia article, like the main method of how you make it from rye is the basics, but then you flavor it with berries or honey or, you know, all kinds of combinations. Yeah. Let's see, on 30th of September, now I want to finish this. Syme adopted quality and classification requirements for kvass, defining it as a beverage obtained by a fermenting mixture of kvass wort with the yeast of microorganism cultures to which sugar and other food sources and food additives are added. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. With a maximum ABV of 1.2% and differentiating it, differentiating it from unfermented non-alcoholic mixture of grain product extract, water flavorings, preservatives, and other ingredients, which is designed as a kvass mold beverage. 
Oh, I have never even thought about it. Yeah, there's there's class Zeds, which is class beverage, and then there's the actual class. In 2014, Latvian class produces won seven medals at the Russian Beverage Exposition in Moscow. You'd see McFast ranked the second most loved Latvian beverage uh, brand top and the first in the subsequent 2020 top. So still the most loved. Yeah, very much. Looks like Latvians out of all three Baltic states love Kvass the most. There you go. That's why I'm drinking it all the time. <laughs> Bonus is that it would probably be too sweet. That stuff is straight syrup. Wait, really? How, how many grams of sugar per 100 milliliters? If you were to try it, probably recommend A and W. Well, yeah, I'll see. There is, there's a couple of bigger stores that have like the small American corner where you can get some U.S. products. So I'll have a look. I even discovered, you know, how funny is that? Chat. Remember, Bunu last year sent the sweets package. It was not only from Bunu, but from many others in the chat as well, where I tried all kinds of U.S. sweets, etc. Uh, and I was like, yeah, there's no way I could get those here. I've never ever seen them. And then Bunu came over on the summer, and at some point we went to a supermarket, and Bunu's like, "Hey, what's that?" And they would just literally just open a store with, I think it's called American Candy or something like that, and it's like you can get all of the American sweets there. <laughs> Maybe that has got a uh, root beer as well. I need to check. I don't know if it counts as a, uh, a you know a soft drink just like Coca Cola or something. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a monster with all American shit. But, like, specifically candy stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Star Warrior, thank you very much for the bits. Welcome back. How are you doing? Oi! Borderlands 1? Yes! About to launch it. We just got a little bit distracted by Kvass, but, uh, yeah. Borderlands, Borderlands Marathon. So I'm starting with Borderlands 1, and I'm going to play through all of the Borderlands 1... Sorry, 1? Well, Borderlands games. So Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2... Borderlands the pre-sequel and Borderlands 3. All of all of them. But like $10 for Pop-Tarts because imports and all that. Yeah, which makes sense, right? They're not like trying to rip people off. It's just they are not gonna send ton not gonna sell tons of it. It's gonna be a limited amount sold, so it's gonna be more expensive. But yes, yeah, like in the window, I remember me and Boone walking past, and it was like all of the pop tarts that she sent me as well. <laughs> all of those were in the window, like just yeah, sitting there. Yeah, you can buy them. So uh, in case I like something maybe from the new package, I, I can buy there. Yeah. But I'm interested in the root beer. Let's uh, let's see about that one. I don't know when the next time is gonna be when I'm gonna go to that store, but when I'm there, I'll try to remember. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Updating. <laughs> Boodoo, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Chipping away and uh, huge Mr. Lovey Long Time Schlong. Oh, shit. Mighty Python. A mighty Python. Thank you. 66. 66 months. Yep. Pope Champ at work, so can't talk. Feel Spargman, but we move, so hope you had a good New Year's. We move? We move? Where are we moving? Is that an expression that I'm not aware of? Perhaps Mighty Python. Thank you for the 66 months. Mighty Python, one of the longest time <laughs> subs that uh, that we have here. Python, thank you very much. Hopefully a good working day today and might see you later. Uh, hey, hello there. Meow! My... That's, that's my brain right now. Trying to figure out how do I say my AOL password quickly. But it's meow. That's the best one. Uh, Tank, thank you for the bits and... Uh, Hey, well, how are you doing? Happy New Year. Thank you very much for the host. What were you streaming? And uh, thank you. Thank you very much for hosting. Appreciate the yeet. That's what we call it here. And a little hype train as well at the start of the year. Why not? My move is like... 
<laughs> Star Warrior getting lucky with the uh, with the wet one. Very nice. Star Warrior, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We're, you know, that's going to be an achievement when you get the uh, lovely long time schlong Here half the way. That's already massive. Yeah, password just and subscribe. AOL with the resubscription. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Hosting and still resubscribing. I hope you like the new emotes. Plan this year is to add a minimum of 12, so one a month. Maybe, maybe more if we're lucky. Uh, that's the plan. I'll try and stick to it. AOL password. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Wholesome Deviants. How was your morning? Some Dragon Balls uh, Z. That one. I see. I'll pretend I know what it is. I mean, I've heard of it, but is that... Isn't that like a cartoon? I guess there's a game for it as well. <laughs> Star Warrior, thank you for the bits as well. And uh, Mighty Python says, we move. It's like we're rolling, carrying on with life. Oh, that's it. I see. Yeah. So I understand correctly. We're moving. Yeah, it is. It is a game from the anime. So what is the game's principle? What are you doing it? Right. Title update. So what do we do? Borderlands Marathon? Yes. Borderlands 1, 2, Borderlands 3. Save. I think that's all there needs to be. Brain is boom says, have you always had those Borderlands posters up? Or is it because you're starting Borderlands 1? No, I've always had them. You joined relatively recently, if I remember correctly. So you might have not noticed because you've always been here during gameplay. Because then you would just see this camera. Maybe you wouldn't notice it there. But no, they were always there. Well, I say always. You know, the last year or so. Half a year, maybe. No, I think it's it might be since the summer. So about half a year. Yeah, they've been there. So, game, defeat a bad guy, level up your playable characters, etc. Kind of what you expect in a JRPG. Okay, it's a JRPG. There you go. That's that's what I wanted to figure out. Got it. Okay, well, title set. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Fun fact, Puno says with this sound. I've not got the shitty fart yet. Never? But then again, you never really pushed for it. And I don't mean that as a euphemism. <laughs> you know, you want the shitty fart. But it works as euphemism, euphemism too. If you want the shitty part, you really have to push for it. You know? That said, yeah, spamming doesn't work. Because stream elements doesn't work properly. So uh, you can cheer the same amount. Just give it a minute between, basically. And Brain, Happy New Year to you too. How was New Year's? <laughs> yeah, Buddha's not a fart pusher like, uh, like, uh, who was that? Star Warrior? Yeah, Star Warrior definitely has had some serious attempts at trying to get it. All right. Let's see. Whoa. Oh. Nice car. Shit. Yeah, it is. Hey, Zag, nice cock. <laughs> Star Warrior, it is a nice cock. Look at that. It is almost exactly halfway. That's a lot of zeros there. That's looking good. Thank you. New Year's was a blur. Hey, that sounds good. That sounds like it was a lot of fun. That's how it should be, isn't it? Right. Okay, so. Why is my battle net open? Close that. Oh, yeah. Blow up the little guys. And let's listen to some Borderlands music. Oh, you know what? There, there's a weird one. I like the gun sounds a lot in Borderlands 1. I know plenty of people prefer Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 gun sounds. I like them the most in Borderlands 1. Yes, they were a little bit too samey. As in, like, sniper rifles could have been slightly more different. But some of those sounds are just like, oh, down. They just, they just pop so much. Really nice. All right, let's pause this. Play that. Play dominoes at New Year's. We're drunk, so the maths was so hard. 
<laughs> what did we play? Oh, charades. Yeah, of course, because children wanted to play. But I don't think anyone won or anything because the yeah, grown-ups were sort of too drunk or not focusing. Okay. Oh, this music, baby. Fuck damn, kids. Who said that? I just recently saw a meme about that. It was a Santa that threw something out of his uh, Santa sledge while fly flying through the sky. And it fell on the ground and the children just made a huge explosion. And then the voice said, fuck damn, kids. <laughs> There's a woman who had four kids. Oh, so it's from like some sort of real life interview or some shit. There we go. Game capture working. I'm over here. Where are you at? <laughs> so, let's see. What do I have? I've got a character called Squishy Pancake. These are the yeah, so see? That was my first character. Last time I did something with No wait a minute. There it is. Last time I did something with it in tw Oh never mind, those dates are gonna be wrong. That's when they were imported, I think, from uh from the original. I think so. But that's yeah, that's my Mordecai. The first one ever. Then Buriku-san, that's the recent one, the first brick. Then there's, yeah, a couple of, uh, Rollins and one Siren at level 69. Nice. 2019 is last time when I've touched all of that. Show brick pollution. Wait a minute, let's see. Fire? Is that going to be the, the most ridiculous? Right, where was it? Here, right? Incendiary? That one. I've only got level 1. And also, level 1 for the hype train. Thank you, chat. First hype train of the year. Right, let's see if I can see anything. Name Morty Sniper Man and make him blue and red. Wait, w what reference am I missing? Right, let's see. See, you can even crit if you aim at the head. <laughs> there you go. That's what Jim wanted to see. <laughs> Punching. Okay, but. We are going to create a new character. Yes. Me to my meet every night before bed. <laughs> Is it on fire as well? Man, you should use some lube. That looked better than I expected on stream. There we go. I think it's uh, it's probably the fact that encoding things have improved massively in the last 10 years. Like, a lot. Even the recent OBS update, which allowed the NBNC quality options, which I'm running the highest on. Um, that's, that's, yeah, improved a lot. So, level one, new character, yes. Invite only, play. So, you want to hear a story, huh? Ah, I, I will watch all of this. We'll watch all the cutscenes as well. Have I got a story for you? Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake, 
This is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. But do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the Vault. My father would always go on about the Vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology. Infinite wealth. Fame. Power. Women. So you can understand why some little kiddos who hear the stories grow up to become Vault Hunters. Well, I have a story you may not believe. No, a brick with his dog still. True. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And a, yeah, let's call it a gun. It must start with A, you want to hear a story, eh? Right? To their prize. The tale begins right here on Pandora with the brave vault hunters, the guardian angel, and most importantly, me. Me. Name him Sni- Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh wait, this one I have to skip, right? Because it's uh, DMCA built. Yo, Infotain, good morning. How you doing? Happy New Year. How was yours? You with the sniper rifle and the crazy mask. You look like a Traxican wrestler. Moonlighting is a top. <laughs> Did he? More like I just flipped him off. I never, never noticed that before. Are those armor pieces from the crimson lance you're wearing? Intro makes me want to play again. Do it. Do it. What can you do? Uh, perhaps you can bake us all a wonderful cake. Oh no, was that women belong in a kitchen joke? <laughs> I think it was. Your burps smell of blood and you growl like a rabid animal. That's brick. Yo, first bigger follow of the year, I think. Tough out there. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Pyro. Speed up on whatever you please until you're ready. Sure, you can take from the bandits or find things in the wild. Yeah, they they, they calm down for some time, but uh, happy 2023. The bigots are still here. <laughs> no need to be so serious here. And if you're looking wait, does he ever stop talking? Well, you're going to have your work cut out for you. So don't be afraid to spend what it takes to get the equipment you need. You listen to Marcos. I come from seven generations of merchants and I'm the best. <laughs> Want to know why? Because I'm making it out here in this place. Oh, there it is. Now I stop. The Matrix. Oh, yeah, that's going to be in a meme now due to the stupid Tate's tweet. The Matrix has sent his agents. <laughs> Uh, Infos is closed today, taking the day to watch video games and play with Mrs. Butt. Oh, that sounds like an excellent day. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, that's a great day for Infotain. Perfect. So you going back to work tomorrow, yeah? Right. Mordecai. Don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the bus. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the, the modern boat. angel. That's not the how she looked in the old game, right? By a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean when it happens. I'll contact you again soon. Well, we're here. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. I'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. Oh, this phrase. <laughs> ah, get off my bus. <laughs> Tate, what's his name? Said Matrix as well. Dream. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what the joke is about. All right. Oh wait, I can't move yet. <laughs> we'll do the mouse settings. I don't have to do any graphic settings. Those are already done, but mouse, I need to do that. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display provided free of charge. 
By the door I forgot how fat the black outlines were. Like, they're real thick. Chunky. Because Borderlands 2, at some point, I started playing without the outlines at all. Wee-oo. Great! I detect that your Echo device is fully functioning. This way, please. This way, please. And yeah, wait, so in this you get like the gearbox sniper, right? No, this is a Jacobs. Oh, there's a gearbox. Gearbox blaster and hive mind rocket launcher. I'm not gonna use those. Like, why do I need le legendary at the start of the game? That's like the new gearbox thinking, right? Sh shovel, shower or shovel as well. Shovel the loot at the new player. But this, GGN old sniper, that sounds like a good sniper uh, starter weapon, right? Like, basic as fuck. Right, let's do, let's do the thing. And yeah, I won't use a mod or anything to, to uh, prevent the FOB from changing when I sprint. That's fine, I can live with it. Come over here! Come over here. No! I'm doing my coggers and... It's too low. It needs to be a little bit higher. Now the question is... Uh, where was it? Mouse and keyboard? Yeah. Yes, this is, this is probably going to be the issue if I go... Yeah, it, like, what is that? It goes in tens. Now it's going to be probably crazy sensitive, so I'll have to adjust with the DPI instead. Probably. I'm over here. <laughs> oh my god! That difference is insanely huge. That is, yeah, okay. That's that's some old school game stuff. Although some new games do this kind of shit as well these days. Right. So let me just let me just quickly adjust that through the mouse settings instead. See, that's why gaming mice are good. I actually, do stuff with them. Right, Borderlands. Where are you? Game of the year. Alright, let's try this. I'm over, here. I'm over here! For any new people who've never seen this procedure before, wondering what I'm doing, is... I've got a... Oh, I... Yeah. F I'm fucked up. I made it even less sensitive when I needed to go the other way. Um, what I'm doing is trying to set my sensitivity the same for all games. And it's very easily easily doable without any calculators or anything. Just have a marker on your mouse mat. Do do a 360 turn. You know, I'm trying to like align it with this line in the middle with the crosshair. Do a 360 turn in the game, and see if you end up at the same spot roughly in every single game. And that way, yeah, you can tell whether you um. Let's see. Yeah, it seems about right. Whether you have roughly the same sensitivity. I don't think I've found a better method yet. Right, so that is done. Can close this. Settings time. Yeah, the rest of the settings have been set. Everything else is fine. I'm over here. Hello. Music, audio. Yeah, you can hear it, right? And video, field of view, 105. More doesn't look good in, an, in this kind of an old game. It really fish eyes like crazy. Then everything else is on ultra or high. I've even switched bloom on in here because it's sorta of in an old game like this. You can see the bloom there. It sorta of makes it cool. Actually looks alright. This is the new you station. When you use this device, your DNA profile is automatically identified and stored. Please activate the new you station now. Boom boom. Oh, that sound. Right, I do need a name though. I do need a name. Th they're listening. Tinfoil hat. Headhunter. Bright eyed. Oh, such simpler times, right? These were so, so simple. Name? Yeah, what are we gonna call this character? Marath Marathonakai? Since it is a Borderlands Marathon.
or just Happy New Year. Bright-eyed. I'm gonna go with their listening. I like that one. All right, colors. More decree. <laughs> Abraham? Yeah, right. We need something funny! Well, there you go. That matches the rest of it. All right, which is that highlight? Okay. It's the belt. Oh, wait. And the glasses, too. Yeah, that also changes the glasses, I just noticed. Something blue would do. Do 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 do. And this is the pants. It is the pants. There you go. <laughs> New Year, same me. <laughs> Cooks, what's up? Striving to be the worst possible version of yourself? Really? How so? What has changed since the last time we talked? Marathon Dekai. Marathon Dekai. That's his name. And that's it. Oh, confirm and exit escape. There you go. Excellent. Now Good. that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance. Should an unfortunate fatal incident occur, your new you will appear at the nearest station. Oh, I forgot about the melee movement of the screen. <laughs> like, I'm not moving my mouse and this is how the screen moves when you melee. I love the environment in this game though. I, I really do. Something amazing about it. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? <laughs> I like how they sound like that and when you drive them, they sound nothing like it. It's... Wild to think that OG Borderlands 1 didn't have a mini-map. Wait, it didn't? That's a recent addition? I didn't even know that. Well, I obviously knew it because I played the OG Borderlands 1, but I don't remember it like that. Oh, wait, we gotta get that chest, right? Yes. This is that little thing where this chest also exists in Borderlands 2 in the same location, right? Yeah, you had to open it all the time and use the compass thing? Wait, really? Oh! So it was either the compass or the whole big map. That's it. Wait, how did you used to get on there? Here. And there wasn't an FOV option you had to go into the inning change. It. That I remember. I remember fiddling with the inning files to get the FOV to be changed and also... Uh, mapping the FOV change to a W button so whenever you sprinted and shit, it didn't reset. It was the same issue with Bioshock as well. Good old gaming days. Imran, hello, what's up? <laughs> Wait, that was Mordecai's voice? That was how he sounded? Oh my god. So freaking cool. I guess in Borderlands 2, he's just, he's just uh, too drunk. His voice is like all ruined because he just sounded like a f a freaking Chad. Oh, satisfaction. Whereas Borderlands 2 is like, I wouldn't stole my bird. So different. I didn't remember that at all. Let me just turn it up a little bit. All up by one. Oh yeah, the jumping cars, uh, the glacier leaving? Yes. Uh, that's a level four. I, I will need all the money I can get. Oh, I can snipe them from here, right? That hurt? Man. 
the start of snipers it's not very accurate there you go oh see and i love this sound I, f I think it sounds great the gun that is it's like really chunky sound someone stole my bird wait what what bird all right cla oh hello Oh, see? All of this blood. All of that shit. They definitely turn it down for later games. It's a shame. I liked how in that sense shootery it was an old school way, right? With all of that gore. Oh, the reload animation. Awesome. Hey, hey, it's all right? Oh, hey. maybe it's not. Oh, there's more. Oh shit, this oh, seven. Really don't want me to come back with nine. Ah! Open the door. What? You didn't like that? Man, the reloads are so slow. Shock death animations. Yes, yeah, you can see the skeleton and everything and then like a freaking lightning shoots out through their head and takes their head off and everything. It is pretty amazing. True. Uh, let me just check. So the scope sensitivity and everything is also the minimum. Yeah. This is kind of high. The box is awaiting your attention. Awaiting. <laughs> what? Half of it is empty. Come on. Wow. That looks like it could do some damage. Okay. Let's get this gate open. Wait, why does... Let me see. It is louder in the right ear, right? I guess because the gun is to your right. Yeah, it's more in your right ear. I've never noticed that before. Is that the same with all guns? No. Just a sniper. Interesting. Right, what did we get here? Uh, 10, 12. Let's take that. Yeah, sniper's on the right side. Interesting. All right, this is the barrel that I've died to in, in some original Borderlands 1 playthroughs when you've got so little health. Right. Oh, was there anything interesting down here? No. Oh, there's some ammo. Whoop, whoop. More bandits? Oh, yes. Hello. Shit. I don't know, like, I mean, yeah, shooting definitely feels super duper old school. But like, once you land those shots, it feels very satisfying. That said, yeah, this is a really shitty sniper. The sway is very noticeable. Come meet your maker. Then the reload's real long. Come on. But we'll get something better very soon. This is basically the tutorial section, right? You gotta jump, you gotta crawl. Some couple of basic bandits to shoot. Hello. Whoa, what the? Oh, something exploded behind. Wait, that's what he yells? <laughs> I have forgotten that Mordecai yells that. Why? Oh, boy. All right. And also, yes, that thing. In Borderlands 1, when you're fighting for your life you can't move you're glued to the ground and the screen goes uh black and white and dark very quickly <laughs> why why <laughs> i didn't remember that like did they change the mordecai's voice actor from one to two or was that the same dude why all right have some fun with those wires. Oh, level up as well. Oh, that didn't hit. I guess it did. Oh, that didn't either. All right, that might have missed. There we go. Whoa, look, look, like, look at all of the meat parts and everything just raining down. Surprise, motherfucker. See? That's amazing. Yo, Flamey. Thank you very much. Panned it all the way through again just a few months ago on Lilith. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely plenty of love for this game. 
uh, in me as well. It is this one way more nostalgia than Borderlands 2. There's definitely what I would think in my subjectively objective opinion. There's still plenty of things that I think were great in it, but this one is a full nostalgia playthrough. That's for sure. Flame, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the Deviants. Ah, and I feel like this year release starts feeling like the Deviants is the real thing. I know there was a lot of community name changes in that, but finally, to me, myself as well, the Deviants just starts feeling good. I, I genuinely don't plan on another name change. <laughs> this is it. This is what I like. What feels right. So, welcome back to the Deviants. Started out in, you know, in the Kree crew, and then the creeps and whatnot, and monkeys, but now the Deviants. Shout out to Infotain, who's in the chat today. You came out with it. It was perfect. Attention, citizen of Firestone! There is no cause for alarm. Attention, citizen of Firestone. Die. No, well, Overlook shoot, died. I thought I was a goner that time. Damn bandits won't leave us alone. Had to lock the place up tight. I'll let you in. Come on. Damn it. Good old Zed. Circuits are on the fritz again. Give it a go from the switch out there, would you? Wow. And also the fact that, yeah, yeah, you had to, like, read all of the mission descriptions, right? The characters didn't narrate it always. The doctor's in. Right, where's the now switch? Selected a mission, you will notice that a new icon has appeared on your heads up display. Yes, yes. That's a waypoint. Oh no. A waypoint will really? Tell you where you need to go, depending on what mission is currently active in your mission log. Yes. Just let me push it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, and these basic cutscenes too. But, but true, due to this art style, it doesn't look that old. It's just when you control it, and you can feel that it's a very old shooter in, in many other ways. But a Borderlands 1, like, full remake, that would be amazing. I would love it. Oh, wait, he's there? He's there. Thanks for opening her up again. The name's Zed. They don't let me cut on folks anymore since I lost my license, so now I keep the med vendors around here up and running. From the vendors, you can buy all the healing you could ever want from a real doc. Thankfully, without the vault is a myth, you'll get yourself killed lecture. Oh, damn. I love Zed's character as well. It's a shame they didn't have him for Borderlands 3. I don't know there was, whether there was any conflict or not, but, uh, but uh, yeah. We just got some recycled lines from Borderlands 2. Definitely a great voice actor, and I like him as a character. It'll look great on a hoodie, wholesome deviants. Yes, I know, Infotain, you've been the one who's been pushing for merch always. And uh, genuinely, it would have been ready this year if I didn't decide on the change. Because there's a new logo coming as well. So once the logo's there, I can actually put the first merch out with just some logos and maybe wholesome deviants. I think it's going to look great, yeah. Monkey would be cool on a... <laughs> It just says monkey on a hoodie too, but I think just deviant just deviant I have to be careful because there is a company out there called deviant clothing So can't get any close to that, but be happy. I'm here Right, so what do we do? That's the opening name Zed call me a doctor blah 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 Oh, that's just handing it in skags at the gate. Just kill some skags, right? Yeah, easy That is not working yet. No, what does it say there? Welcome to Pandora enter the code number. Well, Six night. Me. Hello. What's up? Please follow me, and I'll open the gate for you. It's like he's looking for his lost head somewhere on the ground. <laughs> what about deviant art? I hope there won't be any issue. No, there won't be any. I mean, deviant. They haven't copyrighted the word deviant. You know? Deviant is just like I don't know, like a word. Um, uh, happy. You know, you don't copyright that, you don't have a trade name on it. But Deviant Clothing, I wouldn't be able to make a company called Deviant Clothing. Um, and they even shorten it as DVNT, so I have to differentiate that. But Deviant Art, no, no, it's not related in any way. Oh, wait, Claptrap, yeah, open. I'm over here. Yes, and I'm here. What up? Oh, those guys again. Oh, yeah, 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 the revive tutorial, the revive tutorial, because this is still the tutorial, yeah. That hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fun time sniping. I'm already enjoying this, but once we get a better sniper, that's gonna be even better. Oh, wait, there's another dude, yeah. Ooh. Remember, this game has proficiencies. 
So on your character, the weapon that you use the most improves. This is going to give us what? I think reload speed and fire rate, some shit like that. I always love the proficiency system. I know where there's people, big Borderlands fans who also didn't. You did it. And damage as well? Wait, it will improve damage too? Okay. Oh, the poor little robot needs our help. Would you kindly give him a hand? Would you kindly? Wait, that would not be a reference to Bioshock. Bioshock came after this, right? My servos. My servos are seizing. <laughs> the old claptrap was the best. <laughs> Don't at me. I think I'm leaking. I'm leaking. There's oil everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm gonna have fun this playthrough. I can already feel that. Wait, what do you mean? I, oh, wait. Oh, my God. It's not... Re oh, repair kit. Shit. Yeah, I'm thinking of, like, the new way of reviving stuff. I was waiting for a prompt to show up. No, no, no. Repair kits. <laughs> Mew. There you go. He's back. I think. Am I leaking? <laughs> Am I leaking? <laughs> oh, first Bioshock was in seven, maybe eight, so before this game. Oh, so it might be a reference then. Not that it's such an unusual thing to, you know, ask, would you kindly do this? But, like, whenever I hear that, I just think Bioshock won. Would you kindly? Thank you for My Morty ended up being an OP Bloodwing build. Yeah, it's about, what? Well, it's about the bird and, well... I remember pistols and snipers. I don't remember what the what the uh, Bloodwing did. Well, we'll see. That's why I wanted to play Mordecai as well, because it was my first character, and I played him only one time. <laughs> Level up, baby. I'll see you in a few. You know what's weird? I don't know if you can see it on stream. Probably. Like, the game is smooth, right? But the minimap is still like 30 frames per second. When you rotate, you can see it's choppy. Just tell me if you need anything. Uh -huh. Keep the medical equipment working. More or less. More or less. Fix or opera. Obtain a power coupling. Repair the med vendor. Ah, oh, that's why it's not working. Okay, okay, okay. For now. And it is... Yeah, it's going to be with those skags. I, I, I'm starting to remember some of these missions. That's also a good feeling. Just remembering the stuff. Mm. From what I remember, when shooting isn't always straight. Sometimes that's my experience from this game. Yeah! So the bullets... Well, see, I'm not moving my mouse. I zoom in, and this is how it... How, how much it moves. I, I think after sprinting, it moves more. Yeah. So there's a lot of sway, but I think in Borderlands 1, the shooting was always straight, wasn't it? But then there's a lot of sway afterwards. But in Borderlands 2, they changed it. That's where the accuracy stat was different, where uh, sometimes the bullet wouldn't go where the crosshair is. I think so. But I'm sure there's someone in the chat who might know that a little bit more. Wait, where were the skags coming? There. No, that's dead, that's dead. Is that? Oh, no, no, that's not dead. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot them with a the sniper. We're just gonna try to get the sniper proficiency as high as possible. Especially the reload. I need that. Accuracy is also based on proficiency. Oh, so it is a thing that improves. But that's not the sway. It's the actually whether the bullet matches where the crosshair is. Is that right? And I've never played these games back to back, so this is going to be an interesting experience. I will do the minimum amount of side quests just to make sure I'm on level, so I'm not struggling. And I'm not opening those. Um, but, um... Is side quests... You need? Once we reach the second playthrough here. You can call me Zed. Everyone else does. Oh wait, we gotta repair this, right? Yeah. 
And then shield purchase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the tutorial still. 60, 50, 50. Yeah, that. Yeah, shield. Thanks for the help. You ought to use the machine to sell some things you don't need. Two Zs. Right, that's the one I'm using, right? No, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So this sniper? No, it's a level four. So we'll need to wait for that one. And then I'm gonna sell that and that. I won't need those. I might not have a med school degree. Med school when you degree. Get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. And then look the equipped. You can call me Z. Nice. Blinding Nantos. Kill bandits, return to Zed. Alright. Well, yeah, yeah. Don't yet trust you. That's the interesting if thing that the NPCs the don't narrate the mission, which is kind of good. It's refreshing because we know that talking is only going to get worse with Borderlands 2. And then Borderlands 3 just reaches a screaming peaking maximum of the game just non stop talking. What game was I playing? Oh, Valheim. That's why. I like for for a moment I, I thought well I gotta shoot when I'm not detected for the for the damage bonus but that's not a thing <laughs> so when they don't see me you get a damage bonus it's interesting when you play one game for such a long time I I checked I I played Valheim for 24 streams so pretty much a month over a month since you know I don't stream on Sundays oh my god right this will take some getting used to that's for sure. Gotta wait for the sway to slow down, but also the way they move. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm pretty sure that was on, but it just didn't hit him. Right, that dude's almost dead. There you go. Oh, baby. Sniping's gonna be nice. I haven't sniped in a while. Oh, there you go. Shock effect. <laughs> this time, yeah, his head didn't explode. Sometimes it does. Portland's your favorite game series? Yeah, definitely one of my favorites too. Still to this day, even though... I'm not particularly satisfied with the latest releases, let's put it that way. Wait, I'm gonna get them all even though we did the required amount because, well, XP, baby. Oh, new sniper? Level 5, can't use that yet. But, let's see, 75 and fire rate 0.9, level 5, yeah, I'm gonna keep that for now as well. But yeah, this is what I was talking about, the atmosphere. I like it the most in Borderlands 1. Like, this, it just looks depressing, but in a, in a great way. As I feel it should. That water looks dirty. Everything just looks... Mm, it's a smelly planet. I can already smell the petrol and oil and dust. Gorak! Hello! I learned most of what I know about Borderlands from this channel right here. Wait, really? <laughs> that happened. Interesting to hear that. Welcome back! Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, I'm doing a Borderlands, uh, that's, that's why I'm doing a Borderlands Marathon. Sort of returning to the roots at the start of a new year. What do you want? Spit it out. Right. TK Baja time. I keep the medical equipment working. More or less. More or less. You know what you need to know. Use the community patch for the first time uh, ever for Borderlands 2. Yeah, I don't think Borderlands 1 has got a community patch. But Borderlands 2, I think we're going to be playing with a community patch for sure, yeah. Not like big changes or anything, but the community patch for sure. Wait, where are those bandits? There? Oh yeah, yeah they always come out of there. The fact that uh, cutscenes, these cutscenes don't yeah. have music, separate One more music. Step and it'll be your last. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Guns last for 30 levels before they need to be the replacement buttons ones. Kind of nice. Yeah, that I don't remember, like, how the scaling works with all the, all the guns and everything. I've been looking for you. TK's food. Recover the stolen food items. Return to DK Baja. All right. Where are they? Oh, with Skags. With Skags. Yeah, he's blind. That I remember. I'm ready to see you later joke, but they didn't understand me anyway. Is that what he said in... Which game was that? All of the Borderlands lore in, is in one big, uh, big mess in my head. Like, look at this place. Look at it. That's the atmosphere I love about it. And and it's it's gonna get only even darker, the trash coast and everything. Skag pups. I don't have a pistol, and that would be a little bit faster, but. I want that proficiency, baby. Ah! Oh, full reload, full reload. Nice, level up. What is that, level four? Yeah, we can use the new sniper. It's a level up damage bonus, so I'm using it now. And then we can swap. So that becomes junk, and this is our next one. 69, nice. Fire rate's even slower. But yeah, if you one shot the first time. Oh my god, these scopes, I remember them now. <laughs> but yeah, oh, the overkill damage, nice. That scope is sad. Yeah, yeah that's like proper old school shit. <laughs> But yeah, like, I think, you know, it's kind of like with vintage cars. At some point, cars just get old and they're old. But then past a certain point, they become vintage and like, oh, nice. I think it's like that with this game. And it's past that point where it's like, you know, it's nice old. Oh, oh, shit, it wasn't reloaded. Try to shoot it midair. More? There's more, yeah. Oh, Anonimo! What's up? Oi! Right, is that what I need to collect? Yeah, that's the one. And then that. That's it? Four things? Four things, yeah. Scope's painful to look at. <laughs> it is kind of terrible. <laughs> Just need to get yourself a masher and double anarchy? No, no, no. We're sniping. We're sniping. We're sniping. Not like... Snipers exclusive. It's not a limitation, but whenever I kind of use snipers and then if I run out of bullets or something then I use something else No, I'll skip Wonderlands. Wonderlands I'm skipping. I think so. I don't know. Maybe by the time we get to Borderlands 3 There's plenty of people wanting Wonderlands. I just I don't know. I just didn't enjoy Wonderlands that much I don't like the weapons there. The skill trees are sort of boring. It's not my vibe, but who knows? Maybe I might try it. Either way, it would be the last one in the row, so that'll be like in about a month. Because, got grenades, buy at least one grenade, return to TK, okay. Uh, because, yeah, Borderlands 1 and all the DLCs. Uh, Borderlands 2, all the DLCs. Borderlands pre-sequel and one DLC. I think Holodome, probably not. And then, um... And then what else? And yeah, then Borderlands 3 and all the DLCs. All those guys. Reloading. That one's standing. Man, the aim punch. The aim punch exists. So, yeah, your screen shakes quite a lot when they're hitting you. I think you're being slowed down as well. Oh, shit. I forgot about these skags as well. Man, this is a slow sniper. Even slower than the previous one. There you go. They're fighting those. What? Okay, see? It like it definitely was on his head and it didn't hit it. So there is some additional accuracy. And now again. There you go. We shot his shield off. Oh, man. Look at that. I love it. It's just over the top gore. 
It's a shame that it's not a thing anymore. I was wondering if you're gonna go through the two Telltale games, but no, not Telltale. I'm like mostly looking for looting and shooting. Not just with everything that is related to Borderlands, more like the main games, the main games. Right. Oh, that's open now, yeah. Especially the recent one we played already, like what was that, a couple of months ago, right? It was average. Worth getting on a discount if you're really into Borderlands, basically. Right, there's the sniper bullets. There you go. Another day, another kill. Wait, a l another kill? What did I kill? I didn't kill anything. There you go. There's a nade. Does he want me to buy this? I can't afford it. No. Oh, we got our first skill point. Yeah, baby. Bloodwing. Gain the ability to send your pet Bloodwing out to attack an enemy and then return. Nice. You're gonna squeal before we cook ya? Right, any snipers here? 78, 0 0.4 fire rate still. Oh man, that's so slow. No, oh, I'm not gonna switch at the moment. We'll just wait for the one that's in my inventory. Now we go back to TK, yeah. Claptastic Voyage DLC? Yes, I'll definitely play that. That's one of the best DLCs. Right, who else is there? Who's talking? There's like another guy somewhere. Oh, there's a car over them. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit them that far. Nah, it's really hard. That sways. There you go, now he's closer. Oh. Getting aim punched. Oh, there you go, we got that one. Alright, I'll leave him. Let's go. Yeah, Claptastic Voyage. I still prefer Tiny Tina's DLC. But, uh, you know, Assault and Dragon Keep, but that one's that one's very close. Second. Ninetoes, take him down. Difficulty level four, normal. Alright, cool. That dude's been following all the way. Yeah. Wait, gotta try the Bloodwing thing. So what did it do? You just send it? Okay, so it, it, it hits him once. What? How did that not hit? Did you see that? I was like aiming at the chest on purpose. Oh, anyway. So Bloodwing is just like a projectile that just hits. Wait, so Flak has got something very similar, right? In Borderlands 3. And yeah, the skill trees, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna probably invest mostly in snipers, but then let's see what we put in Bloodwing as well. Probably blood being build, you can make it bounce off up to ten times. Wait, ten enemies? Really? What? Did he like that? It's really stupid. <laughs> you just basically throw it out and it just goes bow 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 bow, just killing everything. Op, uh, what's it? What's it? Uh, Beastmaster build. Basically, yeah. High levels blood villain can kill several enemies all by itself. Wait, oh, uh, we need to blow this up. Yeah, like, I on purpose didn't like do any sort of reading up or build studying or anything behind this. I sort of wanted to go back into this and just enjoy almost as if I'm playing for the first time. I only played one Mordecai whenever the game was released. Calculate that it is yourself. Wait, I'm level five? I am level five. Let's put that on. Oh, this music. So, um, yeah, even all of this is going to be sort of new to me again. Hey, this is a better scope. Don't settle for anything less than what are you, and how much money do I have? 2300, and that's 15 sticky nades. Sticky attached to surfaces explode after a few seconds. I probably don't need those. What is that? Shotgun SDU? Oh, SDUs. I need the sniper one first. There we go. That's it. Oh, it doesn't disappear from the vendor when you buy it? Okay. Who needs a real doctor and then... Ooh, that's level case. 7. Create a small shock burst when depleted. 3,000. I can't afford it anyway. Can I afford a better shield? 
It's better by one, right? Or something. Where's my equip one? There. Yeah, not worth it. Borderlands 3 doesn't have a dedicated sniper, to be honest. Every character is okay with all guns. I like Zane for sniper due to the skill that gives extra projectiles. Flak has got the easy crits. But Flak sorta is the sniper, right? He's supposed to be the sniper character. With his invis and all that shit. Sort of slightly stealthier assassin character. Assassin, there you go. That would be a better name, assassin. Dude, where are my bullets going? Haha, <laughs> this one's not particularly accurate. I didn't check what the accuracy was on this. More damage, less accuracy maybe? Just uh, hip fire it. Yeah. Uh, right, let's see. Does it have an accuracy stat? 96.6. See, that's the thing. It seems to be very high. Zane's the best ass ass in. Because clone, two asses. What do you think of new Far Cry 6 DLC? Not interested. Uh, that's literally my thinking. I looked at it and I was like, nah. Like, Blood Dragon for Far Cry, that was something amazing. But this, I don't know, it just... I don't know. Didn't, didn't look interesting to me. Sort of an alternate digital reality and shooting some sort of purple and blue holograms. Nah. I genuinely feel like Far Cry needs a proper rethink. They need to shake up the franchise. Wait, two guns fell out. Ooh, green sniper. Let's see, 93 down, 0 0.3 fire rate. Oh, the pain. Right, let's try it. Fire rate seems to be very slow though. What level requirement? Requirement four, there you go. And then Ladyfinger is my backup, obviously, with all of the high, high crit. Oh, this one has got a different sound. Oh, the reload is forever. <laughs> Yeah, I won't be using this for too long. Might be actually difficult in a boss fight with such a long reload. You are about to face your first real challenge. Oh no. I hope you've toughened up enough. Right up. Oh, music changed as well. Right, what do you get? Oh, s uh, assault rifle as well. Alright, who's shooting? That hurt. If you need healing, step right up. Oof, some nicer shields are starting to show up. Level requirement 6, 5 resistance as well. I probably would want that. Maybe when we're coming back. Oh, this music. Man, some good memories. Lady finger, yeah. Lady lady fist came after, right? Is that a yeah, that is. Oh. Man, aiming feels so weird in this. Definitely very old school. Oh, wait a minute. This is my lady finger. I've got this scope. Yeah, okay. And I keep forgetting I've got this guy. There you go. One dead. I immediately remember something about Nine Toes boss intro scene. Look at his nipples. He's got like some spiky things coming out of his nipples, but they don't align with the nipples. They sort of float. I always remember that. It just looks so weird. Linden, we'll see you later. Off to the leather shop. Uh, and I'm gonna... Oh, ad break's happening still. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly get a drink from the fridge. Some milk drink now. Banana milk.
Okay, first boss fight. Boom. Look at his nipples. You woke the wrong dog. Ah, yeah. Wait, that was the whole intro? Yeah, that was the whole intro. Nothing else. Get the shield down already. Oh my god, it's still reloading. There you go. And then... Bird to finish him. Oh, it didn't finish him. There you go. Nice! Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And that guy seems to take more damage than... Uh, there you go. Got the crit. Let the bird out. What the hell? Bird did so little damage to Pinky. And I'm reloading forever. And then Pinky explodes. Nice. Okay, that was... A lot easier. Hey, let's go. And a new sniper. Long Thunder. 200 crit. 109 damage. Yeah, seems good. Same slow fire rate, but... Seems nice. Does it have... No, it doesn't. It's a thunder, so I thought maybe electrical, but... Or electric, but no. All right, shield is exactly the same. Cell as well. What else is there? The clipper. Okay. And a shotgun. And there was a chest there as well. It also has got three balls. Wait, what? Oh, Nine Toes has got three balls? <laughs> Somehow they chose the Nine Toes as the main, uh, the main name. Right, I remember SMGs being absolutely overpowered in this game, but I don't think we're going to be end up... We, we end up using those. Uh, right, shotty. Perhaps all the pistols sort of make more sense, right? Right, so yeah, let's sell that. This pistol, the clipper. Highly effective versus flash. How does it compare to this? Ladyfinger is going to be better, right? Were they... Oh, wait, Ladyfinger only had 100% crit damage. It didn't have, like, the ridiculous... What was it? 800% in Borderlands 2? So maybe this would be better. Oh, and this also had, like, a bigger melee damage. All right, the rest of it will sell. There you go. All right. New skill point. Now I have to start thinking. All right, this looks like the sniper tree. Right, and this looks like it's going to be pistols, and this is the bird, something like that. Increase accuracy with all weapon types. Increase damage with sniper rifles. Increase bloodwing damage and movement speed. The bloodwing causes enemies to drop additional money, ammo, and healing items when it attacks. Increases just crit when using pistols. Have a chance to fire two shots with each pull of the trigger instead of just one. Yeah, let's let's do away with the sniper rifle sway and improve accuracy. That seems to be the main main issue at the moment. It just gets in the way of faster gameplay. There's another chest there. Yep. Basically money. Because if I remember correctly as well, money, at least in Borderlands 1, matters more. Then Borderlands 2. In Borderlands 2, it becomes irrelevant so quickly because you have so much of it. But I think Borderlands 1, there's always like some shit that you want from the vendors and you can't afford. I seem to remember that. Alright, let's see if that shield is still available. I should have some money for it. Now that I can sell that these weapons. The first step on your journey. Thanks. You must listen. It is, yeah. Who I am is not important. The first thing you must know, the vault is real. People will mislead you. They will try to use you, and you cannot be swayed. There we go. Now I should have enough, the I vault think. Is yep. here, That's a nice shield. Let's see. Double the size and fire resistance. Let's go. Find it. This world is full of dangers. Steal yourself and go. I'll be watching. <laughs> Who am I is not important until the next game. Oh, nice miss. That was full on me. I've got to remember about the bird. Someone's gonna get 
Yeah. Oh, man. This is so slow. Yeah, that I also vaguely remember. That angel... At the end, ends up being like a satellite or something. Some shit like that. Well... I mean, no, she's not a satellite, but like watching from a satellite, and I don't know why that's like the dramatic reveal at the end of the Borderlands 1. That I remember. Well, this is basically some XP points. I'm gonna take as many as I can. Oh man, the reload is so slow. Just waiting, waiting. You know what? Let's just use the pistol a little bit. Oh, it's a burst? I think it is. It's gonna be a little bit faster. Not particularly accurate. Eh. It's so interesting that, like, so much more goes into making a shooter game feel good in terms of shooting and aiming than just, like, you know, put a crosshair and just make the character move. There's so much more, all kinds of little details on how, like, the, the feedback feels, etc. This feels so old school, but I can't put my finger on it exactly what it is. That just feels so awkwardly weird. That's why I went pistol over sniper in this, the reload was painfully slow. There aren't gonna be any, like, faster reload snipers. I mean, we'll see. I'm gonna try a little bit. Maybe, like, with the proficiency, it improves good and, you know, well enough. Also, I think, yeah, I remember that. This has got the memory leak, doesn't it? They never fix the Game of the Year uh, editions memory leak. Because now, suddenly we come back, and it's like, struggling with frames, like lagging. Lagging a lot. Oh yeah, this simple Borderlands old game is taking 4 gigs of RAM right now. You can see the lag right now, right? So we'll have to restart it now and then. Unfortunately- oh my god, yeah, you can see it. It's real bad. Oh, eight frames per second it was for a moment. Yeah, that's... That is a shame, because that is, yeah. I understand when game companies don't do certain projects because, you know, it wouldn't, like, bring them enough money, but not fixing an egregious bug like this, that is just shame on your gearbox. Shame. Smells like... Off-worlder. How you liking our planet anyways? <laughs> anyways... <laughs> Maybe it's the glasses that make him blind. <laughs> some things that are too hard to do without the use of my Yo, we can ban another one. I don't know if Pyro's here. If not, if no mods are here, or maybe Raven Jim, ban the uh, the link. It's the Happy New Year, but then upgrade the video, blah, blah, blah. That's literally going to be, again, the, uh, the spam bots. Not this, well, this is a spam bot, but it's going to be by viewers and all that garbage. It's ban. Why didn't you just go with the original version? Because looks-wise, this looks much better. I do like this look a lot better. And it does run better. It's just a memory leak, unfortunately. Thank you, Jim. It's very arcadey in Borderlands 3. You feel like you're actually shooting guns in-game, not just pushing a button and killing things. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, like, it's, it's the same level of explaining as I can do, yeah. It just... But what is it exactly? I would actually like to speak to someone who develops this kind of stuff to understand what exactly is it to make it feel more realistic, right? There's definitely some FOV changes now the game's render versus the older ones. The older ones got, get very fisheye. But yeah, it feels like... It feels like arcadey exactly, as if I'm like moving a crosshair on a flat screen just rather than actually being in control of that gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so weird. Right. Go to Dr. Z and Firestone, collect your reward. Oh, thanks. And, uh, skill points. Skill points, skill points. I'm just gonna max out the focus so we get the most accurate sniper right, possible. <laughs> and then, yeah, then I gotta reload. Back 
Because, yeah, they did improve the, the weapon models and everything as well. Everything is a lot higher res than the original game. So in that sense, this is a better version. But unfortunately, it has got a memory leak that just makes it lag. Sometimes it doesn't show up after, like, a, a few hours of playtime. Sometimes well, it shows I'll up very quickly. Damn. You killed nine toes. Yeah. You should get me a drink to celebrate sometime. You My should get me a drink to celebrate. To see if anyone else has a job for you. I keep the medical equipment working. More or less. Job hunting. Bounty board checkout. All right. This should be quick. Restarting the game. We'll need to do that now and then. Waiting for the saves to synchronize. Oh, <gasps> Batsman Willie. Happy New Year. What's up? Also, look at how uh, look at how spam bots are trying to use some some social engineering nowadays. They don't dump the link in the chat anymore. They are now trying to be, you know pretend they're human. Like Happy New Year, all that. It's like oh yeah, seems like a new person. But uh, then very quickly realize yeah, it's that that bullshit. At least we can get back into the game very quickly. Ah, glorious. 90 frames or so. Bounty board. Don't forget to check out Marcus's store. Job hunting. Yes. Catch a ride, and TK has got more work. Oh. <laughs> oh, this. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available. Insert place name. Bounty board. Oh, yes, that was the bane of Borderlands 1, wasn't it? He repeats that every time you load in as well, right? Greetings, uh, traveler! Kill all the crap when people ask. Yo, Scooter! And your Firestone is more busted than my mama's girl apart. <laughs> really appreciate you taking a poke at that. Uh, the system, not my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down the skag, Dan, know what I'm saying? Well, his mom is kind of hot, to be honest. <laughs> the real reason everyone hates Claptrap. That's where it all started, right? Catch a ride used. Okay, let's go. I'm dancing. That was also a reference to a movie, right? But check me out. I'm dancing. Right. Got the Digitruck module from Bonehead. Ow. Wait a minute. I think I remember now. And Bonehead's like level 10 or something, so I can't kill him now. What the? <laughs> Is there someone else there? Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> I just love the gore so much. <laughs> Just feels so good. For doom. Right, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I can kill Bonehead now. How's the new year treating you? I mean, has just started. Can't really tell. Oh no, he's level twelve. Even worse. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything to him, right? Let's see. I took a shield down. Oh, yeah, you can melt me. Yeah, we'll need to do some side quests, I think, for this guy, right? Time to pound the meat puppet. Oh yeah, just normal psycho is even gonna be level like ten. <laughs> and yeah, I'm dead already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was the mission where you had to do a little bit of side questing before you actually could take on him. But I think it was also done on purpose, right? So, the player learns what are higher level characters, what are lower level characters, and like how you should approach the levels. Give me a shout if I can help you. Yeah, yeah. Right, so... What you need? Now scram. For now, we do what? We do... We do, we do, we do, we do this one. TK has got more work. Let's go to him. I mean, like, so far, but Batsman, it's like 2nd of January, nothing has happened. I've slept through 1st of January because, like, most people had hangover and then, uh... Well, not really hangover, just a headache. And then just woke up today. Just gone through a normal day. What, what, what much more there is to it? Not much more. 
Where the hell did they all come from? Makes a lot of sense to have Hurdle at this point in the game instead of later on. But yeah, I feel like that's a really nice way of doing tutorial without doing a tutorial, you know? Which is like, you know, hey, look at this level, come here, and then like showing you pictures that some games do. You just play and sort of understand. I think so. Smells like off-worlder. Pussy! <laughs> Smells like pussy! Right, he needs two. Started work today. Well, is that a new thing, a new development, or just restarted work? That's it. Alright, that's a level 9. Difficult. Alright, so life and limb. Kill Scar in Skag Gully and return to TK by his prosthetic leg. Okay. Alright, let's do that one. Now, you ever need anything, anything at all, just let me know. No, just restarted. Yeah, but there you go, so... Nothing new yet. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just another year. How it will treat us, I feel, mostly will depend on ourselves, right? What we choose to do this year. Have you got any New Year's resolutions? Are you looking to change something in 2023? Wait a minute. Let me see. Shit. Alright, it's so hard. Yeah, it's just one XP. Wait a minute. So the XP drop is really sharp in this as well. I didn't remember that. So there's almost no point in killing these guys. Like, one XP is just pointless. Right? One XP. That's it. Yeah, just ignore him. Boing. Oh, wow. They're only what? Five levels below? But so little uh, XP from that. And they're scary needles. Oh, there was something here as well. It's obviously been sitting out in the elements for a long time. Find two more data recorders in Skag Gully. Alright. Let's do it. Oh wait, what grenade do I have? Okay, some sort of a uh What's it called? Is that is that a Torg nade? Explosive Merv Torg, yeah. Merv! Yeah, but for these kind of swarmy enemies, I think I'm just gonna use the pistol, it's gonna be a lot faster. Although it's also it's all just one XP, what's the point? Just run. Alright, what am I supposed to go up there? Deceiving hello there. AOXD LMAO! Hello. What's up? How goes Borderlands? Goes well. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. Right, how am I supposed to go up there? Through. Here? Shit, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I have played this game before. Uh, quite a quite a big amount as well. Just haven't played it in a really long time. Oh, I guess we can get up this way. And also, yeah, Mordecai. It was my first character that I ever played in this game when it was released. And that's the last time I played him, so... It's an interesting combo. It's definitely in some ways a nostalgia playthrough, but it also has been played such a long time ago that a lot of it I don't remember, so it feels like a new playthrough. I just reload already. Gotta use the grenades a little bit too. I 
don't have the attack pattern is identical. Also, there's so much muzzle flash on this weapon, I can, can't even see the enemies. Okay. That's the first echo. I guess by the last echo, we're going to be able to hear what he says. Right, next one there. And then I have to look out for TK Baja's thing. Whatever it was. Also, I forgot that everything you pick up is just at the top in the center of the screen. <laughs> it's also such a nice old school thing. This is it just skag slaughtering all the time? Basically. But they're all low levels, so... Oh no, wait a minute, so this is level 6, let's see. So yeah, that actually will give me some XP. Alright, these are worth killing then. Level 7, nice. Better than the loader bots. Wait, loader bots? What about them? My style of gaming, guns blazing, hope for the best. Well, I mean, with these skags, yeah, I wanted to snipe actually some more, but these are very swarmy enemies, so you sort of just, well, you gotta do guns blazing. Micro, thank you for the follow, appreciate that, welcome in. Grave Dive, happy new year, how are you? True, happy new year, I feel like it's okay to say happy new year all the way until the end of this week, right? Sorry, that was my impression of what is that like some sort of Mongolian throat singing? I think it is. Macaroni with the macaroni deceiving. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. You'll tell me happy new year at my birthday, 10th of June. Alright, let's see if you remember it. Where did it go? Come down. And we're out of ammo. Well. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I can use the bird often. Man, did they change the Mordecai's voice actor from Borderlands 1 to 2 or not? He sounds so much younger in this. Maybe he's just... well, is. Is that the guy I need to kill? Yeah, this scar. Morty and Roland? Oh, both voice actors? You think we're changed? Yeah, Mordecai sounds so much younger. And Borderlands 2 just sounds like a drunk, which he is, but... So much older. Oh, fuck. My shield doesn't exist anymore. And ammo either. Uh-oh. Eh! Ah, not reloaded. Come on, reload. Dude, the way also they attack, it's kind of weird. Where do you shoot them? Right. Micro says they changed Roland. Okay. Don't know about Mordecai, no. Maybe hit that. Reload. Almost dead. Reloading. Killing with the uh, oh no birds not on cooldown, no, off cooldown I meant to say. There you go. It must be a different voice. Oh that actor started drinking between the games. Nice and a sniper as well, just what I needed. And his prosthetic and a skill point. I'm just gonna keep putting it in focus, I think, just so we get a more stable sniper. Now what is that? Combustion times four. Wait, that's a lot. 0.5 fire rate? Wait a minute, that is actually slower than what I have now? No, it's it's better. But the damage is lower, but that's because of the fire, right? Let's try it. I'm gonna keep the other one as well, the Long Thunder. This one and that one will dump. 
keep mixing Borderlands Mordecai and regular show Morty? Wait a minute. Oh, Rick and Morty. No, 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 no. There's no Morty. <laughs> Although they, it's Brick and Morty, right? I'm sure that is also a reference. Brick and Mordecai, Rick and Morty. Probably. Right, data recorders. That one's done. Also, what's in here? Don't mind if I do. Well, I guess just some money. And then back to TK Baja. No, the regular show character named Mordecai. Oh, okay. I don't know the regular show, I guess. You tell Cezanne where you started streaming at four in the morning for me. Really? Ain't no way, because I've been starting my stream at that time for about five years. <laughs> time zones, man. Time zones exist. It's the bluebird and the raccoon cartoon. Oh, shit. I don't know that one. I'm too old probably for it. <laughs> I think I've seen some clips because you chat have shown me. Probably. Wait, data recorder. Where do I turn it in? First, second. There? I think so. And there's also a Mordecai in that one. Okay, I didn't know. Ship it! We'll, yeah, we'll get something. Well, actually, there is an ad break starting in eight seconds. Thank you for supporting the channel. Ads pay the bills. I'm going to go and get something to drink and come back while the ad's running. Yo, there we go. Some milk. Chocolate milk with protein. There's no fast travel in Borderlands 1 for a good chunk of the game. Yeah, that I seem to remember that you had to like walk everywhere or drive a lot as well. True. Abraham yeah, Mordecai definitely is d different VA as well. Sounds like it, yeah. Milk, chocolate milk, 41 grams of protein as well. Add a little bit of protein. When you've done that, add a little bit more protein. If you melee between the shots, it'll remove the pump time. What, for the, shot, uh, for the sniper? Oh, wow. You can speed up the uh, fire rate a lot. Shit. Okay, nice. It just full on disables it. Even though I don't think it's animating anything. Ah, it sort of is. Smells like off worlder. How you liking our planet anyways? Works with shorties too, gotcha. TK's wave. Terrible then, terrible now. By the siege of your pants. Uh gather blade flower seeds and return to Baja. I think these we needed to do to level up to like at least level 11 or something for the uh... What's his name? For uh, Bonehead? Just melee? Oh no, I was a f Well, I can't cancel the full reload. Fire! I think that's gonna be good. The sniper for now. Oh, who that? Star Warrior. Welcome back. How are you? Why is the pump time slower than the actual reload? I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> and another skill point as well. Okay. Sniper rifle damage increase. The blood wing stuff. Just more crit. 
No, I'm just gonna max out focus, I think. What's next, by the way? Smirk. All players on your team, including you, gain additional experience when you kill an enemy with a crit hit. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, initially sounds like okay, but eventually it becomes useless, right, when you max out. Then again, the idea with this playthrough is to play through one and two, and then on the second one start going into DLCs. Uh, killer. Killing an enemy increases your damage and reload speed with all guns for a few seconds. Now that sounds good. Loaded. Oh yeah, what are the capstones? Trespass. Your bullets have a chance to ignore the shields. Also, slight increases bullet damage. Oh damn, I remember it now. And that's what the trespass is named after, right? In the Borderlands 2. That you get from Mordecai out of all things. I think so. Then this is the burb, right? Increases the number of targets the Bloodwing can attack before returning. The Bloodwing attacks up to two targets. When you said that with class mods and one, you can get it to attack up to ten, right? And here, Relentless. Killing an enemy increases your fire rate and gives every bullet fired a 25% chance to be a killer shot and deal additional damage. This effect lasts a few seconds. Killer shot damage plus 20. That sounds good. Could you get two capstones in this game? I think you could, right? Hey, um, uh, it's got Raid and Final Fantasy. Hey, dude, have fun. Enjoy and thanks very much for joining us today. Level cap 69 and you could get all capstones. Oh, and capstones are like normal skills have five points as well. Oh shit, I forgot about that too. Okay, yeah. That makes sense then. If like the initial one is two enemies for um... Uh, what's his name? For the bird. Bloodwing, then five points would give ten, right? By the siege of your pants. Right, let's go. A trespass with five points, hundred percent chance. Nice. Which probably late game means a lot. I wonder if the level cap sixty nine is on purpose as well. You know, just just to have sixty nine. Right, I don't need anything in those vendors. Has to be, right? Like 70 would have been so much better. No, 69. Hello! Did you know that by aiming your crossers at an enemy, your HUD can display your target's level, health, and chill? Oh, wait, he says that now? Interesting. So, what is the trigger for that? This mission or a certain point in the game? Oh, wait, I forget. I got a melee, right? Melee. Well, gotta reload fully anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, these. Okay, yes, yeah. 69 would be classic Borderlands. Yeah, true. How many needs? Eight. Oh, fuck. I clicked... Reload instead of melee. There you go, melee. Missed. And I keep getting it by the bird. I have the bird, right? Missed. No, it's a full reload anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the hang of it. Melee. Melee. There we go. That's better. But I think we only have, what, three shots? Yeah, three shots. Man, the way they jump. The hell. Oh, missed. That's on me. Oh my god. Cree, concentrate! Borderlands 3 has an obscure 69 reference easter egg. If you hit a crit for 69 damage, your character chuckles. Wait, really? Well, that is a nice little easter egg. Eh. This mission can be over leveled for some people, that's why. I see, so that's like a precaution. I thought that would have made a lot more sense for Bonehead, because most people would end up going there and noticing that... Well, that dude's got an exclamation mark, and uh, 
seems to kill me very quickly. What do I do about it? You know, if, if someone has never played a game where enemies are like that. Looks like a rabbit, but there's no rabbits in this one, right? I think so. I don't want to use the sniper. Oh, what the hell? The jump height. That was a full on flying skag. Dead, dead, yeah. The speed at which they jump is kind of intimidating. Four out of eight. Hello. Double kill? I think it might have been. Noise. I'm going here. Yes, we can. I want to use the snipers as much as possible because, of course, proficiency. Like I want to improve that. Remember to melee and melee. There we go. Take a gander. Yeah. Take a gander. Ooh, okay. Purple already. Fearsome sniper. 1.3 fire rate. I mean, that appeals to me. Level 5. Alright, we'll see. The uh, bonus XP skill, Smirk. Also boosts proficiency XP. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe it's good to take early on. You just take it as soon as possible. And then like respec at the end once you're done. Take take points out of it. Perhaps. Good to know. Six out of eight. Yeah. More skags. Hello. Man, it, I swear. I can aim, but this just feels so different in this game. Oh, reloading. Fool. Wait, wait, the dancing skag thing happens in this game as well? It looked like it was dancing. One of the skags. Should go. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, the way he screams, like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's so dramatic. No! Is, are all the other characters so dramatic? I don't seem to remember that being a thing. Must be why the other Morty was named Y. Oh wait, yes, that's why it was named. My first Mordecai was na named Morde Y. <laughs> Morde Y. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah. Why? No. I mean, you could be a good, um, good singer for some sort of a metal band. Is that eight? That is eight. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yo, what's up, Chris Cap? I'm happy New Year. How was yours? Hello. Satisfaction abound. Man, this old OG Mordecai sound is so much cooler. I did that already. Okay. This is where we go back, back, back. That also still will offer some decent XP, right? But that's also, I think, different from Borderlands 1. These dudes just respawn so quickly. Like, you clear this area on the way here, you come back, and they're already spawning. Quite intense. Food was brilliant as usual. Hey, who made it? Hey. 
are going to be some level twos. Yeah, I'm not going to be interested. Make sure to check grenade vendors if explosives, long body, level grenade jumps. I'm not going to do <laughs> grenade jumps. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm definitely not like trying to squeeze everything out of this game or in I'm just having a fun nostalgia playthrough. I'm not gonna not gonna stress about min maxing or anything like that. But thanks for the suggestion. Grandma who cooks for all of you, alright. That makes sense. That the food was excellent. Uh that's the old shield, right? Yeah. Hey -yo. Don't lag, don't lag. Every time I load in now in a new area, I'm like, oh, is it gonna be the memory leak? Is it not? But so far, it's fine. Just happened once. Yeah, so these just melee or, well, full on ignore. Since I guess they don't give any XP almost at all. Boom. Smells like off-worlder. What do you like in our planet anyways? Is that what he always says? They Smells say, like. I know it's rough out here. And a lot of people Desert Sniper, thanks. It's the XP that I like. Anybody else? Just know that your help means a whole lot. Why is your mouth not moving? Hey, thanks. I know it's rough out here and Now it is. A lot of people barely have time to to no. help themselves much less Such a weird else. mouth as well. Just know that your help Slim. means a whole lot. Shooting like that. Right, TK. All right, see you soon. <laughs> oh, now I remember where he said that. The uh, see you later joke. I made it a couple of times, but they just didn't get it. Because he does that in this game. And then in Borderlands 2, where you are doing that mission for Yuna, I think it's her name, right? And you're collecting his echoes. That's where he says that. Because he's recalling this whole interaction here. That's such a nice detail. I love it. Right. Do I have any other side quests that I could do? Bonehead. Bonehead 10 difficult. Okay. So should be doable now. Unless there's something else. Hey. Right, let's look at some shields. I might not have a med school degree. No. But when you get you shot, want, you'll be out. happy I'm here. <laughs> I love how he says that med school degree. You can hear his mocking it. He just med school degree. Here. Yes. I know Jim is blind. That's why the joke about see you later. Star Warrior. Thank you for the 10. Was that supposed to be 10 or 11? All right, let's see. Level... Level 9. Maybe we're fine. Oh, there you go. We could get to level... Uh... Yes, there you go. Here. Bruno, thank you. Bruno would have known. And wait. Skill point, skill point, skill point. So basically get to smirk as soon as possible. I think that I will try and do. If it helps proficiency and just normal leveling. And then eventually maybe switch the points to like what? Killer or something. There you go. Focus maxed out. Sniper rifle swing minus 50. Should be noticeable, right? No, you're trying to get an even number. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is even. Top tier, 500. Thanks, man. Blast him. What? You didn't like that? That is bonehead. That is bonehead. Got him. Yeah, should be fine. And fire will do magic against him as well. How did that not hit him? There you go, that did. Wait, Bloodwing was chilling around me waiting for the target to show up? I thought he had failed to find a target and just came all the way out. Oh, wait, there's a barrel behind him. Right? Right next to him. Come on, explode. Yeah, he's almost dead. Reload. There you go. Another trophy for my wall. Definitely matters to be on level. Look at that bone shredder. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> uh, 
Where are oh, he's on the other side of the fence? Noise and money. Wait, in the Borderlands 2, that chest is, I think, here, right? Indoors. <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, what, like, what the hell? They're respawning again so quickly. Did you start module? Oh, wait, it's for the catch right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot what I was doing it for already. The piss wash hurdle. Yes, you jumped over the piss wash, piss wash galley. I remember that. Red. Machine gunner. Can't remember which one was the better one. That right there is a beaut, man. My <laughs> runners ain't the prettiest gal at the dance, but she'll put out the second you ask her. <laughs> sure to hit the boost to know what everyone wants to catch a ride. Which <laughs> she'll put out the second you ask her. The endless level, the endless level three spawns. But yeah, it seems like the spawns in general, compared to like the later Borderlands games, just respawn very quickly. You know, you clear an area out, and like three minutes later, they are uh, spawning again. Right. Let us jump it. Just the boost. That is the boost. There you go. Let's jump. Woo! Nice. Did you just leap over piss wash gully and one of my runners? Man, dude, tell me when you're gonna do that crap. That was awesome. <laughs> Man, dude. Right. That. Oh, wait a minute. Also, what the hell is that speed? Is that the same in Borderlands 1 where enemies killed from a vehicle give you less XP? Or not? Wait, well, there's another one hiding behind there. Piss wash hurdle. Return to Zed. Oh yeah, cool. Give him hell, Bloodwing. <coughs> Bloodwing? Oh no, wait. All right, well, oh, that's interesting. So when the Bloodwing's yes, out, this icon shows no cooldown because the cooldown only begins when it comes back. Understood. All right, greetings, traveler. Oh, I just remembered as well. Didn't I at some point have a follow message that said greetings, traveler? The same claptrap message. I'm pretty sure I did. All right, Zed talked to us. We need to go back to Zed now. Find a fella named Shep near the crossroads on the way to the mine. Mm -hmm. Sled skinned his entire family and built a tent out of them. <laughs> Tough luck. But that Shep is a good kid. I'd appreciate you helping him. Okay. Well, I'm not much for compliments, but <laughs> you did fine. Skin his whole family and built a tent out of it. Shit. Meet Shep. All right, we'll meet Shep. Uh, and then we got another slot unlocked, right? Yeah. Bone Shredder. Well... I'm gonna focus on snipers and pistols. Excuse me. All right, 109. But this was the faster shooting one. Let's take the faster shooting one. See. You got what you need now, Graham. Yeah, this one's much faster. Let's see, I like it. You got what you need now, Scram. True. Wait, what happened? What is this? Hey, player error. That's why. Twitch player errors. This man, Sledge, yes. has something we need. Uh huh. You are going to get it from him. Sledge is a bad She man. just sounds like a boss at this point. Hello, employee. You are going to do this. 
splat. And I remember the guy. There he is. Shep. Shep has got three missions. <laughs> I'm already looking at the jobs, Claptrap. Shut up. Sledge. Go to Zephyr substation, get the mine key. That sounds like the main... Oh yeah, it, it did say story mission. All right. Step right up. What are you stepping on? Uh, and then probably, yeah, sell the Ladyfinger and that Thunder as well. There we go. Sell everything. Mine gate key there. Okay. <gasps> I now remember this. Somewhere here was that, that crystal cave, I think. With those those underground things. Shoot them all. Oh shit! I'm sort of in the middle of this, but let's try the new new sniper. Well, something a little bit closer. I didn't one shot. Well, that's why the faster fire rate. One shoots that. Faster fire rate's kind of nice, yeah. You can just follow up shots much, much quicker. Right, they're in there. Yeah. Who's out here? There you are. <laughs> that laugh. Hello. What the? Where are my bullets going? Boom! <laughs> There's no escaping, Oh, first bruiser. Yeah, and then the screen screen kick does kick you hard. You aim up, You're getting shot. Oh, out of ammo, out of ammo. Oh, it doesn't save ammo in the gun either. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Use that for now. And skill point. So smirk then. Let's get that XP. Oh, he's making all the noise. You? Is there anyone in there? No? Where are you? Above? Maybe above. Sledge mine key. Instead of a key, you found a note that was left in this place. Years of accumulated dust suggest that the key won't be returned anytime soon. You'll need to look for it elsewhere. Princess in another castle to the safe house. Obtain mine gate key and take it to the headstone mine. Wait, why did I do something to hand in twice? But yeah, yeah, there's the greetings traveler or spam that he's gonna give you all the time. Right, did I get some bullets? No, still out of ammo. Get your ass gone. There must be some. Uh, there you are. <laughs> get out of here, asshole. All right, let's see. What do you think about this asshole? Give me a second. I'm reloading. That sort of missed. That. I think that hit. No. Oh fuck! What was that? <gasps> it was that Jacob. Yeah. Okay. That was that thing. All right. Oh, I don't need to kill everybody, but on the other hand, I desperately need XP. <laughs> So, might as well do that. There you go. It kills those without shields pretty quickly. There's another one. Yeah. Man, the view kick, they definitely turned that down in later games. Because it's kind of hard. When you're getting shot, your aim is getting kicked up so high. Right, where did I park? Oh, that was a higher grenade damage, and that is bouncing Betty. I oh, know, let's try it. 
I remember bouncing Betty's from Borderlands 2. Oh wait, don't go. We're not going to ship. We're going there. Okay. Oh, I just realized. Okay, so Borderlands 2, we're gonna play with Community Patch and the BL2 Fix mod. That also made it so much nicer. Made by Flair and Co. Definitely a lot chunkier. Oh shit, I'm so long already. Just like Maya's uh, orb, bird sometimes feels like gets lost. Alright, might go down soon, but let's get some second wins here. Speed shit up, I keep getting. Like my pet, huh? Bloodwing AI is pretty weird, it only attacks enemies in your line of sight. Yeah, I guess so. Like the enemy that you're actually looking at. And sometimes, yeah, it just sort of circles around. It doesn't do anything for a while. Alpha Skag. Oh, were these the um, rabbits of this game? Could be, yeah. I did almost no damage to it. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's try this barrel first. There you go. This is this is going better. You dead? Nice. Definitely need pistols now and then. Oh shit, what the hell are you, badass skag? No, these are gonna be the rabbits. Oh yes. Oh, what the fuck? He got me so quickly. <laughs> and the why? Uh, maybe, maybe. Nah. I fiddled too long with the guns. <laughs> what? Wait, there's vendors here. Did I check those at all? Level 13, yeah, we'll have to wait a little bit. Wait, SDUs? Any new SDUs? Those look green. I think those are new. Grenade, launcher, repeater, revolver, shotgun, SMG. Where's sniper? The scrolling's kind of weird. SMG, shotgun, launcher, grenade, snipers at the bottom, combat rifle, sniper, yeah. There we go. Oh, she! Oh, early? No, well, I mean, no. We've been live for what? Three and a half hours? Something like that. Good evening, good evening. How you doing? So your latest record on... on Discord. You are walking some insane distances. Oh, hello. Standard healing shield. It is already better. And it has got some slow health regen than what I have in transfusion made. Right, I'll keep an eye on those. Wait, could I equip that? Yeah, it is better, right? Small fire burst. This one has got just fire resistance, which I don't really need. At the moment, at least, it seems like. Let's take that. Also need to do one little adjustment. Uh, key bindings. Seems to be the other way around here. E and Q. There you go. Gotta walk more... Sorry. Sensors gotta walk more for me to upgrade. Wait, to, for you to upgrade what? Alright, that did some damage. Nice. 
trying to lure him into the barrels. The normies coming to the barrels. No, the big guys too. Nice. Let's see, how much XP will that be? Should be a decent amount. 1050. Nice. Is it worth to buy Doom Eternal's DLCs? How many were there? Like two, something like that, right? The Doom Eternal... These, the DLCs, I think were good. I didn't like the last one. But then again, I was playing on Nightmare difficulty. On other difficulties, it might be better. Because what they did in the last one was... Uh, like, just cram even more enemies in even smaller rooms. And then the ultimate boss fight was, like, very limiting. You were limited to specific weapons, which I didn't feel it was very Doom-like. You just had to do exactly how the game intended it. Like, use this weapon, that weapon. But other than that, it was good, good Doom stuff. Got him? Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's another one here, hello. What the hell? Alright, meat puppet, let's pound you. Extra damage. What the hell? Why is it? Why is it? What the hell is that bullshit? It's reloading after every melee strike? So the, probably the gun was not reloaded, and therefore it's trying to reload and then allowing it to melee. Must be that. Let's see. Melee? Yeah, now it melees. Wait a minute. Still, melee has got such a long cooldown. Strange. Alright, anyway. Did you rage quit last Doom DLC? I did not rage quit it, no. But I was like, yeah, I'm not... This is bullshit. I don't like it. I don't know, I don't see that as Rage Quit. Rage Quit is literally the style of the but... I was doing the last fight, but I already was not enjoying... Not enjoying the whole DLC, because as I said, you know, on extreme hard difficulties, like Nightmare that I was playing on, it just felt like a very cheesy way for Doom to do difficulty. And that was just, yeah, just smaller rooms, more enemies. That's it, there you go, that's your difficulty. A lot of parkour. I don't know. It just felt like they were like overthinking what Doom is with the last DLC. But again, on normal difficulty, just for some fun, I think it might be good. I see why. Who said that? Monolith. Yeah, I see what you meant about the slow sniper reloads. This is, this is just so slow to play. Just constantly waiting for reloads. But maybe we could just find a better sniper and then all is gonna be well. Oh no, I gotta reload. This is a shitty one though, with just three bullets. About the parkour, that? I don't remember, but I think it might have been, yeah. Alright, take that. Oh wait, I have no nades, I have no nades, no. Got that. Wait, did someone else explode there? There was a lot of meat flying around. Nice. Well, I want that XP, so we're killing them. There's someone here talking? Hello? Yes. Oh wait, that's a badass, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that was a badass. That's also not reloaded. Oh my god, everything needs to be reloaded. Take that. Thanks, blood. Yeah, maybe the faster sniper is actually the better one. Swap them around. At least that has got six bullets in it. Wait, did they notice me? They're not aggroed, aren't they? No. Yeah, see? Because it's enough already for, like, some smaller enemies, so... Having more bullets, being able to, like, 
shoot them in the chest to stop them. I'll use this one for now. Ah, oh, I remember this place. This is like, I think at some point here that you you hear from Steel for the first time. The uh, anticlimactic antagonist of Borderlands 1, right? Oh, nice, level up. Right, more smirking. More XP, mate. And this has got a faster reload too. What? Dick shots. Everything will do. Successful raid, only one wipe. Miss anything good? Oh, just some Borderlands 1 shooting and chatting. But like no surprise drops or anything like that. I don't think I'm gonna have anything like that yet. Right, do I need to even go there? No. Just sort of go past them. But wait. Sudden sudden vibes of being under leveled ages go here. This is the place where I'm gonna be under level, right? Let me see. I might have to actually come back out and shoot these guys. Let me check. Hey, come on, go. Whoa. Let's see. Step right up. 13 super fast recharge. Looking good, but 10,000, I don't have that money. Well, do I now? I do, but it's level 13. I'm level 12, just starting out. Alright, let's see what we got here. All reloaded. See what level are they gonna be? Level 30. Okay, you know what? Not that bad. Not that bad. Think slowly we can go through this. Boom! But you already hear the little claptrap struggling. Almost got him. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I, th I think it was a barrel behind me exploding. Talking about explosives. There you go. Nade. Is it exploding? The hell? What happened to it? Did it what did it do? Oh, there you go. This one did. What did the previous one do? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. All right, that was level 13. All right, send the bird, send the bird. Yeah, scaling definitely worked differently in these games. Well, this, in this old one. It's just a level higher than me, but... No, wait. I'm wrong, level 15. Still. But this is where this sniper will help. Just don't die, don't die. You gotta take the killing shot. Nice. Oh, she. Thanks. Sledge can be an asshole. Wait, is the sledge fight in this? No, sledge was somewhere else, wasn't there? All right. Anyway, where's that claptrap? I can hear him behind this door. Or is he upstairs? Might be somewhere there. I'm sure, we're gonna get to him eventually. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, no, my vibes were correct. My memories were correct. We're being underleveled. Normies are sort of my level of one above, but these are much higher. Right, what am I gonna do with that guy? Oh, wait. I'm stuck? No, <laughs> no, I'm fucked. I thought I'm gonna be able to jump through there. Yeah, maybe we're gonna go and do like a couple of side quests. I don't fancy like pushing through these guys. Why? Man, this shield is helping him a lot as well. 
As he gets stuck in the door, he most certainly does not. Maybe there's like a place I can abuse where he can't get to me. Wait, how does he... How does he hit me through there? Come on, cheating. The game's cheating. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, all right. But I might be able to cheese him, but by the time I get to... His health, his shield starts recharging already. All right, let's go out. I lose all my money as well. Exactly. Oh shit, he's blocking the exit. Go. So. Side quest. Or I could maybe like... But yeah, clearing out this area is not going to give me enough XP to level up. I think I would need to level up one level. Something like that. 13 versus level 14 should be okay. I say that, I don't know. It definitely feels different in Borderlands 1 and how it, how it scales. See, yeah, sometimes it just does not land at all. Although it could also be not the accuracy, but just the game game being weird. That dude was unkillable. Feel it. Feel it. <laughs> Dead. Oh yeah, see? Well, I killed him and what? It's one... 20%. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is 10% each, each section. So I guess we need to do a side quest or two. Something like that. Let's run back. And yeah, there it is. I'm starting to remember that part as well, where there is a lot of running. Most certainly. Right, maybe I grow those. All XP is good XP. Nice. Tiny bit more. Oh, Rat Kives. What's his name? That's one of the bosses. Later. I even have a clip somewhere on TikTok about me yell looking at it, yelling shit on me, please, because that was an achievement. I think we were on an achievement hunt or something. Cyber's not that accurate in Borderlands 1, they're different. Yeah, so the way they did accuracy changed from Borderlands 1 to 2, but even in 2 it was kind of really weird. Like, I think mostly about Sway. Oh, well, that guy's back. I'll definitely take uh, XP from you, Alpha Skag. Dude, I'm just being bounced around like I'm in a freaking ping pong, ma ping pong machine. <laughs> oh my god. The freaking drama. <laughs> okay, he's almost dead. There you go, 900. Six. Oh my god, now the badass shows up. Fucking hell. Nope. I'm out of ammo. What a boost. Did you see that? Let's try and get some ammo. Hopefully he doesn't kill us while we're buying it. But yeah, let's kill the badass for sure. If they're respawning that quickly, might as well kill it. Right, who did my bird even attack? Shit. Skags us. Skags are so annoying to fight. The AOE fire just killed one of the smallest gags. That's good. There you go. 1,000 XP again. And, whoa. Yeah, that's quite a lot on the level as well. Almost halfway now with those gags. Worth. So, these fast travels. Yeah, see? It's only the DLCs. Weird. Only the DLCs. 
Also, if we've got anyone new watching, thanks for watching. Appreciate the lurks. Uh, if you haven't followed, drop a follow. Wait, either or. Oh, I see. Never paid attention to that. Either or. If you need healing, step right up. Step right up. Right, well, what did he have? Kill rat. Return to ship. I released the emergency turbine brakes. All right, let's take both, I guess. Brake releases first. Squeaky says, from the DLCs, there's an option to travel to Firestone. Oh, so you go to DLCs and then to Firestone? Is that how you would do it? We're going too slow. We arrived. <laughs> yeah, that's a shortcut. Yeah, okay, got it. Might use it at some. Wait, a badass again? Yeah, two hundred. Yeah, and that's true. So that was true in Borderlands One as well. Enemies you kill with the vehicle don't give you as much ex experience uh, what you would get by killing them on your own. So it is worth shooting them, right? Who there? All right, boys, take him out. Feel it. Feel it. Okay, that's the first one. Bonk. Where are you? Wait, who's hitting me? Is there one underneath or something? In some ways, I kind of like it how how Borderlands One just throws enemies at you. So many. And they just keep spawning. What the hell? All right, next. I'm going go on foot 70 meters. The later Borderlands definitely had like longer uh, cooldowns for enemy spawns. Ah, uh, missed. Get him. Yeah, the faster shooting one feels just feels better. Oh man. Full remaster of this it's time. Come on, Gearbox. Like just a remake, not remaster. Sorry, this is the remaster I'm playing already. Boom! Look at that. 60% of the level. Oh, is there someone up there? Oh no, I have no nades. Will that blow up? Oh yeah, it will. Just takes takes a while. How many bullets though? I've got only 13. Save them. Hey, come on. There we go. Who said that? Right, is that three? That is three. Even more skags. Right, let's see. Level 13 should be fine, right? For level 15 psycho. I think it was like a three level difference where it became a problem. Macaroni. Who that? Kakiwat! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Right. Power grid's back online. Get a shield. Get some XP. Not as much as I hoped I would. That's fine. We've got one more wish. Wish and mission for you. Kill Rack. 
rack killed. Let's go and kill it. Oh, let's sell, sell the ship. It just here. Yep. I feel like this one's one of those where just in case the player hasn't had any interaction with these birds yet, you gotta show them. Oh fuck, I'm out of ammo. Alright, oh, yeah, that's not great. Rack v rack combat. Still out of ammo? Shit. Okay. Thought I got some. Wait, that was Bloodwing coming back? <gasps> what the hell? I was wondering what it hit. It hit nothing. It was just chasing them. So just flying around with them. Interesting. Alright, this should be level 13 now. Also, I... Completely forgot I had a car. Oh well. Firestone. There it is. Level 13. One skill point extra. Clingy. Killing an enemy increases your damage reload speed with all guns. <sighs> I want that too, but I think the logic says that the XP boost is the better option. So let's max that out first. Then after that, leveling's faster, right? Bullets. Bullets we're going to buy in the next room. I think it should be okay now. Now I'm going to fight through the Alpha Skag and the Badass Skag again, right? And all the enemies, so by the time I reach that, I'm going to be like 13 in a little bit. Wait, where's the vendors? Very slow health regen, don't want that. Yes, can I afford that? No. Oh well. Very slow regen would be nice. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna be dealing with the same thing again. Good. I need that XP. Shut up and take my money! Oh, du Yo, Dark Blue! <laughs> yes, Dark it is Borderlands Marathon! Indeed. Thank you. BL Marathon or yeah. <laughs> Doug Blue, Happy New Year to you too. Thank you very much for the 1898, which by the today's current exchange rates, judging is probably $20, most likely. No, that's 2023. Wait, why did you? Oh, duh, yes, of course, it's 2023. Yeah, see, we in Europe are still back in the 1800s, in 1898. <laughs> that's how far backwards we are. Thank you for the 2023 dollars. Yeah, it automatically does the, uh, the euro conversion. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, and happy new year to you. Yeah, it is. I thought, I thought doing the Borderlands Marathon, you know... For a couple of reasons. One is because at the start of the year, I didn't see anything new being released that I would be interested in for a stream. Oh shit, now we ended up with a badass fire skag. Now that's worse. Uh oh. Uh, and two, yeah, sort of looking forward by looking back at where I started with this stream, and that is all of the, uh, all of the Borderlands stuff, right? So, I thought I'd do it. It's gonna take a month or so playing through all of it. Alright, a little bit more. Send the bird. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. Here we are. Good. 
That was, wait a minute, was that 3000 XP? Might have been. And there you go, and then there's the Alpha, which is also good. It was the other way around this time though. Alpha second. But it's interesting, like, how do you get Alpha Squids? It doesn't seem to, like, do a lot of roaring or anything. No. Just gotta use the pistol, that's it. Burn him. 800. Thanks. What's the plan for each game's standard main campaign? No, actually more. Uh, all playthroughs. So in Borderlands 1, it's playthrough 1 and 2. In Borderlands 2, it's going to be normal DVHM, UVHM. And then the same in the pre-sequel. And in Borderlands 3, is going to be normal in TVHM. And all DLCs as well. The only things I'm skipping is like Mayhem levels or... Um, or uh, OP levels. Zing. I don't know where the bird went. There? Yeah. Oh shit, really? Right, where you at? Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. What? You didn't like that? So, yeah, a lot of content. A lot of Borderlands content. Right, I think I'm gonna kill these two. I might. Let's see. Oh, bad ass psycho this time. Load. Nice. They are kind of fucking scary. Yeah, the zoom level. There you go, back of the head shot. Alright, you go there, get that guy. Come on, get him for me. One more shot. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Such a sophisticated laugh. Sniper, sniper blade through. Yeah, I was thinking of doing sniper characters, as in uh, Mordecai. Wait, that's a badass as well. Mordecai, uh, Zero, Aurelia, and Flack. Even though apparently Flack is not really a sniper, but I feel like he is. At least uh, reminds me of Zero the most. Nice, yeah, look at that, almost level 14. So if I shoot a couple of those guys there, I think we actually might be able to reach it. Wait, oh, this time they came from, ooh. Nice. Ha! <laughs> Indeed, nice. Thank you very much, Os. Thank you for the nice. Wait, Alpha Skag. I went the wrong way, but you know what? I'm gonna take you. Alpha Skag, definitely. So are you supposed to shoot the alpha in the mouth in the middle of the jump? Is that how they were uh, designed? Maybe. Well, that's a bit of a tall order. Since they jump so quickly. Oh no, there you go. He does do the roar thing. Just not often. Boom. What is that? That looks like about... 75% to level 14. Six bullets only, though. Gotta get those. Modern aged. Happy New Year. What's up? How was yours? What you do? <laughs> Dude, I love the gore in this. So much better than the old ones. Sorry, the new ones, not the old ones. The old gore is better. And 
Any birds? No. Wait, 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 wait. No, the, the birds were still there, just really far away. Let's move to this gun a little bit. Wanted that mainly for the bruiser. There you go. That kills him. Move to this one. Nice. Got another one. Right. Gotta reload. Or. Well, no ammo. There's some. <laughs> played Borderlands 1 only twice more than Lilith. That's it? Yeah. I played a little bit more, but Mordecai only once. And that was the original playthrough. Back when I first got it. So, this feels very interesting to play now. Yeah, let's kill the few that we can find here as well, because I feel like that's going to give me... Uh, just enough XP to, if not level up just before I enter there, then at least... At least get close so I can level up from the first enemies. There were some some enemies there as well, right? Maybe, or maybe this is not a full respawn. No, they didn't respawn here fully. Hello. Feel it. Feel it. Well, there we go. Like, a couple of kills and we're level 14, so should be fine now. In the stronghold, or what was this place called? The Sledge's Safe House. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I like the background music here. Wait a minute. You earn XP for selling shit? I just leveled. From what? Right, there we go. 12% XP bonus. Bullets. Challenges give XP. You did a challenge. Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay. It probably was like selling a certain amount. Bruiser. Fucking hell, so many shots for that one guy. Right, you take the bird. And then a headshot. Blow you up. Oh, nice chain. You like that? You like that? Transfusion? Yes. Right, that's gonna be my main aid now. Seizing. <laughs> that dude just casually walks in <laughs> through the top of the door. He's so big. So big. Oh, wait. I don't have any nades. Still freaking scary, but look at that. At least I can do more damage. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Yeah, hitting the shots on him as well is something. Nah, the sniper's too slow for him. Get to stagger him a little bit. One more. Last bullet. Nah, I missed! Ooh. No. Whoa. I think a little bit of shield came back. Man, he was tough. <laughs> and Mordecai's getting crazy. Oh, 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 what is this lag? We're getting... No, we're getting the memory leak again. Yeah, I think we are. 
Let's see how much. Yeah, I don't know what the normal amount is that is supposed to... Yeah, no, it's... Like, this way it's gonna be impossible to snipe with this kind of... <laughs> the frame rates... Well, that means we're gonna be killing that psycho again. That's basically what it means. Ah, uh, quick reload. I'm gonna run the ad break as well. I know there was an ad break just now, but uh, I'm gonna run another one. Sorry, non-subs, but it does help to keep the channel alive and you won't miss anything. Just me booting up the game. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yo, who that? Chilla, chilla, low. Just subscribe. Thank you. Well, while hope all is well. Well, you know how it is, life. Some things are shit as fuck. <laughs> and some things are well. Thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back to the Wholesome Deviants. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you. And Happy New Year. Forgot how bad it was? Yeah, the member leak. Once it hits, it hits hard. Unfortunately. But, it's a quick reload. And we've only had two in what? In four hours of playtime? So, not too bad. I guess. I mean, obviously, I still think it's a shame that they haven't fixed it. And, like, a literal shame. Shame on Gearbox. You know, I get, like, not addressing some fan needs. Like, I don't know, add this or that or do some balancing. Okay, it's an old game. Don't do it. Leave it there. But just fix a freaking egregious memory leak. Um, right, play. Genovas, welcome back. Love Borderlands 1. Really like Revolves and Zombie Hordes. Yes, we're going to be playing through the Zombie DLC as well. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. All DLCs too. All DLCs as well. Of the, all of the Borderlands games. All right, well. Now, now we're killing some more. Shit, why does it feel like someone's shooting that shotgun right next to me? But no, it was one of those guys. There we are. Whew. That was the shorty. Right, that's why it hurt. What's the favorite DLC out of all of the four Borderlands games? Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Keep. That one. That one I do like the best. Right, what do we have here this time? Where are they coming through? Oh, they're not coming? Alright. Man, their movement is so fast. I swear, faster sometimes than, uh, like, people moving Overwatch. And that already has got some broken fast movement. Nice. But no Psycho this time. Interesting. We, th we had just more enemies here. Instead of one Psycho. Borderlands 1 is harder than Borderlands 3? In some ways, for sure it is, yeah. Ah, dude. Nah! Performance anxiety. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I knew that. But you know what? I deserve this one. I missed those three shots. I mean, at least one of them I should have shot. We're playing Widowmaker? Yes. Another thing that's great about Borderlands 1, enemies can drop the gun they're using. Yes, but I don't think I've seen anything amazing from it. Although, I like the idea. Up, I don't s seem to remember seeing, like, anything awesome. But it is cool to see what you were being shot with. That I like. Get those some bitches. Some bitches. Alright, let's see. Do I have any proficiency already with the snipers? How? Oh, no, wait, never mind. Six. Six percent more damage, 12 percent more fire rate, and 24 percent stability, but not reload? Oh my god. Definitely need that reload speed increased. Oh well. I think we'll have to be from the skill tree. All right, I need ammo. Five. Well, we're kind of alright. That's where he is. Hello. Oh, 
Should be fun. Noise. <laughs> that sounds like me taking a shit in the morning. Right away, oh, no fat's off. Ah, ah, ah. Gotta use the bird. I'm not using the bird. That's free damage. There. Reload will kick eventually. Oh, wait. Are you saying that there is reload in the proficiencies just later? I hit that. Nice. I, like, genuinely planned that, but so far the swipes haven't been good. That one happened. Let's go. Wait, what was that sound? What does it, what does it mean? I don't know, some sort of warning sound. I remember the sound, I don't remember what it does. No, you're wrong. Snipers don't get reload speed. Oh man, what a shame. Maybe, yeah, maybe they thought that it's a little bit OP or something. Another one. Level 15, but white. Okay. Clutches is only snipers? What? I mean, I'm playing with snipers and pistols, but I'm not limiting myself. Like, if we get something good... Like, a good pistol, I will play with pistols. I will try and play mostly with snipers, but, uh... It's not like a hard rule, where I'm not allowed to use anything else. Right, where is that thing? Back upstairs, where I came from, okay. Somewhere... There. Ah, oh, there it is. Can you repair him through here? No. Bum, 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 bum. Storage deck upgrade. Thanks. That means backpack capacity, right? Yeah. More shit to carry and to sell. From the wiki, unless otherwise noted, guns receive damage, reload speed, and accuracy bonuses. Sniper rifles replace bonus reload speed and accuracy with rate of fire and stability. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, they're already pretty accurate. Just the stability and then reload speed, I guess, would make them OP. Perhaps. Yo, what's up, Volton? Hello. Happy New Year. Wait, he opened something. Ah, yes, some of them opened these special rooms. Oh, come on, let's get down. Come on, everybody. Check me out. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> the little servos whizzing. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello. The bird got him. The bird got him. All right, we've got another barrel if we need it. Oh my god, I'd like... <laughs> there we go, that's better. Happy second day of this month, edgy. Cool. Very different. Yes. Right, that guy's repaired. Piss off. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? Just one gun. You want me to share, huh? <laughs> Oh shit, that's a lot. Wow, 
man, somehow just shooting such small beings is difficult. There. Whew. Dead. Oh, I see you. Ooh, first rocket launcher. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll have definitely have a rocket launcher for second wind, something like that. Mostly focusing on uh, snipers. But uh, rocket launcher, for example, for second winds would make sense, right? Wait, is that the boss arena? Is that it? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, shit. I don't remember what it was. And wait a minute, no vendors? I need more ammo. Is there any ammo here? There's some. Okay, well, rocket launcher is not on level. Okay, so I can't use it. And there's some more. Right, what was this boss fight? Do you think I remember? Oh, this is the big boy. Road Rage... No, Void Rage Psycho. I was a little, oh my god, I'm almost dead already. Fucking hell. Just leave the little guys for second wins. And then be aware of what he like threw some nades. There we go. Run away from those. Oh, he throws more. Go the other way. <laughs> the freaking chaos. <laughs> Look at the minimap and all the red dots. Yeah, damage wise seems to be okay with this sniper, especially is burning. Just run, run, run. Died from the dog. <laughs> now this freaking madness. All right, let's give them this sniper. Oh, the way he held his chest when you shoot him in the stomach, it just holds it. And a level up, nice. So them start exploding now. There we are. <laughs> Good background for the boss fight. What did we get? An assault rifle, purple assault rifle, and purple shotty. Their laughter haunts me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same sound that is used in Borderlands uh, 2. There we go. So 15 bonus XP. Now, what is going to be the next skill? Damage and reload speed. I would like that. Man capacity. Also that. Man capacity might be nice. Cooldown reduction and then trespass. I think I'm gonna go with killer and loaded next. Mob be like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any revolvers? No, I'm mostly focusing on uh, on snipers and you then maybe a pistol or two here now. and there There's for some faster fire rate. And, sledge, and we're one step closer to the vault. Oh. I believe in you. Thanks, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Yeah, trespasser with all snipers, not just one. There you go, lesson learned. Gotta be at least within two levels of whatever I'm fighting. Also, this game is kind of old school in a way that you have to just walk all the way back. There's no, like, faster way back. 
but we get to kill some of them again. No, wait a minute. This is a new room? Or is it? Some barrels, yeah. Oh, more. Right. For him, we've got this sniper rifle. Wah! The hell? Bum 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 bum. There you go. Nice. SMG is really fun in Borderlands 1, stupid high fire rate. I mean, SMGs are overpowered in this, especially the one that shoots double. I can't remember what it was called. But SMGs are ridiculously powerful. Which is probably one of the reasons I'm not going to play with them. Just sniper's pistols. Sniper's pistols to repeaters. Double anarchy, that's the one. Yeah, that one just shreds everything. Right, launcher. We're going to keep that one. I think. Anything else can be sold. I don't have like, yeah, no, no. Fourth slot is not open yet. Bonk. It's come to our attention that oh, there it is. The steel. And you've now been contracted to assassinate one of their leaders. Yes. This type of unsanctioned mercenary activity undermines the stability of the region. You have been warned. You never get to fight her, right? Like, the vault monster just kills her before you get to do anything. Wait, that barrel didn't do anything to you? Oh, well. Hellfire's got 12 fire rate? Really? Yeah. I just remember that SMGs were the most powerful. Right, okay, let me just shoot me and look at look at my I'm not touching the uh the mouse. This is how much it moves the reticle. I got one I've been saving for you. I wonder what your face Feel it! I wonder what your face is. Is that one up there back as well? Yeah, wow. They just respawn so quickly. Thumper SMGs are gross, though. Gross as in what, like, really powerful or not? Oh, no, no, no point. Look at that, like. 4 HP and HP, man, like the HP gains for an HP XP gains from the characters just drop so quickly. There's like no point in fighting any of them anymore. Just run past since all well, they barely give you anything. Let's see, even. Oh, no, there's only adult skags, no alphas either. 76, all right. If that was for the adult, maybe that's okay. Ooh, health boost 30%. 11,000, I'm gonna take that. That looks good. That's gonna be your new shield. And here, same grenades. I remember getting purple mashers, uh, vaults and and just running 20 levels with it. Yes, yeah, that... They're strong in the fact that, yeah, guns last for a lot longer here. What level is the sniper still? Level 4! I'm at level 15, and that's a level 4 sniper, still doing just fine. Ah, first aid kit! Ha ha! Yeah. 
Right, where do we turn this in? Uh, all the way there. Okay. Greetings, traveler! Greetings, traveler thing! Time for a nice, relaxing drive. Wait, where is that? Also, I forgot how big Borderlands 1 maps were with so many locations on there. <laughs> oh, that's it. Next area. Yeah. Up until now has been simple. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do not underestimate him. Do not underestimate Sledge. Well, I've got a feeling that we'll have to do side quests anyway. Let's see what level is this. 17. Yeah, might need to uh, level up a little bit. <laughs> nice little detail with the extra piss off. Borderlands 1 feels more open than Borderlands 2 and 3. Uh, 3 felt really open as well, to be honest. They did a lot. Alright, level 16. I mean, okay, I can kill the level 16s, but that means like badasses are going to be three levels above me, right? Alright, let's see what we can get XP-wise here. So yeah, those are going to be my problem. Level 18 bruisers. What, are you scared? Yes. That is my honest answer. I am. But, if I can keep enough distance as Bloodwing is being useless. Oh. Just doesn't know what to do. At least I get my cool cooldown back, right? Also, I'm waiting for my shield to come back. Very slow health regen. 7,000. Only? Oh, because my current one has got a health boost. That's why. And that? No. Alright, I gotta remember that I also have got the transfusion nades that I'm currently not using. Come on. A little bit more. Oh my god, I gotta reload again. There we go, 900 XP. You still dying? Whoa, what the hell happened there? What, you didn't like that? Maybe let's push onward? If I get a level 16, the level 18 should be fine for me. Oh, that's, that's an SMG. You gotta pay. Uh, nice. Anyone up there? Yes. Dead. There you go. There's another one. What level are you? 18. Okay. Yeah, I just need to get level 16. That's it. So I might not need to do any side quests. Just we can take it slowly here for a little bit. Just get one level. Should be fine. All right. Take that. While I reload. Constant pace of the game feel, uh, feels really good for the old age. I mean, it definitely throws a lot of enemies at you. I like that. And the respawns happen very quickly as well. Like areas that were probably... Oh, okay. He's fucking me up. Get the shield back. Go from the other side. Well, I feel like that... Transfusion nade didn't do anything. I didn't get any of that transfusion. Hello? I'm here. No! Oh shit. No! no. Yes. Alright, one more. Full reload. It's fine, we've got time. Just get a masher? No. No, 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 no. I mean, if we get it, just... 
get lucky and all that, perhaps. But a health regen shield would be better. I think that would be a much better investment. You found an explosive weapon. Oh, is that the first one? Yeah. Dude, like, Mordecai is a screamer, that's for sure. We've had a good laugh already. He's, why? No! Yeah, he's pretty dramatic. Anyone? Hello? I'm sure I'm gonna take two steps and people start popping out of everywhere. No? No? Oh, there's one. How did that not hit? You're fucking kidding me. What? What? <laughs> Wait, who's in there? Alright, you take that first. Oh, another bruiser. Shit, okay. Alright. I'm pretty close this time. How did I not kill that guy? No, he's not dead yet. Oh, I am running. I actually have to run a little bit. Get down. This, this gun's also old. What level is it? Six. Yeah, not much better than my previous ones. And I'm out of nades. Gotta buy some grenades to use. So many shots. <laughs> During wildlife in Borderlands, he screams a lot too. Yeah, but not this way. And that's a different voice actor. I like Mordecai in this one better. Wait, I need to use those, yeah. We can't use this right now. Wait, because we want full? Or one is already active. Right, how's this looking? Ooh. The little boy. Oh, okay, okay, they're coming out. There you go. Oh, we'll snipe a little. Yeah, I think playing sniper at least is easier when under level. You sort of just stay back in the safety. was in here. <laughs> Satisfaction about. Mm. Just white. <laughs> that sniper's not hit scan? No, there's something weird happening. It's not the accuracy thing even that some people uh, claim. It's just there's something weird happening when you shoot and strafe. The game's not properly registering the, some shots, I feel like. That and also the fact that when you, you when you are getting shot, like landing shots is almost impossible. It's so hard. Oh, that's a bad place to be in. Oh no. Oh wait, what the fuck? There's something there as well. Alright, can I do anything with a pistol? Maybe I can burn him down? Boy, that's gonna be close. Nah, he went behind a corner. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I just need what? 30% of a level. That's it. Then we should be fine. Well, that and a new gun. New pistol. No pistol. New uh, sniper would be nice. On level, for that matter, too. Joe Maker. All right, what do we have? Some XP. Hey. Bird time? Come on, bird, get him. Nice. Oh, you. Yeah, you we need to set on fire. Little 
Three bullets. Right, a couple of those. Maybe this one. He's almost dead. There we are. Thousand XP as well for that one. Bird. The moves. He's got him. Duking me. Feel it. Right, what is my proficiency already now? Seven. So we've got 6% more damage, 24% more stability, and 18% more rate of fire. Well, let's get closer. And yeah, I gotta remember, there was like a turret or something up there. Did that hurt? No new sniper. It's lagging a little bit, but I think it's because it's just rendering because of the open area. Right, whoever is there. Is that their head that you can see? Yeah. Nice. Can I use this? Oh, yes, I can. Let's go. Hello. There you go, we can use it on the bruiser, although it's not particularly strong. Or accurate. Or quiet. Can't hear myself think. <laughs> Look at Mordecai shaking. And only 176 HP versus a thousand. So yeah, it's a big difference. <laughs> the way they shake when they're coming up the stairs. Do -do 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 right, where are we going? Up there somewhere? Oh shit! Nope! Fuck! Okay, see, with this guy, I don't think I can do anything. Well, we can try with this, but I think it's just gonna blow me up. Will that even be able to shoot up? I could get him like real low and then kill him with a sniper rifle so I could get my XP. I'm not sure if it's the crosser or the bullets that I have to aim. No, it is the crosser. Take a while. <laughs> Maybe I should do side quests. <laughs> Machine gunning. Right, let's see. Can we just snipe him from here a little bit? Oh my god, I need to fall. If the game bounces you off that turret. Doesn't want you standing on it. Yeah, Jim, they do get vehicle XP. That's why I was saying that I want to get him low with uh, with the machine gun and then kill him with a sniper. This is my level up. That's that's literally my level up walking right there. Oh, right, right, right. Is he close enough for me to shoot a little bit with this? A little bit. mission, just one guy. Right, don't underestimate him. There you go, he's low enough. Should get the full HP now, or XP, sorry. I keep saying HP today. But you have to- Oh, stop aim punching me, bitch. 
fuck's sake. No! Oh. Yes! 2,800 XP. All right, that's good. So yeah, literally one or two kills and then we're fine on level 16. I say fine, I don't know, level... Level, um... What the hell, Bloodwing stuck in a wall? Nice. A little bit of a struggle, but it was a fun struggle at least. So now... I uh, guess, yeah, let's just go to Trespass. So, shooting an enemy with a sniper rifle, it reduces cooldown of Bloodwing, increase mag capacity with sniper rifles, or reload speed. I think I'm gonna go with reload speed. Genshin o'clock for you. What was was that two bars or am I blind? Two bars or what? Money. 2,800. Uh, no, 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 no. Not two bars. That was... Uh, I was level 15. I went to 16. Oh, Blast Sniper. That might be good. 1.1 fire rate seems okay. What is it? But that's level 19. By that time, I'm going to find something better. I say that always, but maybe I won't. Let's keep it. Let's keep that. Uh, this... Perhaps as well, honestly, it would still be better than what I have now. Level 19 versus level 4. Even if it is just the white. 1.225 damage. Nah. Question is though, will I be underleveled for Sledge anyway? And I'll have to redo all of this at some point later after doing side quests. We'll find out. You looking to get shot? No, you. Sledge. Yeah, especially with snipers. I do remember that boss. He was pretty fast. In a pretty small arena, just running towards you all the time. That said, were there any side quests here? Or this is just straight to Sledge and that's it? I don't remember. Boom! Where's the little one? It's time to die. Oh, there you go. Dude, I'm ju I just can't hit these little bastards. I just can't hit them. There's something about them. There was someone there. Well, you know what? Take the nade. I'm gonna deal with you in in the meantime. He's gonna aim punch you to death. What, Sledge? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably gonna be tough. One of those where I should not have been under leveled. How much XP was that? 150? It looked like a thousand. Oh, nice. Uh oh, no bullets. Yep. Right, what is the skill called? Let me check. Killer. Killing an enemy increases your damage and reload speed. So, is the, is it shown on the UI when it's active? In this game? Well, let's see. I'll kill him. Oh yeah, it's on the right side. All the way on the right. Notice. It's not in the middle as in Borderlands 2. And now, here's the problem. We're out of ammo. Yeah, this is... this doesn't feel right. Come on, bird, get him. Wait, how did he get two? Did that hurt? I haven't specced anything, but he ended up getting two, didn't he? Just now. Yep, 
We're not hitting that at all. Hello. Bird. No, no. I need more ammo. Yeah, an ammo. <laughs> well, there's a lot of red dots there. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get a level out of that. And ammo's gonna become a real problem now. Stop shooting, I surrender. And he jumped down. What a bastard. We can shoot behind from behind cover. There you go. Bird goes somewhere. Hit something, hopefully. Come on, drop ammo, someone. Oh, this one has to be hip fired. There you go, that's a tiny bit, but like six bullets is nothing at the moment. What do we do? What do we do? We just save quit out of here or continue? I don't know. Ow. You scared? You should be. How long is that kill skill active for? Seems like what? Ten seconds, something like that. I don't even know, I'm out of ammo on the pistol as well now. Yeah, not good. Hello. Bird go time. Look at that movement, dude! That is better than Overwatch players do. Oh, that's a badass too. Shit, both of them are the badasses. No, I'm dead here. Right, I don't know. I think it might be a better idea to just stop struggle bussing and just doing some side quests. Coming back with a better weapon. Because I don't know. I don't see any side quests here. On this map. There's nothing there. It's just, I think that's it. That's Sledge. Right? So... Can you save quit back? Probably. Walton says, I realized that might be a little bit of a weeb. Hey, only now? This year? I mean, look at that. This year has been better for a lot of people, you, yourself included. Wait, like, you're back already? Hey, yeah. Well, they're all gonna be back here, probably. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save quit to, to the start. I feel like, yeah, I gotta level up a little bit. Because even if I, like, squeeze all the way to Sledge, it's just gonna be a nightmare with a level 4 sniper. Probably like two levels or three levels under leveled. It's just not gonna be fun at all. So let's do some side quests. High capacity, 300. Hmm. Oh, nice. Why are we keeping those? Level 19. I only will need one of them though level 19 Comes can accuracy. wait right that was better grade contact nade right explode after touching the enemy corrosive contact let's get it why not I'm gonna keep the transfusion though still might need it right so what did you say go to Back to Firestone through here, right? Although, wait a minute. I can just go out here. Yeah. It's all good. Pretty colors to boot. What? No way, what's wrong with the game? Look at that, I didn't pick up any sniper ammo. 
Open three ammo boxes. I am pretty sure Borderlands 1 had the Wade ammo uh, system, didn't it? Look at that. I actually need it. Thanks. I need that job. Hello, ship, Sanders. What hit the fan? Shit. Shoot the rack droppings off the wind turbine. Oh, I, I seem to remember that mission too. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. There too? You know what? Let's have a look. Let's see what level they are. If they're close in level, then, then maybe let's grab them too. All depends on the level. And yeah, the two snipers that I'm keeping, those are still 2. Point, what? 2.7 levels away. I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. All right, would the weapons level in this or not? Let's see, what level are they here? 13? Yeah, they do. Okay. Any snipers? There is one. Level 13. Fire rate 0 0.4. No, please. Hello. Don't forget to check out Marcus's oh my god, so many. Right, that's one. I think that's that's oh two that have decent amount. So of XP on offer. No three. I'm wrong. Three. Two thousand seven hundred though. This one's not too bad either. What is it? Download five log entries from data recorders in the Iron Badlands. Oh man, that's just searching for recorders. Don't want to do that. Find a lot of the all of the combat rifle parts. Shock, there it is. It's the Shock Crystal Harvest. I remember that one. And then the Legend of Moen Marley. And that's also going to give me modifiers of Bloodwing, right? For certain type of damage. Right, which one first? Avid Badlands. Let's just do it whatever's here without traveling anywhere. Quest time. Well, non-main quest time, yeah. That said... need to get something to drink. I think it will need to be some water. Right. First some roadkill. Ow, ow, bow, bow. <laughs> oh wait, I need to get money for it. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go and get some water. And also, well, first toilet break and then water. And also ad break. Now, if you haven't followed, Drop a follow, you won't miss anything. Just uh, a screen with a chair. BRB.
Okay, drop the ball a little bit. Didn't have any water filtered. So... It's filtering right now, off screen. Also, what the hell? Are any of you having like the uh, player, Twitch player errors today? It's for the second time that my stream preview here has died because of a uh, Twitch player error 2000 something. It just completely stops the broadcast. Weird. Okay, droppings. Should be easy. And some 2000 XP. Tanks has been happening all week. Oh, so it is a thing commonly on Twitch. Is it an all stream? Just my stream? What are you looking at? Who said that? Oh, we've got someone to kill there as well. All streams. All right, so some sort of a widespread issue. That's it. That was the whole mission. Yeah. All right, that was easy. <laughs> right, what else? Scavenger combat rifle. All right, let's go and have a look at that. To this day, and I've played so much Borderlands 2 as well, where the car steers the same with the mouse. I still sometimes just forget and try and steer with the WASD and wonder why it's not steering. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. Scavenge rifle. Let's go. Gives meaning to shooting the shit? Yeah, literally. It might actually be on purpose exactly a reference for that. Okay. Out of ammo again. Bird go. What the hell? There's so many of them suddenly as well. They're all quite high level. Time to pound! Level 70 bruiser, there we go. Just going through this is gonna give me a level. <laughs> Poor Mordecai. A little bit too far to me. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, that guy. There you go, he's low enough. Get him, boy, get him. Fucking hell. He's just blocking my vision. Right, did we get some ammo? We did. <laughs> I mean, I almost want to add like Mordecai screams as a uh, as a uh, some sort of a sound redeemable. Is there a nade? No. Right, where are we going now? Oh. Yeah, like four shots to the head is a bit much. Shit, sniper. I got something. Oh fuck! That was level, what, 18? All right, all right, we can do it. We've got the technology for that, which is this, and the bird, and some nades. Oh, shit. Stick the nade, there you go, that's on him. There we go. Just a little bit of patience. 16 and a half. Right. Question is, is that what I'm looking for? It is. Next part. I don't think I've done this mission on any of my recent playthroughs. I say recent, they haven't been that recent anyway, but in the previous ones. Oh, hello. Lady Luck, be kind. Yeah, exactly. Be kind. Was it? Health boost 30%? What? That is better than what I have. I wonder if this loot scales depending on at which point I picked this mission up or something. Equipped to throw bouncing betties. Pop up into the air before exploding. So wait a minute, the bouncing betties... Oh, first class mod. 
Bloodwing damage and out of blood skill. Yeah, let's let's keep that, obviously. It's the first one I've seen. That at least needs level 19. And yeah, I don't know. I want to keep pistols and snipers. Just drop everything else. Right, what are you? Let's see. Where was the bouncing Betty? Oh yeah, I equipped it already. All good. And then you... It is a better shield, but it's level 19. By that time, I'm gonna have something better anyway. Alright, where's that... Where's that thing? Down or up? I think it might be below. Turtles all the way down. Wait, what? Turtles all the way down, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Yodas, thank you for the first IAI in 2023. Appreciate that. For a second, I thought it was Volson. He said he feels feeling weeb today. Wait a minute. Where the fuck is that thing? Who are you? Dead, dead. Where is that last thing? Sight. Somewhere here. Wait, is it all the way below down there? Nope. See, that's the thing, I don't remember. Play Minecraft modded super weeby. Like what, super weeby modded Minecraft? What are the weeb mods for Minecraft? I've never heard of them. Right, I probably shouldn't jump down there, but I thought it was really there. I don't remember the mission that well. From my playthrough, how many years ago? I don't know, probably like 15 or maybe more. I don't know where it would be. somewhere in oh wait maybe that's just somewhere in the area yeah I think it's just somewhere in this area so I need to just find it all right well where haven't I haven't I been check this right it's not gonna be in one of these up here I looked in there Ah, hello. There it is. Alright, that's that. So we can hand those two in and... I don't know. It's probably not gonna be level 17, but close. Yeah, Chopper, that's what I realized. This like that... Unlike in the newer games, it doesn't show like a ring around like sort of an area. Around the, the little diamond that you're supposed to follow. It just shows... That is there, but I didn't realize it. it's meant to be the area, not the actual specific spot. Right, one was for Shep, the shit shooting. So we're gonna give that to him. Boom. Nice. Yeah, the little tedious the first time once like if I have to do it again for example in like um, playthrough 2 I should be able to do it quite easily hello clappy right and then you in progress then the short crystal harvest and then Mo and Marley I definitely want to do those two Right. Which one is... Both are level 15. Alright, let's go more Mo, Mo and Marley first. Got him down. 
wait, it's all the way there. Hmm. All right. I mean, I need those side quests anyway. I need to be like level, I don't know, 18 by the time I get a sledge, something like that. Basically, sledge needs me to be 18. <laughs> For legal reasons. So, who be Mo and who be Marley? Oh, look at that. The badass is there again. So, how much for level 13 badass skag? What level is this pistol? What? It's a level 2 pistol. Yeah, okay, well. That explains a lot. Like, genuinely, any kind of white stuff should be better. It's the one I got from Nine Toes, isn't it? Oh, we don't have anything there. An alpha 33 <laughs> yeah that's not much but but then again they can't do much to me either just a good compromise I guess we'll just keep running oh now that I'm coming in here, I'm starting to remember. Remember the other area where we had to go for Mo and Marley. Oh shit, hello. Badass corrosive. Oh, I think I should be able to use this a little bit. Remember the bird as well. Oh shit, hello. Interesting moves. What the hell? They just sort of team bounced me one after another. Now the rack as well. How did I grow them? <laughs> what do you mean, why, Mordecai? <laughs> What do you mean, why? All right, bird, do it. There you go, bird got me 510 XP. Are the rack calm now? They're calm, yeah. Now they start attacking again. Alright, you know what? I gotta take care of them. Even if they're like low level shit. It's gonna be super annoying. When fighting Mo and whatever the other dude's name was. There you go. Get rid of all of the distractions. I guess the fire sniper? I'm gonna go with that. And probably also this area. Oh, there's one, there's more. Oh my god, he's fire. And that's Marley and he's shock. Alright, so we can get Marley first. Mo is gonna be a little bit tougher. First of all, level 15. Interesting. Too 
many adds. I'm gonna kill those off a little bit. I think. Oh, I'm running out of bullets already. Shit, bro. Man, that's a badass fire skag as well. Man, so much fire. This is not gonna end well. Out of ammo, out of ammo. I thought this was going to be a simple side quest. Nope. Ow. <laughs> Shit. Also, how did that go? He bounce against his head. <laughs> Thank you for the reset. Just subscribe. Happy New Year and welcome back to the Wholesome Deviants. Thanks, my dude. Appreciate it. How was your New Year's? Oh, nice. Hydration. Right, that's another one dead. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's the badass fire skag. Not even the boss I'm looking for. Right, where's the shock skag? Seem to have lost that. All right, he's chilling there. Good. You know what? He's out of the battle. I'll just deal with these first. Come on, do your thing. Over the mouth. Still missed the first shot. Set. Now you're gonna do it? No, now you're gonna just headbutt me. Maybe I need to shoot him? I need to do that move? It's so weird. What is he doing? Yeah, now he keeps doing the same thing. He's running towards me and slamming. I've got a good chill. Is he gonna loop? But I'm out of ammo. Fucking hell. Ah, now you're now you're back! Alright, come here, Manly. I've got exactly 16 bullets. Oh wow, that was I guess he takes my shield down faster. Man, yeah, I'm starting to regret the sniper playthrough, but I just really need to get better guns. I've got a level 4 sniper and level 2 pistol. At level 16. Stupid. Can't complain so far? Me neither. It's the same. Oh, the only thing I'm complaining about is, well, not getting the right weapons. We need a... We need a vendor. I don't think there's a... Oh, fuck's sake! It's annoying! But, gotta get better weapons. This is just shit. And I don't want to open the golden key boxes. I don't know. I've never never really liked that idea. So, what is my alternative? The vendor and Firestone, right? Just go save could farm that a little bit for... Even some whites, but on level would be better. Hey, let's get you rolling, man. Time for a nice, relaxing drive. Because Sledge didn't have a weapons when vendor. See, that's the only one that I know of at the moment in this area. There's just the one here. Greetings, traveler. Shut up, Claptrap. This one. Let's see. Level 5? Level 13? Yeah, levels are all over the place here. Level 5 as well. So what, just save quit? Let's see if we can get something better there. Tor combines good damage, high fire rate, and recoil. 
There it is. Level 13 sniper, damage 123, 9 bullets in a mag, 1.4 fire rate, sounds good. Right, that's a sniper. So get rid of this, where are you? Right, I mean, double damage already from what I had. Slightly lower crit, but that's fine, I can live with that. That is one, this still is level 19, we still gotta wait. SMGs I really didn't want to use. I want to use just snipers, pistols, and, well, a rocket launcher for second wins. I'll have that, too. So throw that out, the level 5. And then for pistols as well, we need something. That is a level 19 class mod. Fire resistance. Pff, I don't really need it. It's the shot guy that's, like destroying me hello the okay it's being a little bit weird right pistols level 13 level 2 level 13 double bullets yeah let's take that all right so there you go there's a pistol replacement hopefully should be a little bit better Matthew, what's up? Hello. And OC, thank you for lurking. Still haven't found the vault. <laughs> Still haven't found the vault. Chill, clap. No, not yet. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Might be, might be a little bit better. Oh my god, it's the terrible scope, but... Let's see how it feels. And then try this at the same time as well. Healing, nope, not right better. Up. Right, this should be better. Surely, especially the pistol. Oh, ammo. So let's see. Pistol, 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 repeater, SDU. There you go. Buy that too. And grenade SDU as well, maybe? How, how much are they? 6,000. Yeah, let's do it. Grenades, grenades, grenades. Where are they? Grenades. There we are. There we go. That looks better bullet wise. So much more damage. Yes, exactly. Give me a second. Oh, what are you? Oh. Alright, it's just level 7, but it's going to replace this one. Think. Oh. Or will it? No, it actually won't. The level 6 is still 96. More damage, high accuracy. The fire rate difference, mm, I don't know. Lower chance to light enemies on fire. But the fire rate is faster with more bullets in the mag. Texas gotta go, time to get a haircut for work. Definitely go and uh, tidy up for tomorrow. Thanks for watching today, Tag. Appreciate that, it was good to have you. And uh, happy new year once again. All right, let's try this. Maybe it just feels better, you know, with the faster fire rate and everything. Also the same scope, yeah, the same turbo scope. <laughs> Almost.
almost level 17. Not sure about what my availability will be well, for watching streams in the future, but we'll be sure to come in as often as I can. Hey, dude, take it easy. It's all good. You've started the grown-up life, full-time job and all that. I'll just be happy to see you whenever you pop in. That's all. You're good. There it is. My level up. What I wanted. Oh, yeah, this definitely feels good. Right. Well, more reload speed, more damage after kill. Absolutely. Let's try this sniper a little bit as well. These are some low-level enemies anyway, but still. Hey. Oh, no grenades. No grenades, apparently. All right, Mo and Marley still not killed. Oh, for fuck's sake, these guys, yeah. Should be easy with this pistol, though. Yeah. No, just one. I get the idea. Mo. Well, Marley takes down your shield and then Mo burns you, but then get him first. Like, look at that. The pistol alone. It's a huge improvement. That said, fucking hell. The ammo. Almost gone already. Just a little bit more. Should be fine with the sniper. Ow. There we go. Ooh, 4,000 XP almost. <laughs> right, now for the, uh, for the shock boy. Like that? Get some ammo. Where is he? Dude. Freaking mobs. Blood ring. What the hell? Oh, who are you now? Elvis guy, come here. <laughs> what was that jump sideways? What the hell? Right, I'm so low. There you go, the elf is dead. Some blood in. Nice, he's hit, hitting the cactus. That works for me. But yeah, this pistol did most of the work. that mouth You're still not dead there we go and six thousand for that all right that was definitely worth it would have been so much faster with some SMGs, but it's fine. Blast Viper. Okay. Well, there was a good purple pistol that dropped in Cindy and Peter. I think I'm going to take that. Probably have it as my secondary pistol. That's still level 19. And yeah, 
that sniper rifle is better. It just the faster fire rate feels better on the green one, even though the purple is slightly higher damage. Sell the rest of it. Okay, what else is there? Straw crystal harvest. Oh yeah, that. That will do definitely. But you know what? First we're gonna hand it in so we can have uh, fire damage on Bloodwing. That would make sense. More than just carrying that mission around. Wait a minute. Right. This bounty board, right? Yep. Yeah. Both of them are bounty board, actually. I'll get you rolling. I'll get you rolling. We're going too slow. Traveler. There we go. Incendiary artifact. So now. Wait, I need to unlock it first, don't I? Boom. Unlocked. And then it auto equips. There we go. So elemental artifacts add elemental damage. Bloodwing deals incendiary. Nice. Alright, let's do the shock cave. This the right place? It is. <laughs> I got 500 XP for something. I don't know what. Flipping the car on the roof? I think so. Might be. This place. Oh yeah, I remember. All the latest and greatest in high-powered weaponry and gear sold right here for your convenience. And repeaters. Where is it? There. Ah, first aid kit. Creates a large fire nova when depleted. That seems kind of nice. Might try it. What level is it? 10. What do I have right now? Level 10, but uh, impenetrable. You know what? I'm going to leave the big shield for now. And yeah, then these guys. Basically mini Chromeraxes, right? That's what they were. There's another one. So let's try the fire sniper. Way more accurate than I thought you would have to be. Ugh. Right, were these the crystals? Uh, 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 yes. Uh, there 
Okay, I think this was easier. And I also remem remember them being so loud. Definitely. Right, what are you? Some alpha skags. Don't like to open their mouths. <laughs> the yell again. <laughs> the timing of that. Were you waiting for it? <laughs> oh, see, thank you very much. Whoa, what the hell? Another one? And I'm stuck on it. But yeah, I'm glad I picked up this pistol. Man, for full on sniping only. These skags are just a nightmare. That was good time, Eagles. Thanks. With the, uh, with the Mordecai dying sound. You're still watching. Thank you very much for the 80 bits. Thank you, thank you. Grab people, grab people. Oh, wow, that was a good explosion. Who oh. Norman? Oh, she's Norman. Thank you. Let's use the nades. I think it's going to be easier. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, and a level up. You know what? Vertical sensitivity, I think, is lower than... So vertical could be 20, and that probably would feel good. Well, now it's way too much. Although maybe it's the same distance. Who knows? I'll try it. Grinding levels in uh, Final Fantasy, hanging out. All right, what do you do in Final Fantasy to grind levels? Right, do I want any other skills? Shooting an enemy with a sniper alpha reduces cooldown of Bloodwing or just bigger mag? Let's go with a bigger mag. Samba, good night! Thank you for watching today. Once again, Happy New Year. See you next time. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, it, it, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> Gotta switch back. If we could go to like 15 or something, that I think would feel feel better. Boom. 15 out of 50. Daily roulettes, which just puts you in a random dungeon raid, etc. You have to un un you have unlocked, but then gives you a bonus. All right, so yeah, just doing content you've done before, just rerunning it. Got it. Why is this gonna be the alpha skags? It is. Also a badass shit. Nice. Soundless slam. I wonder how this looks on stream when I'm shooting those crystals. It'll be very messy. Do you notice this cave's good for farming XP? We're just rerunning it since 
it's a high concentration of enemies. And yeah, that's why I'm here, because I needed that XP. I'm going to Sledge and realize, well, yeah, at level 15, I'm kind of not getting through there. So many. Means we don't run out of ammo. Ah, oh, canal. Still more. Yeah, see what you mean. Just constant enemies over and over again. And loads of alpha skags. This was just one little corner of it. Boom. Right, halfway done. Wait, this is gonna be psychos? Yeah, psychos. Exploded way earlier than I thought he would. Premature exploder. Osaka! Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Osaka Odeo. And a badass bruiser, what the hell? Yeah, everything. Man, I don't... Like, the view kick is fucking brutal. I don't remember it being so nasty. I'm sorta of hating it, Loki. Oh, nice! The nade, though, what the hell? Challenge comp completed. Boom goes the dynamite, yeah. That was good. I'm gonna play the Underdome DLC. I don't know, we'll see. It's not particularly exciting, is it? <laughs> I mean, it depends, obviously. Some people might love it, but it just doesn't have a story per se and progression. You just, well, just a fighting pit, that's it. Same as the Holodome for the pre-sequel. Probably not, I think, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. Is that a barrel behind you? It is. <laughs> Alright, you will get in a moment. There it is up there somewhere. That hurt. Ah, reloaded. Any arena DLC is kind of doo doo, sorta, yeah. What? You like that? But the Underdome does have the item storage. With what do you mean by that? As in, it's worth getting some goodies from there and just bringing them back to the game or something? There's an item banking. 
Oh, wait, literally, that was the bank, the item storage bank in Borderlands 1. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't need it for one playthrough. But, uh, yeah, I see how that can be good. If you need inventory space, I won't need it. But Borderlands bank is always empty. I never store stuff. Oh, I see a badass. Yeah, ooh, nice. And this cave definitely is going to be great for XP. I think I'm going to get like two levels in this cave or something. Nice. That is 50, I think. Yeah, that one's done. Just fix Claptrap now. so loud in here. <laughs> right. You go in there. Oh, you didn't get him? Who did he get? Oh, hello. Such an evil love. Ah. Ah. Badass. No, oh, Snowball Bruiser. Dead. What a long day of galvanating. Got my leather toe. Galvanating? Wait, what does that mean? Hey, there it is. Repair kit. Did this cave have some sort of a boss at the end or anything? Or not? It just keeps going. This looks like a little bit of a boss arena. Just an alpha skag. And that's it. Some alpha skags? Alright, well, let's burn them. Another two. Maybe this is the boss. Slows of Alice, Alpha Skags. Those my bullets. Oh, we should 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 be okay. Oh, gallivanting, excuse me. It's like to run around doing a bunch of stuff, travel, roam, move about with without pleasure. Oh, I see. Never heard of that word before. Gallivanting. Oh yeah, what the hell? Is this like six, seven, eight? Yeah, this must be like kind of a boss at the end with just loads of these skags. There's even more coming, what the hell? Never stop coming. I just only just realized you have to shoot these guys in the butt, right? That's where they actually take the most damage. Shoot him in the ass. All right, that was good stuff. Oh yeah, there you go. Two chests, so that's the end of the cave. XP Barco whoosh, yeah. That was quite a lot. Just level up to 18. Look at that already. Over halfway to the next level. Uh, and that is lower. And our backpack's full. Oh well. 
All right, let's repair Claptrap and get out. But I think, yeah, that means I should be fine for Sledge. I think. I'm going to kill him today. That would be the... Uh, That'll be the good wrap-up moment. Bazinga. Right, for the class mode, I need level 19 still next level. And so... I do also for this explosive sniper. Okay. Will he open the door? Oh, come on, let's get down. Come on, everybody. Check me out. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah, looks like he will. Oh, yeah, well, hey. <laughs> well, or not. No way, that's not a door. Shit, so not all of them open secret doors, right? Sometimes they're just hanging out. You just basically fucked someone imaginary and then just slapped them a little bit. Alright. Alright, see you later, clap. <laughs> Did I get that? No. That's new. <laughs> so you want me to share, huh? High elemental effect chance. Chance to cause explosions. Detonating repeater. Alright, we'll try it. We'll leave the fire one as well, because that seems to be pretty good so far. Burns really well. There you go, this is our first test subject. Can you not really see the explosions that much? Well, let's see how the fire one feels in comparison. Ah, uh, it's only level 10, but I think it might be better still. No, the fire feels so much better. stuff. Right. Uh, do I want to keep it? Maybe if I get like a fire enemy that I need to fight. Step right, step right up. You can always Okay, hand this in, and then have to sledge. And I think, by yeah, by the time I get to sledge, I'm gonna be level um, level 19. That should be good. Let's get our feet out of the dust. Greetings, traveler. New missions are. Greetings, traveler. I think they just made those low-level enemies spawn there always and fight the skag, so there's always some shooting around, around, uh, Firestone. Road killed the enemies. Oh, wait a minute, that's gonna automatically happen anyway. Firestone bounty burn to a circle of death, meet and greet. Oh, wait, that's just killing some skags. I remember that mission. It's on my way anyway, but I would need to come back and hand it in. No, I think we're fine. But yeah, we'll end up killing some enemies anyway, right? Ooh, hello. 
Well, 23,000. That would be all of my money and then some. I don't really need it. 10 road kill, but main thing is sledge. Let's go to sledge. Two road kill. Plenty of skag somewhere here to get that. Nope. Oh, there you go. We're all behind. And you, and you. It's a couple more. Basically, that's it. We'll get it here, I think. Yeah, there you go. Mission done. All right. You know what? Let's add it. Fuck it. Just some XP. A little bit of driving back, but that was so easy. Might actually push me to level 19 now. A. Come on. Done. Right, now for real. Sledge. Some free ammo, hopefully. Yo, challenge completed scavenger. So <laughs> that gave me a level up. I'll take it. So next, mag capacity up to 40% with snipers. Cooldown reduction for that boyo or just reload speed. Let's go push the reload speed up now. I definitely want both of those maxed out anyway. Let's see how much better this will be. Should be better. Quick check. What is that? That's not for me. Nice. Alright, let's see. Ha. Seems to be better. A little bit. Actually, a lot. <laughs> Right, we needed like four shots to the head sometimes to even kill these guys before. Now it's one, two max, depending if they have a shield or not. Right, wait, I keep forgetting about the Bloodwing. Also interesting, how did they choose that guy that was right in front of me, even though I was looking at those guys there in the background? Ow. Now you know what, you take that. Oh shit, those guys up there completely forgot about you. Nice. Bloodwing, kill him! Oh, not enough, shit. Man, he's just lighting me up all the way from up there. Oh, speedy boy. 
There you go. Man. If trespass is kill makes any fights with the Guardians shrivel. It's so much fun. Oh yeah, right. The Guardians, I forgot about them. Yeah, and they're all shield and almost no health. So I'm gonna be able to kill them so quickly. True. Completely forgot about that. T they've closed the gate again. Zoom. Still not one shot though, but again, with the trespasser that probably would be a one shot since I wouldn't have to deal with the shields. Now, right, I got probably lit up. No one didn't notice me? No, it just ran past. Well, the badasses are still badass. That Mordecai love. Masked villain? Oh my god, long time no see. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Happy New Year. Yes, absolutely. Going back in time a little bit with some old school. Gonna go meet my fiance for a lunch break. Glad I was able to hang out all day. Abraham, likewise, it was an absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for being a wholesome deviant. And uh, yeah, enjoy your uh, rest of your day with the fiance. Sounds awesome. Look, Alini, welcome back. Motherfucker. Happy holidays. Holidays were fun, Bill true. Oh, Will Kraken. People happy indeed. 64 months, Will Kraken. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to Lurk Alini. Anyone else in the chat who's lurking? Uh, thank you very much for uh, for uh, watching the stream and uh, yeah, hopefully you've had a good New Year's. Yeah, Abraham, I'll probably will kill Sledge and then sign off for the day and uh, continue tomorrow. Get those some bitches. Down. All right, shoot the barrels first. Feel it. Ooh. Right, bird. Oh my god. Hello. Thanks, bird. Bird saves the day. Oh, wait. Better wait for the shield. And. Who are you there? Mulciber Mark 2. I like that it has got a name and everything. Yeah, I can't really hit that head from here. Let's get a little bit closer. From this. Not from that. Oh my god. That's what you threw at me? Alright, quite powerful. <laughs> Come meet your maker. Take that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the fire edition definitely has improved things on Bloodwing. But how much faster the progress already is through here compared to what before? What the hell's going on there? Sort of can't get his head. Now, definitely, right? No? There we go. That was weird. Alright, who's down there? Hello. I got one I've been saving for you. <laughs> that ballet run backwards. What the hell, Matt? And now you're so speedy. I missed those or something? That hurt. Maybe I just... Oh, because I went through the top. What? Where are the shots going? Yeah, this feels better than this fire one. Let's see. 1.4 fire rate. That's why. Probably that's why. That and the damage. Bird time. Out. Ah! 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with an on-fire one. That one feels better now. Maybe, like, what is this? Times three? Times three. Kind of high, but... Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Level five versus level 11. Never mind. That also. It's got way more damage. Boom. More meat. Feel it. Dead. That scream. Where do you come from? You like that? Oh, I'm trying to try to counter the sway. There. And steal uh, this place out of ammo, just like last time. Well, at least now I've got a much better pistol, so is that. And also, Bloodwing is more powerful, but yeah, ammo is still a problem. Yeah, right? see, I just like do something right around. I'm not gonna touch the mouse when I scope in. Scope in, and then you get that this thing. It is kind of difficult to deal with. And I've already got what? Let's see. Sniper rifle sway minus 50% already, plus also 36 in stability, I think, which also should improve that. Oh well. That's how it be, Borderlands 1. Needs. Wait for this guy to climb up. Hello. And we're out of ammo. All right. Well, it's pistol time. Bloodwing do anything? Still hasn't come back. Where is he even? What is he doing? I also feel like grenades are really wonky in this in Borderlands One. Like, half the time, they just don't hit anything. It feels like it, at least. Ow. Shit. Get lost. And that is out of ammo still? Yeah, very much. Dead, dead. They got you. Ammo, six bullets only. Shit. I hope there is a vendor before a sledge. I'll definitely really need it. Dead, dead. So. Just a little bit. Alright, one bullet, one shot. Yes. Oh shit, didn't notice you. Come here. Ow, ow, ow. Might go down a little bit for just a brief moment. <laughs> He's back already and still crying. Why? <laughs> ah. Get out of that corner. The strafes, man. The strafes. Shit, no vendor, really? So many to choose from. Burning sniper, let's compare it to this. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Gimme. So that becomes the new burning sniper. That was the old one. Sell, 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 and sell. What else? You, you. 
Oh my god, I can wear the class mod. And then we also get the electricity thing. Wait a minute, maybe... Maybe I should go with a shock? Shock? Because then he can take some shields down from bigger enemies for me. I think that might be it. Might be a thing. I'll try it. And then this is what? More blood wing damage and plus two out for blood skill. Which one is that? Out for blood. This one. So it's not going to be active since it's not spec thin. It's not like in Borderlands 3 where even if you don't have a point there, it activates. But not in this. When your blood wing strikes an enemy, you gain health based on the amount of damage done. Alright, that's not bad. That's basically like a lifesteal. <laughs> Class mods. Oh yes, we do have a vendor. Good. Not that. This. Sell all the crap. Yes. Man, this okay is always a little bit tricky. Wait, what about all the nades? Do I need all of them? No. This bouncing Betty is kind of nice. So I'm going to leave that. Just sell the rest of it and the shield as well. A sniper without a sniper com is just a guy with a gun. True. I'm going to be a real sniper only when we get when we, when we get a sniper com. <laughs> Okay, sledge time. Probably should have purchased some health this as well. One is a brute. Probably. There we go. See, no, Bloodwing will come in handy. Step right up. Still right need more. Here. How much is it, price-wise? Two hundred and ten. Man, that's expensive health. Definitely need a uh, health regen shield. I'd prefer that. All right, sledge time. Let's see how this goes. I'm glad we leveled though, for sure. Sledge will punish you. You guys aren't friends. Definitely not. All right, well, go, baby. No, oh, what the hell? Really? Okay, I guess I got a dot. That was a terrible start. <laughs> I got a dot from that guy. I thought I could just not pay attention to him and just do a little bit of damage to a sledge. Nope. All right, attempt number two. Wait, is this head even a crit? No. Yes, because he's got a helmet. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. It does it does get crits. Man, this sound is all over the place in here. What the hell? It just seems so loud in places. This is a dead end. I did not remember that. Yeah. What the fuck? Is th was that him getting the shield back? I think so. I don't think I've seen that animation before. Right, Sledge, where you at? Lord Reaper, hello, what's up? Happy New Year. What the fuck is Sledge? Is he stuck somewhere? Oh yeah, he's stuck there. But wait, he might be stuck. Maybe, maybe not. Now the new burning sniper and we should be fine. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! No! 
He's so close. Come on, finish him, bird. He's about to fall over right now. Nice. Sledge shorty. Sledge dead. Yeah. I'm glad we leveled. Without that, it would be a nightmare. Now it wasn't too bad. It's sort of chill. Right, another artifact part. I bet you would like to know what that is. The vault it's your butt plug, Angel. I know what it is. is <gasps> ah, lag. Why is it lagging? One part of it, anyway. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, and this is where you jump down here. Okay, yeah. Macaroni. Who doing the macaroni? It's the favorite customer. It's a pretty cool username. I like that. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Oh, nice. Oh, steel again. Hello. I have just been informed that you have arrived on Pandora in search of the vault. Yes. And within minutes have started killing the locals and causing a disturbance. Exactly. This planet is under the authority of the Atlas Corporation. And any Iridian artifacts found here are Atlas property. Possession of such property carries a stiff penalty. Stiff. Mm. I invite you to turn yourself <laughs> in at once to the nearest <laughs> land outpost and surrender any information or artifacts in your possession. Consider this your one and only warning. Thanks. Favorite customer in the chat as well. Hi. Hello. <laughs> That's a beautiful emote. <laughs> Love it. What's that? B B Butchtus? I think it is. But the drool. It's a proper drool. Very nice. Hello. Right. Sledge dead. And we're almost level 20 as well. Right. Oh, what happens after this? Turn it in. Let's see what happens. Got him down! Wait, what the hell? Where you come from? Man, that laugh of a maniac. That hurt. <laughs> You've seen a lot. That's a special emote? Yes. Definitely very special. <laughs> nice drool. Nice drool. Thanks for the follow once again. Yeah, anyone else, if you haven't followed, drop a follow. Thank you for watching so far. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a Borderlands Marathon. Today's the first day, so I'm just revisiting all of the Borderlands games. So starting with one, playing through playthrough one and two, just because we want to max out the skill trees and all. And then Borderlands 2 through normal TVHM, UVHM, all the DLCs as well for all of the games. Uh, I'm still thinking about like the hollow dome and also the uh, the moxie's dome in this game Maybe I'm not gonna do like the arena things. Those are kind of eh And then the pre-sequel the most underrated one of them all and Then Borderlands 3 at the end. So yeah Plenty of Borderlands to start the year right do I want the sledge shotgun? I'm going like Snipers pistols so I'm gonna sell it. Fuck it. Sell that. And then this explosive one, actually, I don't need anymore. I think we're fine with that. The rocket launcher for second wins. That's the exception. If you need healing, step right up. Step right up. Alright, sledge be dead. I like that you sort of float before the card properly appears. I don't think you get that effect in Borderlands 2, right? When you're constructing the car. Piss wash, golly. Traveler, <laughs> this is our 
<laughs> greetings, traveler. Yes, greetings. Sledge smash, sledge angry, sledge dead. I'll drink to that. Busted up nine toes and beat the hell out of Sledge? Yep. You're making a name for yourself in these parts. I already put into Pierce to give you clearance on through to the Doll Headland. You ought to be able to reach New Haven now. You get don't get the floating one due to entering vehicle. Wait, even Oh, sorry, chat. Even uh, even when you teleport to the driver's seat? Maybe I don't know. Because here you do get the entering the vehicle animation when you're entering it normally. I'm not much for compliments, but you did fine. You did fine, huh? <laughs> oh, Survivor. Team Health Region. Fast hands. Travel to the Daw Headlands and speak with Ernest Whitting. Pierce agreed to bump up your clearance level. She wants you to go to New Haven and meet with her. So drive west of the Dahl Headlands Gate and speak with the Claptrap robot there. He'll let you through. There is more, but I can't scroll. Arrow keys? No. Page down? <gasps> Page down! I had something in my memory that there was like a button that you never use in games that you had to use for this. Uh, when you get past the gate, talk with Ernest Whitting on the other side. He knows the headland better than anyone and can bring you up to speed. All right, so yeah, yeah we're going to do what? The new Firestone or whatever it was called, right? New Haven, New Haven. That one. Yeah, we do. I, think we're done here. I might not have a med school degree, but when you get shot, you'll be happy I'm here. Right, well, what do I have currently? I have Bloodwing... And two out for blood, which is pointless because I don't use it. Blood wing damage, 44%. Not that much. Health regen, though. Yes, please. And plus two fast hands, which is... Unfortunately, this. Increase the reload speed of all weapon, but weapon types. Well, I'll get it anyway, but I think first we're going to get trespass. I think so. But the health regen, no matter how small it is, Still better, because, like, I end up just get, going into so many fights with, like, 10 HP. Full shield, but 10 HP. Also, that, I don't wanna. I don't know. It just always felt weird just getting strong weapons out of there. I'd rather farm for something. Yes. Still haven't found the vault. No. Right, what time is it? Mm, mm, mm. Come meet your maker. Right, chat. I gotta check something. Mm. Hmm. I gotta yeah. I gotta do like a quick call this evening as well before I before I go. So yeah, I think I'll need to wrap up here. It has been good six and a half hours. I think yeah. Traveling further and getting to uh, New Haven is gonna be for tomorrow. But you know what? Good stuff. I've enjoyed it so far today. I've enjoyed it a lot. Let's save it here. Um, because uh, yeah, I still need to. Uh, Need to eat something, need to go on a call, then wind down, get some good sleep. Because, for a lot of users, the day is only halfway. For me, it's uh, about to end. It's already half past ten. So yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thank you for the new follows. It was uh, good to see so many new people. Unsurprising though, Borderlands, uh, especially one, there's very few streamers playing it, so I'm not surprised that some people are like, Oh wait, someone's playing my game that I like. Let me drop a follow. If you haven't followed, do drop a follow. Exclamation mark YouTube for YouTube. Uh, currently, just some YouTube shorts there. And also stream VODs if you want to rewatch certain parts. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow. 2 p.m. UK time, 9 a.m. East Coast. Uh, for, well, more Borderlands 1 and uh, more Mordecai. Really enjoyed it. I'm having it a good time. Uh, I hope it's going to last throughout all of the Borderlands games. And then I think February comes and then that's going to be... Uh, the big Destiny expansion, so we'll switch gears a little bit to um, 
to Destiny. But for now, big Borderlands Marathon. Looking back at the roots of my gaming obsession. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I gamed that much before I started playing Borderlands. That's for sure. Boodoo, thank you for watching. Linden Quandry, favorite customer. Welcome in once again. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Lord Reaper, Abraham hanging out with us today. Lurker Linny, what else I see in the chat? Um, Masked Villain Gaming as well, popping in. That was good to see you. Uh, thank you for all of the follows. Shout out to Star Warrior with the uh, top cheer and Dark Blue with uh, the top tip. It says eighteen ninety eight in euros, but it was $20.23, which is, well, 2023. Uh, thank you once again. It's a pleasure to be back here in 2023. Still continuing with the Wholesome Deviants. And uh, yeah, hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, stay wholesome and stay deviant.